All right, all right, all right. We are in 1983, and I am about to do a 100-year rebuild. I never in 100 million years thought that I would say that. I'm going to simulate slash rebuild from 1983 to 2083, and my team will be decided by this wheel. It has every single team that's currently in the NBA. Let's just get it spinning. Also, the only rule that I have for my rebuild is that I can't do more than four trades, and it will be the Oklahoma City Thunder, also known as formerly the Seattle Supersonics. I feel like most people would actually enjoy that I'll be controlling this team. So our goal today is to make them the greatest franchise in NBA history. To start off in 83, we've got Jack Sigma, Gus Williams, David Thompson, Tom Chambers, and uh, a bunch of other randoms. Now, there's no restrictions. I could do whatever the hell I want, except for I can't make more than four trades in a season. That's it. And we do not have our first round. Wait. Yeah, we don't. We don't have our first round. Who has it? The Los Angeles Clippers. And it is a highly ranked pick, too. We might just got to compete and just hope to God. Oh, my God. Okay, 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 okay. We need to talk about what I just did. I just traded Gus Williams and two first round picks. The Super Son or my to the Clippers for their first round pick next year. But wait, I just made them better. Ah, already messed up on trade one, but screw it. We got our first round pick. But other teams in this NBA are garbage. Now, here's the thing, though. Trading them in 80 overall is very pivotal in this league. Now, here's the thing. We've we've done a couple of simulations. We already know the Lakers and Celtics run the league. There's no chance of beating them. So we might as well take our chance at Michael Jordan. All right, I'm trying to get Houston's first round pick. I'm going to offer this. There it is. I gave Houston three second round picks. Fred Brown, who was like 35, and Steve Hawes for their first Hey, it works in the two S simple. It works in the system. It works for me. And I'm gonna save. Uh, actually, we're gonna tank. Now, this is probably the only year that I blatantly tank, unless we're like garbage in the future or something. Because it's the first year. Now, remember, I'm trying to build the greatest dynasty ever for 100 years. You know, we're not playing around out here. Play a full 67 overall lineup. Let's go and get our chances at Michael Jordan. We lost. We won the first game of the season for the love of God. Now, I didn't trade David Thompson yet. In the off season, I'm gonna see if, or in the uh, what's it called, the draft, I'm gonna see if I can trade him. I'm going real grimy with this. I'm trying to win every single ring which won't happen obviously we're gonna lose the first year like what's the point in competing if you already know magic's gonna win not the portland trailblazers look there he goes supersonics fans will thank me forever what i tell you what the hell did i tell you hey shout to you title they did they did take two games this could have been us two games and lost in the conference finals instead i'll take michael jordan hey, and if you're wondering i believe we won two games the nba draft lottery so the bulls have the second odds we have the third and the first i almost traded for the bulls but it would have taken david thompson to trade for their pick and i was like why don't i wait until the offseason maybe trade for it so let's watch this lottery real quick i probably won't watch many lotteries but screw it it's the first year hey, before we go any further i want to shout out to prize picks prize picks is the best place to play daily fantasy sports it's available in over 30 states and if you use the code click you get 100 back up to 100 dollars your first deposit and there's something special going on this week as you may know there's this crazy thing called thanksgiving and on the thanksgiving game for justin jefferson if he gains one yard literally one you win so look boom give me that more there's another one for today kevin durant taco tuesday 23 and a half points i'll take that i know he's playing deandre Aiden, but anthony davis had more than 11 and a half rebounds in the past four games and speaking of the lakers troy brown easy less here because four and a half rebounds is a lot dog even though he had none in his first game back Kyrie's usually getting at least four assists so i'm gonna go with Kyrie one more d'anthony melton two and a half threes made i know i know you got a lot of players out but no less prize picks changed it to a maximum of six wow i had to go to twitter to confirm it yeah prize pick is added a sixth pick flex so you can 25 times your entry jesus hey i'll take my chances i actually said you can't go for two discounted i'm gonna switch that kd to this kd we're gonna go for kd tonight regardless thank you to prize picks remember to use the code click you get up to 100 100 back on your first deposit and now to get back into the video in the day as long as we don't fall down here hey we get in stockton jordan hakeem the hawks get number five we we confirmed one two of four hall of famers the bullets stay down at four supersonics are expected to get number three we stay at three with that pick please don't move us down to two i would like to get michael or hakeem but, you know what, what, there's guarantee guarantee my thank you thank you appreciate that so um two wins definitely paid off uh in case you're wondering that was you know uh 18 games worse than the bulls is actually a little bit better than i thought that being said can we call up chicago i'll give jack sick i'll give whatever the hell we gotta give up yeah he's good in this era who cares hey i'm gonna make a better big three than the what if video i made the other day oh david thompson expired i did not know he was about to expire all right well we're probably gonna re-sign him and just roll with him then let's try and get this uh this second pick as well and i hell i'll, I'll give up anybody i'll give up chambers sorry chambers let's give up this stuff in our 86 yeah 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 that's smart that's smart all right let's try that they're gonna try and add in the pick this year hell no throwing two second round picks in the future call it a day come on say okay you got an 85 first hey throwing this lottery protected first from next year oh that's that's another high hey i feel like this is like even fair to an extent just because of the star values of these picks even though it doesn't make sense i could probably finesse more but screw it i'm gonna give it to him chicago bulls thank you here for your duties and uh that is that's not really our this is a whole new season technically so that's not really our third 
trade, but I probably don't have anything else to trade. We are about to bring Michael Jordan, Akeem Olajuwon, and you'll go second. Why not? And Charles Barkley. Sorry, Scott. I'm sorry. Sorry, John. Alvin. We're bringing Barkley. And Alvin's going to go there. Sam Perkins is going to go there. Kevin, hello? Did you guys? Uh, they already canceled John Stockton in 84. Yeah, no, no. He still goes number 10. He's a 74. We got three 83 plus players, and it's over for the league. It, I mean, it's not. it might not be over yet. We'll see what happens, but we're obviously not tanking anymore. We have that Clippers pick. They were in the lottery this year. You never know. They could they could fall down further. I mean, we're going to go up, so we'll make room for him. Do we have money by any chance? And hell no. Bring back David Thompson, though. Uh, Screw it. He can I love signing like solid players and then trade them eventually. He, he could take a four year deal. Is that Ronnie Brewer's dad? You could. He just looks like Ronnie Brewer. You could tell. We quite literally have every position just completely filled out. Honestly, bro, I got to keep it pushing. I don't care about signing a whole bunch of free agents. Jack Sigma, you are getting older, but trust me, you've got a young bunch of young players to surround your team. Uh, one of you getting benched as well. Yo, first season, we are starting Jordan, David Thompson, Charles Barkley, Akeem Olajuwon, and Jack Sigma together as the two big men. Like it's Ralph and Akeem with Tom Chambers and we just threw a couple other guys in the rotation for the hell of it. Uh, I won't change the rotations probably ever. If we lose, we lose. You know, you know here's a here's a stat for everybody watching the video. As long as you're younger than what? 40 years old? For 38 years old? You will see your birth year in this video. There you go. Put in the comments. I know I've probably asked this before. My birthday just passed the other day. What? Who's the best player that was born on your birthday? As uh, we also have one. We, oh, we're still worse than the Lakers, even with this team. I think the one I remember as I was growing up was either Aaron Aflalo or Courtney Lee or something like that. I think I saw the other day, because you know when the NBA posts like birthday posts every day, basically? I think I saw Caleb Swanigan or something. Oh, no. No. Caleb Swanigan passed away. Who's the other big man? Yeah, that's what I was thinking of. Another, another King's big man, Mr. Rashawn Holmes. RIP Caleb Swanigan. Michael Jordan, rookie of the year. Magic, we do not care. Jordan actually averaged, okay, maybe not better numbers, but more points. Akeem already won DP. Oh, I already know how he gets down. Hey, I don't care about no teams this entire video. I'm trying to win rings. The second seed, obviously, because they're too good. We make it out the first round. All right, second round playing Dallas. We make it out four to two, and we're playing Los Angeles. Uh, we might not win this year, but it is what it is if we don't. Uh, screw it. Yep, two two and three two in their favor. We're not watching games yet. If we lose, we lose. You know what I'm saying? We need to get through 100 years. So uh, we'll be back next year. Don't worry. We got Jordan. We got you know what I'm saying. We, 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 we. Let's see if our pick meant anything. Did our pick get us anything? No, they were good. That's that's. That sucks. Um, will I trade for Patrick Ewing? Maybe. I don't think more. Car, okay, I'm not gonna lie. Carl Malone is really good in the simulation. Like, I was doing an all time draft for fun with my friends, and he was cooking. I actually drafted him like top 10 in multiple times. He won like 15 straight MVPs once. He's actually really good in the simulation, but uh, I draft Patrick Ewing and created like a little Ralph Sampson type thing going on if I if I got it. Hey, all I'm trying to do early on is load up on these picks for real. We should be able to do this really easily. Hey, sorry, Chicago. Matter of fact, you guys are still trash. Give me your next year's pick. I'll give them our 89 first these two dudes bada bing bada boom take this oh man he takes big swing this dude chris giles is actually kind of decent i will trade him for patrick ewing if need be matter of fact just keep these second rounds at this point oh man i actually had to give up a pretty decent amount so i had to give up 89 first david thompson and campy russell but but don't worry and some 76 overall dude we have the first overall pick in the draft yet again um i might look at trading could very easily trade jack sikama for two but i'm not like that nasty like i had to get off to a good footing like we have to win but i might just make a little normal trade for jack Honestly, for now, I'm going to just keep him probably. Seattle, first overall pick. I know Malone's ranked number one. I know he's better in the grand scheme. But give me Knicks legend Ewing and send uh, send Joe Dumars to the Knicks. Didn't they do that a lot? Dang, Manu. Bo oh, my. Uh, hello. Wait, maybe we got to trade up for four or something. Hold on. I mean, five. I could do this pretty easily. They're not really valuing the dog. They're not really valuing Carl Malone like that. We're going to change gonna change his image. Don't worry. Nah, I'd rather just keep a piece of Seattle and Jack Sigma. He goes to, he goes to uh, what's it called? San Antonio. Oh, snap. They left Charles Oakley and Detlef on the board for me. We have way too many bigs for now, so I'm going to take Detlef. Sorry, Charles. Love you, Charles. All right, Detlef's two overalls higher. Good pick. I don't care about no other free agency bums. We'll be a beautiful, beautiful team. Akeem and Barkley and Jordan already getting better. Much, much better. And also, yes, you, as you see, Jordan's at the point guard. We got to start the Jordan point guard agenda right here, right now. Hey, here's the lineup for your number two. It's beautiful. It's disgusting. And we're going to the postseason. And of course, our coach is NBA legend Lenny Wilkins. You know, he can stick around for as long as he possibly feels like it. Michael Jordan wins MVP in his second season, even though well, he did play 40 plus minutes, but even with all these great players on his team. Hey, Carl. DPOI as well to Michael and Lenny Wilkins, coach of the year. He won 74 games. Ewing, Hakeem, and Jordan all made the defensive team. Detlef made the all-rookie second team because why the hell not? Some, wait, we won 74 games and we're the fourth seed because of divisions. Oh my God. Are we in the same division? At, wait, who are we in the same division at? Don't tell me it's the Lakers. It is. We're in the same. That's why. That's the reason why we're the fifth seed or fourth seed or whatever. Sure, well, oh, now we got to play them the second round.
down though all right well i'll take the challenge first game goes to us second game goes to them third game goes to us another game to them another game to us another game to them game seven in los angeles this is the team to beat and it looks like we are going to become the team to beat the lakers have been dethroned michael jordan 42 points in game seven and we are going to probably the nba finals yeah yeah oh yeah it's celtics do they got oh snap larry bird said hold on oh give us that yeah no don't blow a 3-1 lead don't blow a 3-1 lead it's over the seattle supersonics are your nba champions patrick ewing michael jordan jack sigma akeem so on and so forth you know the team and uh michael jordan finals mvp kareem retires like three years earlier than real life hey, i know there's one player in this now we don't have a pick in this draft at all but there is one player and i believe he goes by the name of len bias what, what is he compared to exactly oh we, we can't see we didn't scout him enough i think just be just for the vibes i feel like len bias would be worthy enough of getting traded for uh one of our out of bench pieces that we have just sta stashed on this team look who it is the bulls again we are cooking them i wish you could have got their pick for this year last year and there it is we are sending jack sigma i don't even know what the hell len bias is gonna be in this league i uh, i think i downloaded a different draft class than my last video so i i have no clue jack sigma it's been real old man i think tom chambers is still like 25 but we'll keep him around the first overall pick seattle you already know len bias oh my god all right i just i just finessed another team but i'll show you in a second warriors are the second overall pick so i just threw them some absolute garbage for their next year's pick draws and petrovich goes number three i forgot about him and sabonis just went the mavericks just made a trade for david thompson from the bulls bulls get worse for the seventh pick and they get chuck person well uh guess what we just gave him jack sigma so so we'll be joining him len bias 81 overall he's compared to kevin McHale, and he will definitely be playing like shooting guard or something for us so they there goes that also i traded the um literally traded mike dunleavy senior some low 70s and a second round pick for the warriors next year first round pick so that we can maybe get uh, hell i don't even know scotty hey, magic johnson's a free agent, uh, free agent if only we had the money are we paying anybody an egregious amount of money to where like we could have offered this uh yeah it's called all of our rookies we actually don't really have anybody else and was tom chambers a free agent yes he is i'm back on a five-year deal why not he might be the dude we keep around until he retires or something like that just out of tribute oh man akeem is a 93 and everybody else exists hey this should be smooth sailing for a little minute i'm not gonna lie sure i said earlier about like not tanking but yeah we're just gonna have the facilities to ever trade for any first pick probably here's our lineup for year three and yes char whatever year this is charles barkley is a two a six foot six what more do you want from him also i have went through every single player except for probably detlif yeah every single player has lower than a 73 point shot oh starting five tom chambers if they tell us to space the floor we're cooked but uh thankfully it's the 80 michael jordan back-to-back -back mvps drazen gets rookie of the year averaging 20 points per game akeem olajuwon dpoi lenny 75 wins we should probably never lose again especially because kareem retired we're also first this year the lakers are at uh 61 clippers should be good a hey, houston made ralph sampson and chris mullen are here and mark price we're going straight 4-0 to the finals philly yeah see ya buddy in case you want to get like a feel for how points are being divvied up well here you go it's on the screen that's who we play and how they score barkley and len bias are like the same player but different fonts and we we signed truck big truck robinson did you have a ring already nah we got chuck robinson his first ever ring and he retired i just like the name truck robinson probably would have used you as a trading asset but screw it you can you can head out also just to be wary there is going to be a draft expansion one of these years ever like multiple times so that was definitely getting in our way of being good as well because we can only protect eight players when those come around can we steal some yeah yeah we stole golden state's pick hey i'm just gonna skip the lottery what pick dang we moved down to five uh, i wonder who could fall to five did i load in yeah i think i loaded in a good drive uh oh, you know what i believe reggie miller is supposed to be here let me go get Reggie. yep there goes reggie and that's not even to say that i'll draft them. i'm gonna try this for number two if not uh, throw in the second round pick if not we're just gonna i feel committed to the trade but i'm not gonna i'm not gonna throw in another first for this could be scotty or reggie though and that would be like the the nail in the coffin let's screw it you, do it do, let, let me do it let's do it it's like after that first of all the drafts fall off for a little while until shaq and yeah that's that's really it so let, let's see who's gonna go number one the washington bullets like david robinson so we could select reggie miller or scotty pippen and i feel like i already selected one dude that's kind of fake in 2k but i feel like scotty even though he's not a good shooter like a, a great shooter either compared to reggie it's him and mike we might just got to do it again not really in a shooting era he's also a great playmaker he fits the team well you know what i'm gonna see a great defender let's get scotty pippen second overall pick that's kind of who i want and reggie goes number three to ucla what's the overalls looking like dang reggie's an 85 hey, it's all good hey, it's all good it's all good hey, we want to ring we want to ring it's all yo our minimum contract money in this era is going so crazy because like we're offering minimums to 75s and those are some of the best players in the league although you are seeing a lot of 80s here i mean but was, the question is if they'll get actually get signed keem is a 95 jordan's only a 91 and a career sim reason you know what i'm saying I, I had changed his like peak start peak age whatever if he peaks at 24 i'm gonna leave it we need to get capped anyway hey, hey you and could be better i don't care plus 
is a rebuild. Like, I, I don't control the stuff that happens, you know? I, I control what happens with my team, but not like I can't go into rosters. Another year, the lineup's the same. Just add Scotty. We have yet to lose it. Oh, there it goes as I'm saying it. Here's the thing, too, with this rebuild. I gave myself a little three trade cap just in case I ever really wanted to take over the league. Like, in, like I am. But by the way, we just went 81 and 1. I know, like, an 82 and 0 challenge is some sort of, like, big thing. I don't really care. I never really cared about that. I, you know, I like I like my rings, personally. You know, I like my rings. Zakeem and Mike make the first team. But um, you might be like, oh, you should make a rule where you can't trade for top five picks. Yeah, maybe in the future. But honestly, I want to dominate for 100 years. So here we are. Also, I'm interested to see what happens, like, after we get past the uh, 2020. Keys. considering all this history um all right we're at the first yeah we're gonna win the we're gonna win the finals dog lakers was good how you doing see ya mavericks was good how you doing see ya bucks was good how you doing see ya akeem finals mvp uh here's how stuff was divvied up this year with scotty added uh you know jordan's a clear alpha dog dr j called it quits we beat him in the finals once like a year ago i think this yeah this is gonna be an expansion year so we can only protect eight people but i think that'll fit just fine with uh yeah no no it will not actually just about we got to trade gerald Wilkins. sorry gerald all right so we didn't trade for any picks this year but what i'm gonna try to do is uh and i don't even know if i really want anybody this year i do have to load in the draft class update required yeah so i failed to mention as an update required thing pops up that usually pops up like when you're playing 2k or in the all early in the morning uh in like four hours i will have been up for like 24 hours so um yeah i don't know why i started this video at this time hey how you doing john starks did i say this in my last i think i recorded it before i don't know let me go do the update and i'll tell my story john stark number one player right not a very material materialistic person i have most of the things i want but for my birthday the other day i was gifted a john stark signed jersey that was pretty cool you know so i might have to pick him just for that you know sometimes i clown him for shooting like two for 17 from on from the field in the finals in game seven against akeem see if i get the first pick for the hell of it just for that i'll pick him he might not even be the best player hey, he's definitely not they got mitch richmond he's also oh he's only 20 he can come around hey this is a way you could also really cheese too is if you were to trade with the teams that are expansion that haven't even <laughs> like you could trade with these teams before they even get players and i believe they don't even value their first round look at that they don't even value. i'm not even i'm not even gonna do it i'm not even gonna do it it's just I, we're already good that i'll refrain from but i'll go ahead and keep on cooking the nuggets oh dang gerald wilkins expired uh yeah he might actually tom chambers might get cooked i'm not gonna lie seattle legend you might have had your run end here go ahead and get their pick and i think this is the shack draft it's either 92 or 93 oh my god why did i do this why did i do <laughs> All right, so I offered the um, you know, the, the Tom Chambers package with like everything I had that I could trade. I offered it to the one and two picks, and they both said no. And then I offered it to uh, I was about to offer it to the Suns, but they have Reggie Miller, so I was like, no, let me not make them better. Screw them. And then I offered it to the Hornets, and they gave me their Shaq draft pick, the '92 pick. So I got their pick this year, for their first year in the league. Oh dang, were they gonna let me keep everybody anyways because my other guys are on team options? I don't really care, honestly. Oh, never mind, it, it's not letting me. So uh, wait, I need to release one person still, and they're still cooking me a little bit but hey you could put gerald wilkins in the pool that keep include that in the trade whatever who cares dang marquise johnson dennis rodman oh man the hornets picked gerald wilkins i guess he was just a part of the trade after though all right first pick mitch richmond second pick sorry that's that's tough i might go and trade for john starks right now jesus this draft is garbage well wouldn't let me trade for john stark so screw it danny manning come along you'll be around he's an 84 oh you're an 81 and why they're trying to decline len bias his team option what he did to you all right we got jordan barkley and akeem back in free agency we're playing paying a crazy luxury tax for sure. You know, Jordan might be cooked at a 92, but it's all good. They're also all already 25, which like nowadays players get in there so young, get in, you know what I'm saying, get in the draft. I got like 18 and back in this day, it was like 21. So you've already wasted like one qu quarter of their career. But you know, we still got to like draft LeBron one day or Melo or Bosh or all of them. And Lim Bias might've capped out at 83 though. That's why they were trying to get rid of him. But Scotty already surpassed him, but it's all good. I rock with Lim Bias. I'm gonna let coach take control of the, uh, you know what I'm saying, all the rotations. It's not like it really matters. Hopefully we can keep Lenny Wilkins for the next uh, 100 years. I'm not sure if that's like physically, but that's crazy. So like if we were to start this simulation and end it, most people would be dead by the time. <laughs> By the time that it ends, Akeem Olajuwon still wins MVP even with us divvying out the minutes pretty evenly. David Robinson, DPOI, Terry Porter, most improved player, and Lenny Wilkins, 76 and 6. Hey, screw all y'all NBA teams. I really do not care. We about to go win. Also, someone commented in my last video. I think I saw that Miami was in the Western Conference back in the day because blah, 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 whatever. They got added as expansion team. What I assumed, but still what confuses me because they're so far east. Not confuses at all. Just, you know, it's just funny. And we're about to smoke the Hawks. Sorry. Sorry, Atlanta. My bad. Uh, oh my God. I keep on clicking on SimCast. And they 
actually won a game because of that. Michael Jordan wins Finals MVP, and uh, we we got the oh, Sabonis the hell up and out of here. I think someone also said that Winston Garland is actually Darius' his father. Or it was some Garland. Oh hey, look at my new bowl. He's an 82 overall. We should get him and play him a point guard. Is there another expansion? Ugh, that's bad. That's bad. We might just start losing players. I'm not gonna lie. Draft lottery did not trade for any picks. I might just go all out for like Sean Kemp or something. The Bulls just jumped up from one to five. They finally had good luck, and I might just go steal their pick. Chris Childs. Dang, why Chris Childs got the Hall of Fame? I might mess around and just go up and draft him for whatever reason. Dang, so I could trade Chris Giles and get Chris Childs. But you know what's crazy is that this Shaq team is about to get added in the league, and I might just punish them just for getting added. And you know what's crazy is that they're trying to give me their 91 first round pick just without me even really asking for it. So I'll take 92 instead. Oh my God. I just swapped my first round picks with the Magic. Like all of them. I am bully. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is disgusting. Someone gave the little brother the controller or some. We not protect limb bias. Uh, submit changes. We need to release one player. What well, that doesn't even make sense. Hey, I will trade Len bias. Oh, he's expired. Hey, you know what? Go 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 be gone with the wind or something, Len. I don't know why it does this to me every year, but screw it. We took all Orlando's picks anyways. They got Len bias. He gonna go first in the he does. He does easily. Easily goes first in the draft. Who are all you people? First pick Sean Elliott, second Glenn Rice, third pick Danny Ferry. Did they leave Chris Childs for us? Well, they also left Sean Kemp. Oh, oh, wait, we're in Seattle. Seattle. I gotta do it. I don't think there's a way around me doing it. Yeah, screw it. Give me Sean Kemp. I don't even care what he, if he doesn't even play. I don't really care. He's 77 overall, 19 year old. He's gonna be just fine. Why did we not extend qu Patrick Ewing's qualify? What? I just simulated through it, just assuming they would. I, I will force him back to this team. There's no. Oh, oh, it did. Oh, okay, gave it to him and Detlef. It just glitched. Oh, never mind. It's not extended to these two bums. All right, I read it wrong. My bad. Uh, like, like I said, sleep deprived. Uh, yeah, Patrick Ewing, come back to the team, buddy. Thanks. I'm really excited for the LeBron, Kobe, and Shaq draft era. That's what I'm really here for. Oh, man. And it looks like Akeem and Michael have both peaked at 92 and 94 and 90. And Pippen's going up to 89. Shout out to him. Oh, Kim, you might be the savior. I don't know. Hey, we got Mike Wang as the coach now. It's not. Man, Lenny Wilkins, did he retire or something? I'm going to be heated if I see him on the staff of somebody else. I'm going to look through every single one. Jacob Underwood, Kareem. That's not even Jake. They, I actually, I'm not going to lie. I noticed this. They have a fake Jacob Underwood this year. It's not him. It's not the OG. He's named Jacob Underwood and it's not him. Also, Kareem, you do not look like you should be a coach. Holy hell. Hell, look at his offensive and defense. His stars are less than one star each. And they don't have any other staff. Man, Lenny Wilkins went to the Magic. That is heartbreaking. We need a new real coach for the future. It might just be Mike Stauffer. Uh, I'm going to look through Don Nelson. Well, Casey Jones, Celtics legend. Dang, he's got crazy. Casey Jones got crazy stats. I have quickly learned that we do not have enough money to sign a good coach. Not even our assistant wants to be promoted to head coach. That's how broke we are. I let them auto handle it. And we got a head coach named Jared Dudley. And he is garbage and we're gonna be all right you know what they say the rich get richer and our team is still rich and from these orlando picks probably gonna get richer akeem olajuwon most valuable player tim hardaway rookie of the year i really enjoy having to not pronounce the h and hakeem until it like you know pops up in like year uh, 10 jared dudley coach of the year and it's not the jared dudley and also i it really hurt me i saw we played a game against orlando it hurt me to see danny manning and len bias on that team jesus christ my voice is winning and also i think detlift won six man of the year or something like that we got three all nba first teamers now i'm actually interested because yeah that's that's three of them three defensive teamers as well and akeem on the second team because i think yeah because david won a, a defensive player of the year just click simulate playoffs at this point dog yep we did not lose a game michael jordan finals mvp keep him pushing george gervin retired robert Parrish is out of here he said hey yo what is going on over there what incredible gm is running the supersonics the league meetings and guess what we don't have a pick oh yeah no i, I didn't trade for a pick in this year i forgot about that at least i don't think i did where the magic not here Year, though the magic make the playoffs what the hell we might have traded for some stinkers some awful picks oh my yeah well actually i'm not even surprised len bias danny manning and olden Pauly nice and Dwayne ferrell and norm nixon are over there carrying this 81 overall dude oh my god we got fleeced and uh, not really we i mean we just gave up danny manning it's crazy aside from my stars i don't really have anything to trade but this year we could go and get gary payton and pair him up next to michael scotty and sean kemp obviously and you know the rest all right so deadlifts peaked and i think i could very easily get this pick i don't think i have to offer our other pick let's just let's just do this for real oh okay throwing another scrub kenny fields dang sometimes they actually do value
you the picks correctly, which is interesting sometimes. And this, screw it. You guys can have all this stuff. I don't really, I don't really care. Oh my God. All right, take another trash player. Oh my God. Hey, screw it. That's all I got. So I'm, what I'm going to do is, uh, did we sign that coach? We did not sign that coach for too many years. All right, do we have money to, hell no. Hey, let them sign a new one. I, I really don't care. It does not matter with this team. I'm going to see if Gary Payton goes number one. If he doesn't, he does. All right, Gary, hey, you're going to have to go enjoy your career over there in, in New Jersey. If that's possible, we're going to focus on the future. This man, Chris Giles, we have got him and traded him like at least three times already. But it was really because of the expansion draft. So uh, you can come back for another three years. Why not? Michael Jordan stopping his progression at 92 and Scottie Pippen about to surpass him is scaring me. Oh, uh, yes, we got Tyson Blunt. This is such an odd lineup. I have no clue why I still have Charles Barkley playing the two and Scotty at the three. Charles Barkley is not even as good as Charles Barkley would be, but he's still Charles Barkley. I'm going to do some big brain right now. Oh, yeah, the six is led by Moses Malone. Uh, he might stick around, though. I have a feeling he's going to piss me off and stick around too long. Hey, the Lakers already suck. Magic left. Go ahead and trade the Lakers some bums for that pick in the Shaquille O'Neal draft. That's all I care about right now. All right, cool. I made a trade for that Shaq pick. I think maybe even another one. No, it was just one. I low-key got fleeced, but screw it. I'm betting on them being garbage. I feel like it's more fun to do that than trading up for the top pick, even though I probably will anyways. But, you know, have two dogs in the fight. No Mike Vick. Michael Jordan, most viable player. Gary Payton, how you doing? Len Bai is sixth man of the year. You're pissing me off now. I wish we still had you. What overall are you? 84 still, but you're putting in work. They're probably good for that reason. And Tyson Blunt, 80 and 2. Don't, I don't even care about no NBA teams. Hey, click simulate playoffs. Only lost two games the entire season. You think about to lose more in the playoffs? Yeah, it's over. The Bulls made the finals. Kevin Johnson, dang, we, we, let, we let them get some picks. And they drafted a dude who's an 88 overall. We know who Kevin Johnson is, but you know. They also got the number one overall pick and drafted Sean Elliott. I think over somebody. I, I think it was John Starks. Jeff Cook is cooked. Back to the draft lottery again. Anyway, the Magic were bad. Uh, no, they're too good now. The Heat via the Lake. Wait, the Heat traded for the Lakers pick? They were ahead of me? And guess what? Orlando was the second best team in the league for third best because they got the 25th pick. That is so garbage. I need to trade their future picks. Holy hell. They were, they're in the West too. <laughs> I want to see if the Heat just traded for that Lakers pick because that's pretty funny. Hey, they didn't, but they are making money moves though by, uh, you know what I'm saying, expansion team. That's Pat Riley already at work in spirit. Wait, I think, which draft is Shaq? Is it 93? Oh no, let me look it up. It might be 92. I think it is. This is what happens when you decide to do a 100 year rebuild. It is 92. All right, so what picks have I traded for so far? I mean, at least I still have the mat. I don't think I've traded for many others. Just the Lakers pick in that year. So uh, for my trades, which I'm not, I'm never really breaking the trade barrier, but we'll try and go get the Lakers pick. And I also have seen a lot of offers. You know what though? We'll, we'll keep ourselves in the race for who is it? Uh, I don't know. Chris Webber and Penny. Bang. I got both of their picks in 92 and 94. So they have no picks for the next four years. And, and most of that's their fault because they traded one to Miami. I don't know what for. I just gave them two like mid 70 overalls and my pick and the magic pick from this year that I didn't want anyways. Now you're going to look at the draft. I'm good. Larry Johnson, go have fun wherever the hell he goes. You're going to have Scotty Pippen. You got to head right back to this team, buddy. You're a four-time champion. Real successful. Real successful things. It's your max contract. We're not giving you pennies like how the Bulls did. No hard away. Give me Danny Ainge. He's such a master in the front office. He'll help me out from the sidelines or, well, the bench. It was crazy. I tried to sign Kurt Rambis two times and both times he re-signed with the Lakers. I don't even want you no more. Give me Tree Rollins. You got to love some Tree. Look at Sean Kemp improving. Ah, yes. We are entering the Jordan era that has already started because we've won 45 rings. And honestly, me and my friends were doing it like one of these leagues or whatever. We did it. We did it like a fantasy draft in 90, 91 and then all tanked for Shaq or whatever. And I got Shaq and he won me 10 rings in a league against all my dogs. Like oh, it was, it's, you know, it's, it's easy as explained. I'm going to leave the default draft class. I don't care if it's missing nobody. I want that Shaquille. I will trade any, I will trade uh Sean Kemp and, and you, uh, Pippen, Ewing. Yeah, I don't, I don't care. I'm, I'm, I'm going to keep my picks I already got and just go with that. Akeem Olajuwon with like his third or fourth MVP or something like that. God, I, lo I love seeing these players succeed. Sorry to David Robinson. I saw you on another team. Sorry to Magic Johnson. You know, you want a contract like in a couple years. Hell, Larry. Yeah, you want to come around? Like, we're down for whatever. We the Warriors. I know you guys are like old and got pride and all that stuff. We don't do that nowadays. Jesus Christ. We almost just lost to the Blazers in the conference finals with the game seven. If we lost, it would have been honorable. Wait, they have they have Magic and, and uh, J this exact scenario happened in my last video. Not a huge spoiler. They, they just both left and went to the same team. It might even be the same team. It might be the Blazers again. Almost lost to Magic and no way in hell will we lose another game, right? That was close though. Patrick Ewing, congrats on the finals MVP. All right, it is time. Do we have any top picks off the rip? The Lakers pick is second. I don't even want to watch this. I just want to see where it is. It moved down to five. Guess who's getting checked though? It ain't going to be the Rockets. Let me call them. I said I give up Scotty. They might have overheard me. It's only a four-star pick. Give him the fifth pick. Hey, screw it. Don't even give up anybody. Give him Tree Rollins. Give him Danny Ainge. Give him a... Uh... Hey, I'm already giving up Deadlift Shrimp and the fifth pick.
Drake and Mark. Hey, just to show you guys how real I'm about this, you can have this 96 pick. Oh my God, they still don't want it. I have to give one of the Magic picks. The Magic even good this year or bad? No, yeah, you know, you got one of them picks. They really want a lot for me to move up. I said I'd move Scotty. I'm not, I'm going to try not to. Instead, let's give up the first round pick this year. See if they like it. Hell no. Uh, actually, I am trying to get Steve Smith right now. Maybe I shouldn't do that. Actually, it was because of money. Let me try no players at all, except for Mark. I got it. I got it done with no, I didn't even have to give up debt lift. I kind of got excited to get Steve Smith, but no players at all. We give up a 96 first round pick from ourselves, a magic pick next year, and the pick this year from the Lakers. I, I don't, honestly, I really don't care. We got Shaq. Look at that. And pre jeff workouts. Don't care, Carl. We got Shaquille. Look at that. NBA draft. Go right to it. We could probably get Alonzo too. I could not care less. Shaquille O'Neal, welcome to the Seattle Supersonics. Sim to use a pick. How the hell do I have another pick? I didn't trade this pick. Oh, snap. I'm about to trade my pick this year and all these bums to Miami for their first in 96. This should work. It will. You know who's in 96. Everybody. Shaq is a supersonic. We still have everybody else. My dog is about to just come off the bench first here, to be honest with you. Larry, I said I'd give you a contract. Do you want that one? No, he don't want it. John Starks is a 90. I was like a pick away from him. Maybe was my whole backstory with him. Dang, this is crazy. That's Alvin Robertson right there. This man was the fourth pick after Jordan, Hakeem, and Barkley, and he only played two seasons and then phased out and played again like last year. I'm about to sign him. He's not going to play. Hey, shoot. He's going he gonna to keep on doing that. Oh, yeah. Patrick's starting to decline. He's not, he not ready for this role no more. It's, that's all. That's all. Hakeem only got like half his career left for real. We need another half with Big Shaq. Yes, 20 years old. I mean, Sean Kemp going to run the next, you know what I'm saying, era with the. Uh, they're going to be old and we're going to get Kobe, and that's going to be beautiful. And Kobe and Iverson. And I'm for sure. Oh, 96. We got to start loading up on 96 bits because it's going to get tough. I might trade Mike to get all them 96 bits. <laughs> Hugo Simmons, your newest coach of the Seattle Supersonics. I don't know who the hell this is. You got to earn your minutes, young fella. Got championship pedigree over here. Also, since we almost lost the Magic last year, let's fix the positions. Just put Barkley at three. Pretty sure, uh, what's his name? Pippen. Oh, Pippen did develop his three-point shot. It used to be a 50. I love how Jordan's been playing point guard all these years, and I've never once thought about drafting one. Dremp is a knockdown shooter, and Pippen is the only player that could even relatively shoot threes on, on this uh, entire rotation. Might get kind of nasty as we enter the new era, you know? Who cares? I mean, Zion dominates every current league. Magic Johnson comes back for an MVP. He's trying to make a comeback run. He tried almost beat us last year. He only lost three games even with Hugo coaching. I don't care about no teams. What I look like. Beat the hell out of them. Uh, Beat the hell out of them. And Magic rematch. 2-0, 3-0. Just don't blow the lead. There you go. Nets, we are not losing to... Oh, it's Gary. Gary beat Seattle. Hell no. Oh, wow. He actually got a win. Uh, congratulations. See ya. Moses Malone retired. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful for those Lakers picks. I have one more this season. What was Moses doing? Did it help Help us get a higher pick. We have number one odds. Who the hell will it be? Please don't. Oh, it dropped. Oh my. Okay. At least, you know what? The Knicks got two, the one. That's cool. But might steal it because we might finally get a good point guard. Or I might just go for two and then see. I might go for two and then let the Knicks get one. And, um, you know, whichever one falls, which I would hope is Penny for the sake of our roster needs. Uh, you could have our 97 pick and all this garbage, uh, for this. Yeah. I think we have a, oh, we have the fourth pick. I, I completely forgot about that. Screw you. Want to keep both? And who's in this draft? Uh, this 97. Seven pick don't got value to us anyways. Dang, that's tough. All right, well, I just gave up Blair Rasmussen and the fourth pick and got the second pick, just like I wanted. The Knicks didn't even offer me anything. The Jazz were willing to listen. And speaking of willing to listen, let's make one of our other trades. I, I don't make many. I honestly, I'm not keeping track, but I don't make many trades every year. I just trade for some picks to keep pushing. Suns, they've been struggling even with Reggie Miller. He's still there and they are still struggling. I'm going to assume that that's not the smartest team to trade with though. Hey, Knicks, Dumars is getting old. Short is getting old. You can win this year, but give me a 96. And while we're at it, give me a 96 as well let's go oh my god it was so close to, that was all i had it was ricky Pierce, pierce alvin robertson and an hour 97 first and it worked to perfection we now have the second pick in the draft who will go first it is chris weber to new york and seattle number two we will draft mr oscar robertson hall of fame comparison kenny hardaway welcome to seattle it's our little uh you know gary payton replacement oh wow there goes sean bradley but uh what i think uh what's his name chris yeah chris is an 84 so he is crazy but it's not what we need we got time and we don't need chris Weber. And obviously I had to load in this draft class because that's the, the truth is still the truth uh, that Chris Weber is not in the draft class, the normal one, which is very odd. 2K, just, just I know you're not going to fix it, but you know, dog, come on, dog. Dang, everybody's a free agent? Holy hell, we lined up these years badly. But Keem's a free agent. Jordan's, hey, if we lost anybody, I mean, I would just go with the flow. Barkley's a free agent. Now, I am down to pay that luxury tax. I do not care. I used all my offers. Oh, man. Oh, we, we, we probably, okay, we got all of them. Hakeem, oh, we didn't get Hakeem. Hakeem left. He signed with the Magic. 
Magic, which is the team that we stole all the picks from. Oh, man. That is crazy. I, I wasn't even really looking at contracts. And there's our first casualty, our first loss, our multi-time MVP. Keem Olajuwon goes to sign with a... I, they really don't have a roster right now, probably. Oh, you have to scroll all the way to the end for the expansion team. They have Dennis Rodman and Olden Pauly. Nice. Will he have any chance of beating us even with... I don't know. We got Shaq to basically replace him. But we just lost him at no cost. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, we just nothing for him. That's crazy. Uh, let, let's try and at least get Kemp back for the love of God. He, he, no, Kemp is restricted. And uh, let, let's get Shrimp back as well. We don't got no other money. Sean Kemp is trying to accept with the Sixers? Chill out. <laughs> what are you doing? Why are you doing this to us? That is so crazy that Akeem left us after all we've been through. Maybe he wanted a challenge. Who knows? I gotta check and see if anybody else become a free agent. It's probably Ewing soon. I might gotta trade them. Oh, man. The Ewing's got one year left. Shaq is obviously still on his rookie contract. And you're moving to a new era. Thank you to Michael, though, for being loyal. I appreciate it. But, man, Hakeem, what a snake. Even the team for Dennis. What is... Dennis is doing nothing. He's not even averaging rebounds for real. He's averaging some mid-rebound numbers. He's doing Willie Anderson. Who the hell cares about Derek Coleman, Willie Anderson, and Dennis Rodman? They're about to smoke him this year. Shaq, get in that starting lineup, old man. What am, I love when I'm, like, a couple years into something. We're, we're, what, 10 years in now? Just about. Just remember there's 90 years left. Uh, yeah. Might just force those last 60 or something, you know. Uh, uh. I committed to it. I committed to it. This might take multiple recording sessions, but holy hell. Oh, yeah. I didn't even look at our lineup. Uh, I guess Coach got it. Shaq starting. Yeah. Oh, this is a new coach. Lewis Moore was good. Yeah, Jerome Kersey in the lineup. And we still haven't lost a game. This looks this looks fine to me. We might look into trading uh, Ewing uh, now, I guess. I'm scared. I'm, honestly, I might just see if we lose him. Honestly, yeah. we've had our fun. Let's see what let's see what he get us on the trade block. Actually, wait. Oh, I forgot. We could do contract extensions. Uh, does he extension just says none? He, it just says none. No thought. I guess we just go to the uh, the trade deadline at least and think about it then. You know, rethink things, Patrick. Maybe we can, you know, sit down, talk it over. Still none. Simulate cover. I don't think it's going to change. No, where is John Starks at? Look at Lamb Bias on the Suns. Dang, he's on a one-year deal. Oh, man. Carl Malone on a four-year deal. I'm, I'm, I mean, I guess that's smarter than having Ewing, but I'm good. Smalling up in Houston, putting up numbers with Kenny Smith. Actually, not a bad trade. We get some shooting finally for the first time in ever. The player I was really intrigued in, I saw it was actually Larry John. I passed up on for that one year and yeah, he just signed a four year deal, 24 years old. See if I could finesse this somehow if they got anybody else or anything like that. All right, uh, I, I've been refraining from trying to get Sam Bowie. It's been real deadlift shrimp. It's been real Pat Patrick Ewing, but make the smart move here and trade Patrick for uh, Larry Johnson. He's cooking and yeah, yeah, whatever. It's Larry Johnson. All right. All right. I just traded with Miami Sam Bowie for their, uh, what's it called? 98 first round pick. Wait, was it 98? No, no, we got, I might've got their 98 on accident. Whatever it is, what it is. Screw Sam Bowie. Uh, we'll put Jerome Kersey in the line lineup why not actually no we don't need that we can run a seven man bada bing bada boom go win another ring i am a loser by the way i'd be sitting here for like 20 minutes constructing some insignificant trade that heat picks probably watch why is they probably gonna beat us right now okay he picks gonna be garbage in 98 like i just sat here trying to trade sam bowie strategically for a minute because i didn't want him on this basketball team so are we only gonna lose one game this year even without hakeem bad look that is a bad look for mr hakeem michael jordan uh mvp almost said finals mvp we're getting ready for that one sean kemp six man of the year got a lot more minutes and Shaq most improved player of course we lost one game I'll go I'll go check who was against I didn't I didn't see it like while we were simulating I didn't notice it is it really this early in the season oh it was mid-season to Detroit no clues on Detroit don't really care either oh Roy Marble I don't know who this is but he's doing something right all right playoffs and uh what, what team did, oh the magic the magic is a key large one just keep an eye he lost in the first round oh man we never lost like that before I don't know oh man we're playing the Pistons the team that beat us once couldn't they beat us again hell no probably gonna be another uh what's it called soon another expansion draft not yet though dang none of our picks became anything this year that's crazy uh 12th pick that's not that bad oh my god we just fleeced the kings i offered our 12th pick and all of our bums a second round pick for their 96 95 and 97 first round picks they were the worst team in the league this year i didn't want no 94 12th pick well let's see let's see who the hell i don't even know if we have a pick still i don't think we, no we definitely don't let's see who the hell the 12th pick in this draft would have been who cares about Clifford Rozier. Why, anybody I could have drafted, I would have been interested in. Hell no. They were all gone. E Eric Mobley. Is it Evan's, Evan's father? I have no clue. Aaron McKee, maybe. Kenny Hardaway. Congratulations. Nice little three point. Dang, he's older than Shaq. Was he like older than Shaq in real life? Is this true to the game? I, I don't know. I've never, I don't recall that. I mean, I don't, wouldn't really recall that because I wasn't alive, but you know. Oh, snap. I forgot this is KG's year. I've just been thinking, for some reason, I think of 94 and 95 as the uh, year of Grant Hill and Jason Kidd, but uh, I take the Kings as a uh, 95 pick i think i did that's good that's good let's see who else is trash i have too many players in my roster right now so let's try and finesse something
something. Why the heat picks so low value? There we go. Miami just gave me their 95 and 98 picks for Ronnie Cycle or Ronnie Cycle or whatever the hell his name is. I was a kid, I always used to read Ronnie Turioff as Ronnie Turioff, but I think his is actually spelled with two N's. I think I'm just stupid. Yeah, we got we definitely have a basketball team still, you know. No, no Hakeem, but screw it. They used him to trade him for shoot something. Speaking of that, yeah, we got no no important players expiring this year. That's good to know. We're inching in on the Kobe and LeBron drafts and then could potentially dominate entire, you know, whatever the hell's. Honestly, can we turn in-season contract extensions to on for automation? Because low-key, I'd be forgetting. <laughs> I am trying to simulate, dog. Yeah, I'm excited for the 2000s as well. I don't know who we losing to the Timberwolves, man. I do not care. Hopefully one of them 95 picks is good for us. We bring in KG as well. Why not? Okay, the stretch of drafts from like, it's not nearly the same as bad, but in 2K, like 80s, 8 to 92 is the same level of hype that, that there is from like 98 to 02. Jordan, most viable player. Or my bad, 98, because that's a Dirk year and, and Paul Pierce and Vince. But uh, Sean Kemp, six man. First team, we got uh, Jordan. I don't see Hakeem anywhere. There he goes on the Magic doing hell the same stuff he was doing here. You, you don't get any more touches over there, big dog? Yep, we are. Oh, we're playing him. We are playing Hakeem. We are also sweeping Hakeem. Scotty Pippen wins a finals MVP. Why not? Kevin McHale is out of here. Jeff Ruland is out of here. I'm about to say this is going to be a really bad year for an expansion draft. And guess what it is? Oh, my God. We are about to get cooked in the expansion draft. Uh, any? Hey, no picks? Oh, it might be a good year to trade up then. What the hell happened? Miami was that good and Sacramento was that good. The Celtics are slated to get Kevin Garnett, but we need to send him to another green team, you know? Oh, it might be the year to trade Barkley, actually. Let's just try and finesse something else. It probably won't work. We don't have a good enough good trash players. Heat are starting to get good, so maybe we trade. I was thinking about trading literally five first round picks and this dude, for KG, and just keeping everybody. But wait, actually, expansion draft. And KG would be the eighth player on the team. I don't know if they're going to force me to release. Hey, I, I don't know. I, I'll just, at that point, they're just screwing me over. I will genuinely make it six first round picks and they still are not going to take it. Might have to trade Barkley for KG. Now, this is the interesting part of this is like Ewing was a little bit different, but like Barkley, we drafted him first year. He's been here the whole time. Obviously, we lost Hakeem to unforeseen for circumstances, but it's always bittersweet to trade someone like this. And we're going to have to do this a lot in this simulation if we want to, uh, you know, stay afloat. I'm going to trade them Barkley. They can give me their next year's pick. You could have pick 21. Let's see if this works. It does not. Some more bums, honestly. I'll just, I'll just, I'm going to get this trade done. I'm, I've decided. So, dang, I had to trade a lot for Kevin Garnett. KG, boy, you better be worth it. If anything, this might be a little bit too. Well, to be fair, I only trade one pick from 97. All the other picks would have converted. Whatever. Either way, I trade a lot. Barkley and uh, four picks for Celtics pick this year and next year. Celtics, you better be garbage. I don't care if you have Charles Barkley. I don't care. Uh, I don't think I traded most of my bums so that hopefully they don't make me cut somebody. I think that's the issue is that every other time I was trading my bums. Yeah, here we go. Perfect. So you, you can nah, keep Harvey Grant. Get a, get get jo get John Paxson out of here. I just want to keep Harvey Grant because Horace Grant played with Jordan. Perfect. The NBA draft, the first overall pick, Seattle. We will easily be selecting a translucent. What's the, I, I'm sorry. I'm so transcensional. Tran transitional transitional tra no these all what am i talking about spanish to english evan garnett is a seattle he look, yeah I, I feel like he's gonna be oh who just got traded for the sick anderson and is that miami's dang not miami wait who the celtics dang the celtics say yo we got wait the celtics went back and got mcdice that is uh, bad for us oh man they went back and got another pick that is oh my god that's bad that is bad i have to like try and sabotage them or something or because i just traded for their pick Damn, we have another. Oh, yeah, yeah. We have a couple picks. All right, pick number 14. We always got to draft the players to say all NBA or something. I think it was, uh, I don't care if you real or not, Antoine Knox. You're coming to this back. Oh, you're 23 years old. Never mind. AJ Paul. That's the one. Do we still? Oh, no. That, that was our only pick. Screw it. We shouldn't have even picked that guy, but whatever. It is what it is. Kevin Garnett and AJ Paul. Welcome to the Supersonics. A beautiful addition. A Ray Hughes. Why are you trying to get out of here? Stick around. Stick around. I don't know what value you have here, but screw it. Who cares? You're here. Who's your, like, favorite niche player that your team, your Matt, like okay i already know people in comments be like oh yeah frank ni lakina favorite niche player of your team it could be any era you could be old young that your team gave up that you wish they didn't i don't know i'm just like feeling that right now as like i resigned 59 overall players go sign some more rotational players that will never hit the rotation Shaq is a 93 overall he is already the best player on our team he's slated to become better than akeem ever was or and he's already better than jordan ever was which is crazy mike has still been a multi-time mvp so it hasn't held him back at all held tendencies have carried him more than any 
anything. And we are on to the 1996 draft. Um, I don't think they're missing anybody really, so I might just keep the default stuff. That being said, we have uh, roster spots. We, we signed too many players, so screw it. Who wanna, wanna just throw random players in there and uh, just give me a 96 pick, somebody. Jesus Christ, how many people did I sign? Screw it, the Knicks wanna give me 98 and 97? That works, first straight on there. Uh, that, that freed up, dang, how many people did I sign? Hawks gave me Chris Gatling, who's actually good. In a 96 first, screw it, I'll take it. Finally going on to the season. Why the hell is, bro? oh, cause I traded, uh, what's his name? Oh yeah, Larry Johnson played the three, or Pippen, obviously. Yeah, Gatling, you will come in clutch when we trying to trade up for a pick. 81 overall, man. Still got Lewis Moore running the show. And uh, KG, you can earn your little 20 minutes off the bench. You know what I'm saying? Get get ready for next year or whenever the hell. I know I've been like rambling a lot. We're only like 10 years into this video. And this video will probably be hours long. I really appreciate everybody that watches the videos just in general. But like, all right, you know what's crazy? Let me actually, I've never mentioned this before. Okay, this is for the people that are here right now, right? I had a page on Instagram, like on Instagram for years. And I would run it during like spring breaks and winter breaks and everything. And it was called NBA 2K dot rebuilds the last post on it was my first ever video on youtube i had like screen captured it and like put it as a post to like go subscribe to my youtube channel i used to just post like post by post do rebuilds on instagram because i didn't have like the youtube equipment and stuff so you know what i'm saying here we are now Real stuff michael jordan most valuable player six man of the year sean kemp again sorry kevin garnett that's true you guys play the same position i don't really care 79 and 3 roy marble all nba first team again hey how you doing akeem wow he finally gets points up it only took 15 years they are the first seed though we're gonna click simulate playoffs we actually lost the game to minnesota which is really weird uh houston we're gonna play okay the bullets made it to the finals washington washington and we are going to sweep them there we go penny hardaway final hey penny i i didn't think i even said this but penny actually or yeah i did actually i showed it made him a two guard and he's that literally makes no sense why didn't i just make mike a two you know what mike's used to the one anyways watch he gets worse now he stays the same and he got better at the two it makes more sense larry bird has retired a hey, watch out for them warriors picks i gotta go hit up cold actually he was on the hornets last year so i don't even know if any of these picks matter he was just jumping around from team to team all the fame inductees obviously him although we did ruin his career he won no mvps only won one championship we took larry's whole career larry and magic i don't think magic retired yet though uh, i is there another expansion draft this year i have no clue please don't tell me there is let's go draft lottery saw seattle once oh man that's bad that is bad that's really bad okay i'm gonna just click it it's not like we're gonna move up anyways all right we need to put in serious work we got three picks actually four picks outside three out, outside of the lottery and one just barely in it that is that is awful luck let's do some work all right we need to get a uh, kobe bean in them all right let's go for obviously top three picks steve nash as well as there we need to we need to get kobe though we need to get kobe this is the part like where i would actually start forfeiting some pivotal players like i i would maybe forfeit pippin pippin or even mike i'm not gonna lie i would maybe forfeit mike and that's mike i don't know i'm just talking i want to be him like the him of nba teams forever okay they're asking for larry johnson for the first pick i could probably finesse it let's try mr gatling do they okay cool they have like cap space so i could throw them a bunch of trash players and throw them the 25th pick try this to start okay cool them 22 as well okay cool oh, we got our own future pick now that's good I'm, I'm gonna just get back when i finish this obviously aj paul i just drafted you last year and that was a dude who said he had an all-star potential and i know i just said i'd get back to you when i finish this but i just want to highlight i'm about to use this dude to try and get the first pick i think just one more pick will do it 25 or or one of the lottery ones is done we just got the first overall pick without trading anybody we traded our own 2000 pick two of the trash picks that we had chris gatling aj paul from last year's 14th pick he came back to be worthy worthy of something at the very least we have guaranteed if we you know and if we want kobe bryant and i would be perfectly fine with getting a you know just kobe and ai i think that'd be a fun team to get kobe ai and Shaq like that's like the three staples of the 2000s plus Tim Duncan that he's next year and we could get him too but I I don't know pretty have KG it's gonna be a lot of great players we might have to pass up on is Sean Kemp expired expired oh man that's bad that is wait when did he get a player option oh that was when he, he tried to leave us oh and Penny's just Penny oh wait Shaq and Pippen are ex oh man that's that's bad that's bad this is a bad year for that to happen too we might need to actually we might need to trade might need to give up on Larry Johnson for real let's see if we get Carl Malone. I know you're old, but I'll be honest. I might break my trade rule this year. I don't, I don't even remember how many we're at. I don't count, but you know, it was just a general rule of thumb. We get Larry Johnson. Okay, cool. They, they're, they're fine. They don't want that. And we have our own pick in 1997. Why? I'm over this. For Allen Iverson. Let's do it. Okay. Nope. I'm gonna get it done though. I might trade Jordan next year for Tim Duncan. No lie. Let's try this uh, Celtics first round pick. Would this work? No. 
I will give up the Kings one. I will do it. There it is. We have the second pick in the draft and Carl Malone. The reason why I say I might break the thing is because I, I might I might trade Carl Malone. I don't even know how many trades that is, but I yeah, I I just I uh can we can we flip him back for the third pick? I feel like it's a pretty re reasonable thing to do. Oh my god, we can get the third pick just like that. We've been cooking the bulls. Who even draft Ray Allen? I I I gotta I gotta see. Both Ray Allen and Steve Nash are Hall of Famers, but Allen is probably our Allen Ivers is probably gonna have to play point guard on our team for the future. So I probably would choose Ray Allen. He's also younger. So yeah, I'd probably choose Ray Allen with the third pick. That is a fantastic, and I mean fantastic setup for the future. Bulls are gonna be garbage after this. Let's see, let's see if they, we can finesse them even more. They are giving us their next year pick by default. But what are they doing? Did they just ask for one pick for all of their picks? Is it it's just the, the this year's pick? I tried finessing them more and more and more, but I'm just gonna straight up take I'm a, I'm gonna keep it pushing. Got the Lem bias. I saw you on the thing. Take pick three and their next year's pick. See, actually, can they can they give me like a good player? So they're actually worse. Let's see. Give me Bryant Reeves or something. You know, then they start getting weird and put on like pick swaps and all this stuff. So no, 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 no. Screw you. Give me your pick straight up. Carmelo will be trash. Thank you very much. And just like that, we've got all the picks in the draft. Uh, I don't think we have anybody else I'd want to trade except for over the hell these two. Oh, they're both expired. And he's expired. Really, the only people we could even trade left is Michael Jordan and Kevin Garnett. And I don't want to do that. So actually, let's see just real quick. I'm about to move up to what looks like the top 10 in the draft. Let's see. Grizzlies, are you finally it? Giving up Miami's pick and a and a pick later in this draft. They're not it. This draft is like relatively deep. So I'm just going to hope that someone falls to like nine or something. Oh, there it is. Got number nine. That's it. I literally can't do any. I could do some other stuff, but I'm not going to. Not that dumb. With the first pick in the draft, Seattle Supersonics will select. Hey, we're going to give Kobe number one overall pick. I got to give it to Iverson. Second overall. So we now have Kobe and Mike on the same team. Jesus Christ. Allen Iverson will also be there. And shout out to Steve Nash. I love you. We already got Penny. We already got AI. Go to another wing. We've been, you know, we've been lacking on shooting. We're going to start the shooting off era. A shooting era off hot, Mr. Ray Allen. Let's see if uh, Steve, Steve Nash goes right after. Okay. Fifth overall pick gets traded for Dennis Hobson and it goes to Marcus Camby. Antoine Walker. Eric, I already know a very easy pick. Stephon Marbury not? Or, there he is. I was like, what the hell? Maybe. I don't know if he's it though. I just say all NBA. Uh, Sharif Abdul Rahim would be the other one probably. For sure going to pick one of those two. I don't care about these other guys talking about some other stuff. When you got Peja. I didn't realize I, I low-key could have just stood where I was at and got one of these guys. I'm not going to lie. But it's all good. This is where they get you. We have Peja 100% 100 scout and he has a B minus potential. It does say that Stefan's a C and Sharif's a B minus though. I'm going to go with Sharif. I'm going to go with Sharif Abdul Rahim right here. He is a 78. Beautiful, beautiful. And yep, Marbury went actually, I think, one pick before we would have picked. But at least say I got somebody. And also, I saw Gauskis too. What a beautiful draft. Oh my God. A lot of work into that. Sean Kemp declined his player option. And on top of that, Shaq is a free agent. So if I will oh, believe Shaq, yeah, Shaq is a restricted free agent. So that's 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 a done deal. All the money he wants, five years, boom. Pins also here. We're going to give him all the money he wants. Uh, I can't give him a no trade clause, though. I think I wouldn't rather lose him than give him a no trade clause, though. Let me see. Wizards or the Warriors did give him a no trade clause. I'm going to give him the most money you can get with a player option, but no no trade clause. See what he says. Uh, He's coming back. Bet. All right, cool, cool. Or at least he should. And Sean Kemp, same for you, buddy. All right, we got all three of our dogs back. That's beautiful. My brethren, as of right now, we do not have to recap this team. We have Jordan, Pippen, Shaq, and Kobe on the same team. Kevin Garnett, Sean Kemp, Penny Hardaway, Allen Iverson, and Ray Allen. Do I need to say any more? Sharif Abdul Rahim might not even make the rotation. Was that who I thought it was at the bottom of our bench? Wait, I gotta go look at that again. I thought it was David Robinson. Oh my, you could fully uh, center D, D Robinson. I could have sworn. We're going to extend it to a nine-man rotation. It's still primarily running the starters, but holy hell, look at the team. Run up the season. Get it over with. Most poetic thing would be if I traded Le uh, Jordan for LeBron. Oh yeah, forget a Bill Russell challenge, by the way. Oh, we actually only have 10 rings. I thought we had more, but yeah, here it is actually. Here it goes in the 11. Shaquille O'Neal, most valuable player. Michael Jordan on the wing. Lewis Moore, 76 and 6. We probably honestly lost more games by playing our youngins, but I really don't care. The first round beat the second round, lost the game. Let me make sure we don't lose. We actually lost another game to the Nuggets. We play the Wizards in the finals. I, I don't know if they're the Wizards yet or the, no, there's the Bullets. And that is it. Kevin Garnett finals MVP. And we, we really, we, we finessed a couple number one overall picks like real easily. We hit up the Purvis Short Hall of Fame inductee ceremony, whatever. Oh man, the Purvis Short, the draft lottery. I don't know what picks we, oh my, I just saw two Sonics picks, eight and nine. Any way those move up? Nope, they stay at eight and nine, but that's okay. Chicago and Sacramento's picks. What's crazy is I know I've been talking about Tim Duncan, but you know, T-Mac here too. Uh, I'm not going to trade for both of them. I, I'm going to trade for one of them though. I mean, if you're wondering how I uh, got all these picks again, I think I just signed too many players again in Trade Finder to a bunch of picks. That's really it. Just took whichever one's popped up. I didn't like, like, you know, snap.
sniff him out or something. We could just trade Scottie Pippen straight up for Christian Leitner in the first pick. Just about, but uh, I'm okay on that. Looks like they're not even really valuing the pick like that much. Just give him Terry Davis. Give him the eighth pick. Matter of fact, give him the ninth pick. Give him Cycli. Going to throw in Sean Kemp. I wouldn't be even perplexed at that decision. Going Kevin Duckworth, 27th pick, and our 2001 unprotected first. And I really thought that was going to work. I thought I'd just put on a masterclass. By the way, there's still like one or two more expansion drafts. So we are bound to get cooked. Honestly, I finessed. Let me just get eight, eight and nine for one. Oh, yeah, they're going to throw in Sean Kemp for sure. On one of our garbage low picks, 1001. Run Ronnie and call it a day. Okay, bet I'll throw in the other dude and call it a day. Hey, I'm giving you eight and nine, buddy. I knew you were going to take it. Tim Duncan is mine. Honestly, I'm down to trade Sharif Abdul Rahim for number two and get T Mac. I am definitely down for that. Him, Kevin Duckworth, this 27th pick. I should take all this other stuff and have 15 instead. Fine. Take all the picks. Screw it. Give it, give it, give it to us. Give it to us. Hey, with the first pick in the NBA draft, the Seattle Supersonics will select Tim Duncan. And with the second pick, Pick in the NBA draft. Oh yeah, you already know. It's easy. We trading up the ninth pick for the second pick. Using some other picks with some other picks. He's an 86 out the gate. I don't know what year the Bobcats or Hornets or whatever the hell or the Vancouver Grizzlies get at it, but I am terrified for it. I think it might be next year. Hey Hakeem, how you been doing? You been winning? Hell no. I'm not gonna accidentally sign too many players. If anything, I'm just gonna sign these three guys and simulate the rest. I keep on signing too many people on accident. Like that sounds like a lie, but I'm not lying this time. Michael Jordan is a 91. He's regressing. Not gonna lie, if the expansion draft came around he would be getting sent somewhere hey, he would be in vancouver by tomorrow i totally forgot about this draft and probably not gonna trade for anybody i'll be honest with you once this hand hand spoon feed me the picks i also didn't have any extra players this year so i didn't get any mickey mouse picks i also got to make iverson a point guard forgot about that you know what's funny is that after all those years of me struggling to get the correct positions again like too many big men by getting the best players available now have the correct you know five man rotation on the starters and on the bench t-mac not even playing you know like a point guard shooting guard like a whole depth chart looking thing on that note let me see what michael jordan's going for i might wait for the draft to be honest but I really plan to trade him for tim duncan i don't really care to trade him for vince carter only two offers are roy marble and michael finley i mean if i take off i could i could get nash but i, I really don't care i have everybody that's elite let's see if it's an expansion year i'll trade him but aside from that i really he gonna be around chris weber wins most viable player in new york to be fair we are running a 10-man rotation so uh you know not to eat with like a bunch of young players getting a bunch of minutes so it's not the easiest for Shaq to win it every year you know oh he didn't make an all me team win the first round win the second round probably win the third round shoot i don't at this point if we lose we deserve oh man chris weber takes a game off of us what does he think he is iverson oh wow oh the irony magic johnson has given up dang why you ain't to come sign over here come on dog and they got michael stauffer and matthew stauffer Offer. Seems worthy retired alongside him. They always have the roll together. Oh no, let me see. Oh man, no expansion draft yet. That is beautiful. If there was to be an expansion draft right now, uh, assuming that I'd keep all the young players, we'd probably lose Jordan, Pippen, and Sean Kemp. Yeah, they would all be cooked. Draft lot. Oh wow, I just saw two Supersonics picks. I oh, know it was just one. And we get number 12. Looks like it'd be very easy to trade it for Dirk, which is pretty funny. All right, well, uh, to plan for the future, I'm about to trade Sean Kemp for the third pick, which obviously will be on our roster in two seconds, but also so every single pick that they own, although we have yet to reach 2003, which kind of sucks because I wish I could get that one. And also this might actually make them too good. They also have Steve Nash. So this might just be stupid overall. But at the end of the day, we're getting the third pick. So there you guys there. Uh, actually, I believe, yeah, Jordan's a free agent. Thankfully, I did not make Pippen a what's it called? No trade clause. I could get pick one and Kenny Smith for him, but I'd have to pay, trade three. So never mind. Wait, wait, why is it showing me the Vancouver group? They did not get an expansion team yet, right? But then they got, wait, did they get one? What? Oh, it was all them years ago. Um, oh, oh, they came in at the same time of the raptors i believe yeah 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 we're just waiting for the hornets oh, we're just waiting for one more okay that's that's intriguing so that one's in like oh three actually so we might be good but hey i'll take the third pick anyways sure let's keep this let's keep this shit moving first pick houston picks vince carter second pick antoine jameson wow they leave both on the board for me i could pick either pierce said to be larry bird or dirk said to be bob pettit uh honestly uh pierce is probably i mean yeah pierce is probably the better fit for us but i don't really care a big dirk on the team he could even play the three if need be they go paul pierce i'm gonna use a pick we still got some more in this draft like rashard lewis right here they're sleeping on him and that's it dirk welcome to the team oh man all of them are team pl player op whatever the hell we drafted four players in the same draft well actually we traded one of them thankfully oh jordan is a free agent oh yeah yeah, yeah. i forgot i completely forgot all right all right all right um hey, mike if you want to move on it's up to you brother uh, my, my, my brother my brother i'm not gonna give you a 
no trade clause because it's a lose lose regardless. So, uh, eh. you don't give him a one plus one with a no trade clause. That's the deal that he likes the most. I'm not going to trade him in the time frame, anyways. Why not? Michael, are you going to resign? Probably. Yep, there he is. And get the hell out of free agency. I'm tired of this garbage. Oh my God, Iverson's a 95. Jordan's down to a 90. He's now stuck here for, well, just a year. And they're still giving Michael the starting spot over Kobe. I really don't care, to be honest. And Dirk's not even in the rotation. And I also don't care about that. I'll be all right. Devin Garnett wins most viable player on our team. Jinx 17 and wait, what was that? 12 rebounds, six assists. Antoine Jameson, rookie of the year elsewhere. Cause holy hell, we took every, or actually we didn't even take all the rookies. 78 and four. And we lost a lot of, we lost a lot of games at the end of the season. Said that so genuinely, like it wasn't four. Uh, Kevin Garnett, finals MVP, won another one. Isaiah Thomas and Manute Bull retire. Isaiah's out of here and makes the hall of fame. Draft lottery. I don't know if we have picks. Oh, I just saw one. The eighth pick jump up. It did not jump up. It went down actually. Pretty sure I genuinely do not want to get within 10 feet of this draft. This is a draft with, uh, what's his name? It's not the draft with Gilbert Arenas. So I genuinely do not care. Gilbert's good in this game. All these other guys suck. Tony Parker's pretty all right, but did I not see Tony Parker? Oh, Sean Marion's crazy too, actually. Well, I have a pick. So, I mean, I might as well just go see what'll get me. I can't trade Michael Jordan. I mean, Baron David, who the hell is Tony Waters? Wally Zerbiak, Elton Brands. Dang, that was who I was hoping for. Either him or, oh, I, I didn't even realize Rip Hamilton was in there. Well, I said I wanted Sean Marion. Uh, Mar Odom's pretty good too, but let me scoop up a 2K God. I got another pick as well. Screw it. We'll take Jason Terry. And another pick? Jesus Christ. We even keep all these players? Let's see, with that being said, go and talk to a. Actually, I'll make sure there's nobody sleeping in down there. Jesus. All right. Well, I just traded another pick. Do I have another pick? Wait, is that? That's a Knicks. I'm tweaking. I'm tweaking. All right. All right. No, I, I traded. Um, I'll show you in a second. Here you go. Kembe Matumbo, who was only like a 78 overall. Two of my own first round picks, a Mavericks first round pick, and another Mavericks first round pick. Oh, that was this year. Three Rockets picks because they are garbage. Look at this Rockets team real quick. They have Kenny Smith, old body self, and Frankie Jones. I Oh, I just realized that. I'm not going to lie. I just realized they had Vince Carter, but I really don't. This team is so garbage, and I took all their picks that I don't care. I'll take these two picks, though. Sean Marion and Jason Terry, Mavericks legends. Michael Jordan declines his player option. Kevin Garnett's a free agent, too. Oh, man. And I wasn't trading the MVP, to be fair. Oh, yeah. He's all... Oh, yeah, never mind. He's restricted. It'll be just fine. Jordan wants a two-year again. We'll give him a two-year max. Coming back again. He's loyal. He's loyal. And not... I think I forgot to offer Kevin. No lie, I forgot to offer Kevin Garnett. I am so stupid. Wait, no. Oh, yeah, no, this is it. Yeah, this, this is the match offer. I'm so dumb. Whatever. As, uh, thankfully, he's restricted. You could have... Thank you. That works. We have too many players. You could just sign bums at this point. I got Rashard Lewis on the bench. All these guys. OB Iverson, Shaq are the three best players on this team. Duncan following right behind them. I would make Duncan a four, but Garnett just won MVP, so screw it. Pippen and Jordan are cooked. I'm probably going to end up trading Pippen for like Gilbert Arenas this year. Magic Johnson and junior <laughs> what the hell is going on well, gilbert's next year oh yeah no this is the worst this is the even worse draft oh my god you know ain't nobody getting traded thankfully jordan signed a two-year oh my god we lost the mavericks twice i had to go and see who it was it's sean kemp they're not even that good they're like 500 alan iverson wins most improved uh, most valuable player i'm i'm yep Yep, you lost me. Paul Pierce, most improved player, and I'm passed up on him. 78 and four. Out to Sean Kemp for the first team appearance. I don't care about nobody else. Home all the way to the finals once again. And we're playing the Knicks 4 0 sweep. Iris and 97 overall finals MVP. He's cooking. He was worth trading for it, the second pick, and then we got the third and the fourth of it. Dennis Rodman retires with the Lakers. He does not make the Hall of Fame. Oh, Patrick Ewing retired? Dang, after 15 years? That's crazy. It's, it, it's barely been any time since we traded him. Yeah, probably like five years. Yeah, just, just over six. Close enough. Set him no rings. He finishes his career with seven of them. And, uh, whoa. Oh, we did retire jerseys, but the Sixers did too. They didn't win no ring or do really anything, but hey, works on me. Half lottery. I don't think I plan to have any picks, and I don't have any picks. One Dallas pick that is 26. Oh, yeah, because I, wait. Yeah, because I took all Dallas's picks, and now they're good, which sucks. Trade these two Mavs picks. I don't got no players to trade. That's crazy. Jason Terry's cool. Actually, I, I have to trade Michael eventually. But this is not the draft to do it in. It just really isn't. I know he's barely even good anymore but still i mean wait did we just go and get magic johnson jr i've honestly never seen this guy before in the draft class i think they just loaded him in for the first time out of jokes he's six four a little bit shorter kind of looks more like martin than magic johnson but like he doesn't look like either at the same time did i trade michael jordan for magic johnson jr because here's the thing jordan ends his free agency again next year he's gonna fall off this would be pretty funny screw it where's pippen too pippen's 34 as well uh might as well just keep all the young players yeah they still started every single game this year and so did scotty scotty and mike have started 
started every single game for this team for like over a decade that's this is pretty sad there it is michael jordan it took me three first round picks too and michael jordan has been traded the golden state warriors for magic johnson jr i have no clue what in the living hell to expect from this guy he's not even real there's nobody else in this draft that i would possibly want and also i just realized that almost every one of our players expired this year so maybe we just need magic john maybe just magic john jr is the answer i don't i don't know exit the rest of the draft nobody else here is of notable notability he's an 82 overall i think i already said that i don't i don't even know anymore Pippen and hardaway declined their player options mcgrady Nowitzki, lewis and duncan are in team options ray kobe and iverson are also free agents so we have five of them individually throw this at iris he want it yes he does same thing at kobe same thing at ray allen dang why are they trying to cook ray allen oh wow i legitimately used all my offers and i can't even offer penny or pippen okay thankfully they all accepted penny and pippen are still here are they gonna offer pippen this much screw it i think we got all of them back it's a very nasty turn of events to trade michael jordan for magic johnson jr i swear i'm gonna say the junior every single time also scotty you are definitely gone soon i just gave you 50 mil and for what you are getting traded for gilbert next off season i'm sorry to tell you buddy and he's the number one rank hey hey scotty you better be still pulling that you could start this one last year i think i have shoot a, co a couple players at small forward yeah kobe t all right kobe's obviously starting now this is one of the dumbest videos i've ever made but i love it i just when i go to extension always it just says none and turn extensions off i think maybe uh, you know pray to resign Shaq. wait no why i just i just completely forgot Shaq was even here <laughs> like like i i don't know how but i just forgot he was here uh, well there shaquille o'neal ladies and gentlemen can we just see what he would be on the market for fun one of these years we're gonna lose somebody again like how we did akeem and it's gonna be funny kg wins another mvp tim Duncan Duncan six man of the year. AG all NBA first team. Obviously, idiots. We're gonna lose a game this year. No, not yet. To the Knicks, maybe. Hell no, we didn't lose any games. Iverson, another finals MVP. But one day we'll go back and look at how many finals we won straight, but you could probably count it up. Uh, what's his name? Michael Jordan did not retire yet. Chris Mullen did though. He calls it quits. He had a cool little career. Draft lottery. Ah, do we have any picks? Supersonics number three via Houston. And we moved down to four, but that should make it much easier to get Mr. Uh, Gilbert Arenas. The reason why i want him so bad is because he's usually crazy and simul he's, he's insane i would give scotty and number four for all of their picks ever i don't know they might they might, might draft somebody good they don't really have anybody bad oh we have this guy we give him jason terry never mind no we can't they keep their old five pick we'll worry about that then the rocket's really clutching up for us giving us number four. Oh man just keep keep sucking until 03 pause same with you miami let's see uh i'll just i got everything except for you and sean l i bet offer this pick and nope i'll offer the second round pick and come on sadly I had to trade all that just for this year's pick, like Scotty, Chanel in the first round pick. No five, but it's all good. It's all right. We're gonna get Gilbert for whatever reason, just because he's young and not Scotty Pippen. Uh, we're gonna have to trade somebody for uh, some players or some some buddies for some players in a few years when you know Mr. James is on the board because we know how he likes to take over the league. We could probably cook him every year, but like we get LeBron, it's over. We're getting the 18 year old who's gonna be the best player in the league within a year. For now, let's focus on this draft. Seattle number one, easy, easy, easy Gilbert Arena. Oh yeah, wait, we didn't trade the other pick. I forgot. Who else is uh, on the, what's it called? The scouting prospect. Uh, Pau Gasol, Tony Parker, Jason Richardson. Honestly, we'll just we'll just keep the pick. Screw it, go to it. Uh, who's still available? Jason Richardson and Tony Parker got trip picked. Well, they made that easy. Yeah, give me big Pau. We got Pau, Kobe, and Shaq all together. Beautiful. Hey, you know what? I'm I'm gonna let, I'm gonna let, I'm not, I'm not gonna let Shaq walk. I'm gonna offer him this five year big body deal i'm not even gonna give him the no trade clause give him a player option what you want to do Shaq? let me see what is it you okay yeah he wants to come back he does he's, he's logical he's a logical man he's getting a little bit more more money from us oh my god magic johnson jr our 10th man i have can i see if this guy's like a replicate du duplicate i just want to see his jump shot to be honest with you oh my god oh my god it's it's magic yeah it's definitely Matt. he's got the Ali, Allen iverson layup package so he learned that one in practice he is quite does he have the passing style too let me see the passing style and he don't got none give magic screw it give it to him you gotta have it at the end of the you got everything else magic you might as well that is magic son that is rip bro i've done plenty of these and i've never seen magic johnson jr i almost want to start him yeah no you're in your spot buddy if you're him you're in your spot on iverson wins mvp i think again i feel like he won it already but yeah you know second time second time jason richardson wins rookie of the year and six man of the year and i don't care about the rest of you losers once dang we, we lost 10 games that's what happens when you trade mike and pippen that's what's up that's what's up yeah look at 
at that. We lost the game in the first round. Nah, we need we need a real new alpha dog. I'm sorry, Kobe. Nah, they they uh, we we gotta have this this discussion. They cook Kobe in 2K. They make Kobe garbage in 2K. We need a real dog. Jesus Christ, we lost two games in the conference final. Who's who's selling these in these losses? These so-called losses. EG Magic. Hey, Magic Johnson dude, about to get cut over there shooting 0 for two in both games. Get him out the rotation for now. For now, you'll be back later. Yeah, this is this is better. Um, I don't know if I should be scared of the Knicks or what. They went, no, they went to game seven like twice uh, or whatever. Game five, game seven. We got it. And look at us, though. We're starting to get a little shaky out there, you know? Michael Jordan has retired. Trading him at a pretty solid time. Five MVPs, 14 championships. Uh, you know, I don't feel like so attached to him because I know we have like another million years to go. But it was beautiful. We had beautiful times. 14 rings. 14. And Hakeem Olajuwon is also retired. We had eight rings together. And he decided to leave. We also won uh, from 1988 to 2000 straight. And we have not stopped winning ever since he left. Jordan uh, or Hakeem in that case. And uh, Mark Jackson, Knicks. Oh, David Robinson quit. Good for him. Yeah, he finally realized. Even Brad made the Hall of Fame. Oh, there goes Carl, too. Another man who sat on the team for two seconds. So, sadly, we are only in the Yao Ming draft. And we have the fourth pick from Houston again. It moves down to five. We always move down, but it's okay. Who the hell would I... Aside from Amari and Yao, yeah. I genuinely really like most of our young players we have. I mean, I would trade Rashard Lewis. Hell, even Sean Marion. I mean, I could trade... I could probably trade Powell for number one and then get Yao Ming. But this Bucks team has been trying to get rid of Christian Leitner so much. They just offered me him for Gilbert Arenas. They are tripping. You can have him from, for air. Hell, maybe for Powell. I don't know. I mean, Marcus Camby is 28. Has it really been that long since the 96 draft? Is he just old? Oh, he's just old. I mean, Iverson's 27. Yeah, if you ever do any type of draft, do not draft Grant Hill. He is not him. I've, I've noticed this. Previous uh, observation. Hey, Penny is already... That, oh, well, yeah. He, he was drafted the year after Shaq. I forgot. And they're the same age. I'm gonna just draft whoever the hell goes to us in this one. First pick, Yao. Second pick, Amari. Yep, as expected. Nah, Doc Rivers Jr. is funny. Hey, you ever heard of Austin? Or give me uh, give me Jay Williams. Who the hell? I mean, so RB Berea is pretty funny. All right, yeah, give me Jay. And uh, because I literally can't trade or draft the pick, whatever. Trade the pick because I, I didn't have roster spots or money or whatever. And Kevin Garnett declined his player option. Dirk and Rashard Lewis at Rashard Lewis already? Dirk just be around for real. Who is that? That ain't who I think it is. Hey, is that Bernard King Jr.? Oh my God. Give me, matter of fact, give him a four year deal. I have to trade him for Braun, but it's a thought that counts. I have to trade him right now. But the point stands. Ah, uh, yes. Use 2003 draft class. We're finally here. I've been waiting. I literally have to trade slash cut Jay Williams and Bernard King Jr. I have to I have to cut one of them. All right. Well, I guess the Raptors are supposed to suck or something. So in this 03 pick, Jay Williams, Bernard King Jr. Sorry, Bernard, but I, I I have to. All right. Cool. Uh, Steve Francis, Jason Terry, Christian Leitner, and their picks in the next two years. I I just have to fill out another roster spot or whatever. Open it up. Screw it. So, sorry, Jason Terry. It's been real, buddy. And there you have. It. Oh man, we are entering the Kobe era uh if only they knew we had kobe for the past six years he's like six rings already yeah he quite literally has six straight rings and he's the best player on our team as of right now we got ray allen starting at the three over t mac i mean hey you do what you want i guess magic johnson jr is a 90 and penny is pa capped out at an 87 i think we see who we're probably going to be trading for like the lebrons of the league hey, after i get braun i'm chilling for a minute screw dwight howard i'm about to sim 20 years with braun we about to be balling on a budget Kevin garnett another mvp hey screw everybody else hey what's good yeah my heart dropped for a second because i thought we lost lost because I, we, were, we were on the bottom like por portion. I, 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 are we always on the bottom portion of the final? Just saw us winning on the top and then all of a sudden we're on the... Wait, did the Knicks have a better record or something? Like, why? No. They just... Screw them. Trying to confuse me. Alright, player retirements. Oh, it's been real Charles Barkley. Go it's a goat man right there. He's going to the Hall of Fame and he's gonna get his jersey retired by us. Into the draft lottery. Thankfully, there is no what's it called expansion this year, but we have the third best odds and that is it. And we move up to two. That is beautiful. That is good. That is good. Let's see I forgot all about Carmelo as well and Bosch and Wade. I probably will skip out on Bosch, but nah, I don't know. Dang, they want AI, Dirk. This is nasty for number one. Who, who, you all know who that is. LeBron James, just another just another normal dude. Oh, dang, they got to give money back. Oh, this is tough. Uh, Give us Doc Rivers Jr. Yeah, we, we don't care about him. Dog, I will mortgage every single part of this future just to make sure. Hey, who else we got on this bench? Pau Gasol and them. Oh, they're expired. Hey, everybody else still available though. That's, that's perfect. Magic Johnson Jr., you was going to stay regardless. I'll do this. I'll do this trade. Okay, no. I'll do this too. I really don't care. I, I want the first pick. Hey, Allen for Doc Rivers Jr. Are you? Take the 20th pick and call it a day. Come on, dog. Could have 16th. I don't care. Take one of them. Tracy McGrady for Doc. Bro, are you on crack? I was really trying to work out a three-team trade, but then I kept on going to this team and being like, hey, would you give me another first-round pick? He's not saying this trade looks acceptable to me. Oh, there we go. Yep. Oh, it doesn't look acceptable anymore, huh? All right, screw it. The expedition begins. Dwayne Wade, you trying to come over here? Hell no, I ain't giving you no unprotected 2004 pick. Hey, you're going to have to give
give me yours. Hey, I will give you this 2007 pick. Call it a day, please. Thank you. All right, so that, that secures the third pick. Now, honestly, I'd rather just trade. I might just give up. They're pissing me off trying to get everybody. So I'm going to just go ahead and offer this pick three for one. I, I really do not. Bro, you can give me Doc Rivers. You can give me Gary Payton. I will give you another pick. I want the first pick. Simple. Well, I care. You could have the second pick. Here you go. Oh my God. I might have just trade Shaq for it. That's that's the point I'm getting to with these people. I have never been through such a grueling trading experience as trying to get the first pick for LeBron James. It's like they know and it's terrifying me because I'm currently offering Ray Allen and three firsts for Gary Payton trash self. I'm about to, I'm about to go and get a Doc Rivers Jr. at this point. I think I was just get it, trying to get him like two seconds ago. Look at that. Even that they don't want. Just give all the picks and for Doc Rivers, I really don't care. You give another random first. I do not care please holy hell bro the bulls robbed me dry i find i finally got my karma after the entire video jesus mother of god i had to give up 87 overall christian leitner i had to give up my 03 first round what that that was a pick i just traded for right here which was the fifth pick in the draft so i had to give up the fifth pick in the draft an 87 overall an 05 first rounder from the jazz an 04 first rounder from the bucks an 07 first rounder from the timberwolves an 05 first rounder from the timberwolves all for the first pick in the draft and a 71 overall doc rivers jr i swear to god doc rivers if you aren't the greatest player if you aren't austin times 12 i swear doc times 42 i swear to god well guess what now we have the top three picks in the we we have we have them we have the top three picks it only took it almost it, it thankfully or I, I don't know i don't really know but we we, we ended up i i tried to trade ray allen for it, the first pick and i would have been perfectly fine with that but instead i had to trade all of our draft capital ever and here we are I, I i i don't even care about chris bosh at this point just give me the other three and please call today with the first overall pick we will select lebron james with the second overall pick we will select carmelo anthony with the third overall pick we will select wayne wade right right yeah just, just making sure yeah hall of fame all nba oh yeah we'll go hall of famer chris bosh and jarvis hayes wow what a draft did, did they just trade no kirk heinrich i i mean i traded all my picks ever for lebron so it better pan out i mean it's going to it's literally going to but why are they telling me to decline and Pau Gasol's trade. I might have to trade him though before the season because I think we ran out of roster spots. Probably just trade Doc Rivers Jr. Trash self. I, I really do not care about it. I don't even want to see him. Let's try and make our picks back. Take Wally Zerbiak in this pick. I don't even know if the team's good. Take a uh, uh, honestly screw Doc Rivers is fine by me. Give me Larry Johnson this top three protected Spurs pick. Bring back Larry. Just keep Larry for a year. I really could not care less. I wanted to actually like watch our team win rings again. I've been sitting here trying to trade for LeBron for like 40 minutes. He's not even going to play for like four years, but it it will be worth it in the long run somehow after all that our rotation is still the exact same we're still gonna win a ring shout out to michael jordan for real ag wins another mvp chris bosh rookie of the year oh wow he's on miami i just i don't know why it took me that long to realize that uh lewis moore we yeah we hey, click simulate simulate the playoffs the playoffs thank you again nicks john starks retired oh man he only made one all-star appearance that's that's actually kind of sad oh, and, oh yeah so did scotty pippen god you already know eight time all-star 14 time champ it's his 35 that's nasty retired with this with the us uh, sadly we never got to see him play because well we're too good we're better than everybody oh no is it time for the league realignment oh no oh no as of right now we can only keep eight players and we have we have 15 and all but two of them are under 30 years old we're cooked we are cooked just look at the draft lottery for the hell of it i bet bulls kings all right well i guess we're gonna be rocking with andre guadala or something like that i should have rejected the the new team now that would be against the rules uh i mean to be fair all right well uh just like that 28 year old ray allen is being traded for uh, any, any picks you guys want to lob me real quick? Oh, wait, real quick. Yeah, um, I'm dropping Ray Allen and Larry Johnson off to the Kings for the first pick in the draft to get Dwight Howard. And that will serve us a player to draft so we don't lose him forever. So there goes Ray Allen. See you, Ray. Um, next up is going to get real crazy. Jesus, Chauncey Billups is a 97. Shaquille O'Neal. Is this really the team I'm betting on? Let me let me see if I find the worst team possible. All right, so what I'm trying to do here is uh, trade Shaq to one team, trade this team's entire picks to the other team the Shaq's team ends up good but they don't know it's going to be good because i'm trading Shaq to him now, i'm gonna take the picks of the team that has nobody and i think is actually going to be bad i know this is like insanity right here i'm giving Shaq to the nets right yeah so jesus christ i just had this trade to the point where you're talking about where both one of them is interested one of them's not and now all of a sudden they're just not interested we're about to just lose like we're about to just lose the the players or whatever i uh, uh yes i'm about to finesse charlotte for every single pick they have including number four Allen houston 
Justin Kirk Heinrich. Get someone bad enough to want to release him as well. Who cares? Perfect. Do it. Oh, never mind. Got the second round pick. Hey, that's less than what I was offering you. There you go. Perfect. Just took every single one of Charlotte's picks. All right. I worked so hard to get all these players and now I'm about to lose them all. Raptors number two pick. Who you got? You're all, you all suck. I'm about to just straight up just trade my dogs there and take all their picks. So here's my game plan, right? Yeah, I think I think this is the plan of uh, we are going to save the first five for Kobe, Iverson, Duncan, Garnett, and McGrady, and the last three. We have to trade Shaq, Magic Johnson Jr., Dirk Nowitzki, Gilbert, Sean Marion, all, all within the next couple of seconds. So let's start off with Shaq. Offer him for this insanity going on over here. Okay, that didn't work. How many picks we can give them? We have all these Bobcats one now. Instead, we'll give you a Kings one. I don't really have anything else to do. Like, you know what I'm saying? So I'll, I'll give you guys a... Uh... Oh, that's cool. Magic Johnson's a free agent. Maybe I could find a way to finesse to keep him. Oh, wait, is Gilbert a free agent? Gilbert, okay. I'll throw Dirk in here. All right, now I'm literally just going to give the, the players to these two teams equally. I'm going to gift the top two teams. You know, you guys already suck. The Raptors, would you take this? No, still no somehow. I, I don't I don't know. I'm just going to offer it. Oh, they got Bernard King Jr. Hey, honestly, just give me four picks and give me Bernard King Jr. I'll even give you a pick. Just leave me alone and take Shaq. All right, j just take Shaq, bro. I, I really... Do they not want Shaq? I'm so confused. All right, well, if you're not interested in Shaq, I mean, do you want uh, Dirk? How is it that I can't lob my entire, like, pick? My entire team... What, what am I talking about? I don't know. But like this draft isn't even good. Not even getting Chris Paul. I'm just getting Iguodala and any Granger or something. Michael Jordan Jr. Oh, they got to chill out. He's a starter, bro. That's funny. He kind of looks like Jordan. <laughs> How do they not want Shaq for three picks? Please take a pick and get the, get this man off my hands for the love of God. Oh my, please. Thank you. Thank you. Holy hell. I, I've just been trying to move on. Crazy is Dirk's value isn't even all that, but I can get Chris Bosh. I don't know how exactly I'd pull that off though. Yo, here go the Bulls again. The same team that would wouldn't give me the brawn pick talking about dude, valuable asset jarvis hayes who the hell is jarvis hayes i don't really know what old man eldridge is worth but i i'm getting the sixth pick for sean marion let's go ahead and do that see if sean throw dirk and eldridge in there see if they'll uh give me anything just for nothing really there, there is something i've been looking for pick two you could refrain on your 05 pick just let me see if i get 06 and 07 and 08 honestly you could have the sixth pick in the draft for it you yeah uh no it's it's dirk all right i'm going to the original trade from the trade finder i give up uh give me what's his name ian owens and pick two for dirk i don't even want any of these picks literally don't want them at all but here we are you know actually matter of fact can i load in a custom draft class real quick there's one very important player that is not in the draft class there he is the goat I'll give a 99 potential for all i care no i won't i won't all right can we see the expansion thing so i have good if i get screwed over at this point i mean i you know who i'm keeping you know i'm keeping the top dog uh, i got eight people i get to keep that's if they make gilbert leave even though he's not even technically on the roster right now he's a free agent so be it bang 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 hey hey give d wade oh yep here it is they're trying to take gilbert from me that'll succeed the maximum amount hey oh man do we actually do we keep gilbert or d wade should i wait can i still trade right now oh i can gilbert's team option to, i might just trade d wade there's a few reasons why i'm about to trade Dwayne wade to the philadelphia 6 76ers for some garbage it is Dwayne wade gone with a nets pick that because shaq's on the net so i was like screw it whatever um first and foremost he uh joins rejoins an old friend of his Giannis Haslam, who is also on the Sixers. Um, secondly, I feel like if I am able to protect Gilbert, that will help the Bobcats pick be worse because I just traded them some garbage and most of the players that, that are not being protected are also garbage because I took all the rest of them. But look, Owens is going to be gone. Uh, can I can I trade this Owens dude for someone worse? Screw it. Put him on a team that's not uh, that's not them. Are they saying this Phoenix pick is good? Give me it then. Thank you. At least, uh, you know what? Let's just keep going down the food chain. I'm not going to give him somebody good. Screw them. All I care, give me a lot of protected pick hey dallas congrats uh all right so this dude's gonna be my new uh yep expansion player that i will not be protecting tyler christie and the reason why i did that is so that the bobcats picks that i trade the entirety of for will be worse and not have uh gilbert arenas so we'll keep gilbert arenas D dallas the dallas i don't control dallas screw dallas now, this is the only good player i seen was larry like really good player i seen was larry johnson and it's just this is the issue that too it's them versus them but look after that it's all mid beautiful luke walton out there in the draft nice nice so they'll be they'll be trash eventually larry johnson's like 35 and now we have like every pick in the draft the, we literally have the top four at least um obviously i'm picking i don't know why it's saying sean livingston i'm picking dwight number one i'm just gonna it's because i loaded in a draft class like three seconds ago it's not showing me comparisons anymore i'll just pick who i know is him dwight howard number one it's literally telling me that a mecca okafor sucks tracy morgan jr what, what 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 different lanes are we tapping into here when i'm filling is a um iguodala pick here 
And after that, give me give me fake Luol Deng. Go with him here. Technically, I could trade these picks now, to be fair, too. I don't really want these picks. I could go get like a good player to play on a basketball team. But to be honest, all these guys suck anyways. Oh, we go get Sean Marion back. Let me try and flip Sean back for the pick that I just traded. We got Sean Marion back with one of those. We still got this pick and screw it. Hold on. They're telling me Dwayne Wade isn't untouchable. I might be able to recover some of our assets. You could have this Suns pick, too. I, I really... Dwayne Wade is back. Let's go. I, I had to trade a ton, but we got Dwayne Wade back for the six pick somehow. Uh, dang, I should have I got JR still. Who cares? Um, we drafted three of the best players in the draft. Jesus Christ, the Mecca's an 84. I'll take it. This offseason, we lost Dirk. We lost Shaq. We lost Ray Allen. And we lost Dwayne Wade and Sean Marion. But we went back to recover Dwayne Wade and Sean Marion. They are back. I'm happy to welcome them back. Plus Dwight Howard, plus Luol Deng, and plus Iguodala. I'm happy, I'm happy to say, you know, all these things. And Gilbert, are you kidding me? You're trying to decline his team option? Get the hell out of here. Well, let's go re-sign Magic Johnson Jr. as well. He's going to be a pivotal piece now, which is disgusting. Man, that expansion draft definitely tried to set us back, and it did a little bit. Screw Jeff Foster. I don't care about him. Holy hell, I have been recording for six hours and 46 minutes. This is great. Kobe Bryant, why are you regret? Uh, I think he just plateaued at 25. That's fine. Bron's getting better all them, blah, 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 yada, yada, bada, bang. Okay, cool. We now have to win a ring without a lot of players, but we still have KG. We still have Tim. Yeah, we're still we're still the Supersonics. Whatever that's supposed to mean. All right, cool. LeBron and Melo will get in the rotation this year. Uh, D Wade, Marion will just chill outside of it a little bit. And head coach Zachary Williams. Why is he trying to play the bench so much? Chill out. Honestly, this this whole thing works for me. Triangle offense is our best. Uh, screw it. Go with the triangle. Why did we just lose the Spurs playing the triangle? Is the triangle offense even still an accessible like system proficiency in the modern day? Like, can you even use that? And why are we losing games to normal people? Chauncey Billups, most valuable player. Yeah. I think I passed up on him in the draft once. 1997. Yeah, I drafted Dirk over. I mean, I mean that's Dirk though, to be fair. The Dirk on the most improved. Or no, nope, never mind. That's 75 and seven. Dirk's on the first team at least. Uh, I didn't. I don't really care though. Can we just win again? They were in the finals, playing the Nets, playing Shaq, I believe. Shaq can probably try all he wants, but he loses. Yeah, there, there goes Shaq. Thank God I just traded that pick for D Wade. Chris Childs and Gary Payton retire. Wait, Chris Childs made the Hall of Fame. That whole thing wasn't lying. I'm so happy there will never be another expansion draft. Jesus Christ. What is going? Shark we have charlotte's pick it's the third one and we moved up to one let's go <laughs> look who it is we're bringing back the banana boat except was bosh on the banana boat i don't really i don't know i can't think um yeah chris paul is he's, we got him that's one hell of a way to make up for last year i don't think there's anybody else i want from this draft aside from chris paul it's crazy as iverson's turning 30 we're gonna have to trade him one of these days today is not that day let's just go in bro we gotta get moving let's just go and draft the, the dog we got so lucky chris paul welcome to seattle the hawks just traded the second pick for jason terry draft brian vincent what is going on this draft is awful bulls just traded the pick for jalen rose oh man oh we have another pick mm, andrew bogut okay yes real crazy uh, I'm going to trade it for a future pick. I'll be honest. Next year's draft kind of sucks, but screw it. This pick has a lot of value. Who's on this team? What? Wait. Oh, oh, it's the Kings. Okay. Okay. But it's the Warriors pick. Yeah, I'll take this pick. Uh, let's get the hell out of here. There's Paul here. Let's go. Uh, LeBron. Hey, LeBron, all you guys. I love you guys. Just re-sign. Oh, hopefully Shaq leaves that team. I think I still got a pick or two from that team. Gilbert, you about to go get your bag. And so is Iverson. So is Kobe. Uh, Kobe is young. I am not trading him anytime soon. He can get that no trade clause five years. Iverson. Uh, I can't guarantee that i'm gonna give you a player option all right he, he's still cool with us gilbert you're restricted buddy you have no choice how are how are you not wanting to exist? this is the max contract you don't like the max contract here you go have a player option screw it you didn't like that even more don't even have a player option what the hell do you want buddy i'm giving you the max contract dang chauncey has no offers they know he's a fraud all right we got all our dogs here i really want to check to be around here longer and trade them later but it is what it is I had to break up kobe and Shaq that quick bronze a 93 now though so that's always a good thing kevin garnett another mvp we won 80 games. I think we're doing just fine. Like simulate playoffs. So we lost in the first round and we win the finals again. Gotta love it. Any close games ever? Uh, no, not really. Who did we play? Shaq? Shaq? Wait. Shaq went and joined Bosch in Miami. Well, that's pretty That's pretty interesting. Shaq left anyways. And interest, interesting. Maybe he would have left us. You never know. Reggie Miller's retiring. He's gone. Roy Marble, Hall of Fame inductee. Uh, lottery again. I see that we have 9 and 10. Now, this is... 
a mid-year especially that low in the draft like yeah i would take lamarcus or rondo or something but i'll see if i have a chance they go to our pick but aside from that i'm gonna trade them i could trade up and get a future pick i'm gonna just i'm gonna just see you got rudy you got mine oh dang they just got picked in there never mind rondo and aldridge top two picks those are who i want and we got all of our picks again we don't need these it's looking like the hornets picks might be i um they got weber did they get the first pick this i could just take it hey, they did get the first pick jesus they're garbage and another two bobcats picks got they ended up getting Ian Owens anyways. Oh my God. I this meant some other team. I'll, I'll still take your picks. Don't worry, buddy. You can have your, uh, he traded the pick again. I just traded it to them. I don't know what the hell they traded it for. I don't really care. KG declined his player option and, and Tim Duncan, T-Mac and like, I am okay with losing a player in this, in this way. If need be, you know, uh, T-Mac, you can get the no trade clause. You're only 27. KG's 30 and, uh, sorry, you're going to have to earn it. I'm not going to lie though. That, that's MVP for real. He's he, he going to have to stick it. He's going to have to, yeah, no, no, no. He's gonna have to get the no trade clause. All right. No, they're all resigning. I don't know why I'm stressing it. Up oh, there go KG regressing, right? As I give him a no trade clause. LeBron's a 95. Shoot, he got to start over somebody. It's probably it's gonna be T Mac, probably. And this is the year of KD. Dang, yeah, I, I shouldn't have given them there was no trade clause. Actually, Iverson might be the one that gets traded for KD or something. <laughs> he might just be Magic Johnson Jr., dog. Kevin Garnett, another MVP, Mr. MVP. Here we go again. Here we go again. Here we go. The Knicks got a game on us. Who, who's on the Knicks? I don't even know at this point, but they be doing it. Sean Kemp retired. Shout out to Sean Kemp. We got him rings and all that on, on the, what's it called? Got him nine rings on the Sonics, you know, something like new tech. Social media is now a thing. Oh man, LeBron, are you ready? We get Kevin Durant. We got the third pick and we got the seventh pick and we got the 18th pick. We are for sure trading up. So I can tell you that it will not be Gilbert Arenas or any of these bums. Pick was it Hornets? I'm trying to think of what I, when I got the Hornets pick. Also got a lot of, a couple. Oh, never mind. They're all, they're all expired this year. That's just fantastic. Forgot about Dwight too. But oh, we got our own picks now too. Ayo, hey, take this 09 pick. Here you go. We gonna move up. This 2011 pick. We gonna move up. All right, but hey, you could take all the picks, dog. We are getting Kevin Durant. Thank you. Crazy. Like we did all that just to move up two spots, but we're talking Kevin Durant. Kevin, Kevin, Kevin. Welcome to the team. Greg Odin two. Mike Conley three. I, I was hoping Mike Conley was gonna fall to me, but instead I'm gonna get Joakim. No, I, I, I'm gonna go. Al Horford probably has no place on this team ever. I did say I wanted Mike Conley. Let me see real quick if I draw some up. Let's see. Sean Marion getting up there and he don't play anyways. Yeah, I'll trade Sean for Mike. They asked for a second round pick. I'll, I'll do this. I'll do this. Why would I trade pick seven for pick eight? Why would I do this? We'll take Al Horford mid body. The big mid. Okay, so we got KD, Mike Conley, and Al Hor out of this draft randomly. For sure picking up Iggy and Dang, but I think I got to trade both of them. Neither one of them is like becoming anything too crazy. I think I'm going to run out of roster spots actually again. Speaking of roster spots, uh, LeBron definitely deserves one. He is not liking this contract though. That's crazy. He's pulling the Gilbert Arenas. He does not like the contract, but let's see if he takes it anyway. He wants to take a Cavaliers. Does he want a shorter deal? Is that what it is? Him and Melo? Let me see. No, Melo just, they, they just, they just don't want to be here for real. What about Wade? Wade the same? Yeah. Yeah, he is. I didn't give, oh man, I should have gave Magic Johnson Jr. a contract. We are about to lose him to free agency. LeBron is prepared to offer and we are about to lose Magic Johnson Jr. For sure. Yep. It's cooked. See you, Magic. Oh man, that's a, that's a rookie move. Rookie mistake. Um, That's tough. Hey, it is what it is. I'll be all right. And Melo, Melo accepted that contract contract though he, he realized you know saying I, I don't got nothing else to do and, uh hey speaking of roster spots though we might have an extra one after you know saying we traded magic johnson jr that's crazy magic, he was all right you know he, he was just he was around take the player progression real quick oh yeah i'm still going chris paul's going up crazy white's up there now we got these three now i know mike conley becomes a goat we might trade Lou and iggy they don't really have a place chris weber old as hell he's been trying to is that really jr jr is that good we gotta get jr one way or the other i'm getting him now, you know i'm gonna let him cook elsewhere he does never be no 90 so hey man when we drafted sharif abdul rahim and traded him instantly like one year here now he's a 90 i think i traded him for kg though right or no timmy to t-mac yeah i think it was t-mac hey toodles to uh iguodala and luau ding i had to trade him for some picks or whatever they they didn't fit the roster it's tough that's tough buddy lamar odom most valuable player jesus christ oh, iguodala got rookie of the year because i traded him to some trash team magic johnson jr all nba first team i I am hurt I literally was one click away from just keeping him see on the lakers no he, i mean hey you know it wouldn't matter regardless who the hell is on the wizards and why did they win the second game lebron got finals mvp his first ever and the wizards got a uh, jason terry and chris Kamen and they won a basketball game they won the 
first one the second one the second one oh by one we'll be all right larry johnson hall of famer you know how many rings we win him how, four rings nice little four it's a group effort draft lottery we have no picks that is tough because i definitely had some unless i traded them on accident uh yeah i might have traded them oh snap we're the thunder now we are the thunder the oklahoma city thunder or whatever seattle you get it so what's up it's evolution and we have three picks in the lottery <laughs> uh this is nasty though i don't know we might need to go back feels off we'll get used to it maybe maybe, maybe we'll like go back in like 10 years or something hey uh you trying to give me this first pick that being said now that we're the th don't we gotta get westbrook in the first year as the thunder like it's only right now we might trade iverson for him iverson's 33 about to be 34 right we might gotta adapt him and kg are getting up there and tim duncan might gotta trade uh iverson and what's it called i gotta trade for russell i mean yeah russell and rose and then get curry and or harden or whatever some combination of the four to be fair i don't think we gotta go that extreme just yet considering that we have three lottery picks and four picks total so i'm gonna now i gotta look at picks and be like oh snap thunder picks all right bet so give up all these this should get it never mind there we go we got it i gave up one more first from utah and we now have the first pick in the draft um i think i will draft russell westbrook if i do indeed keep that pick or my bad if i if i don't get you know the second pick as well anybody kind of plateauing maybe gilbert maybe gilbert's the guy to get traded also mike Con mike conley's an easy uh trade piece as well mike conley like i said he's really good in this but you know we talking about some goats here let's just do mike conley in the 10th pick oh okay well that was easy now i have 10 and 2 and we're gonna draft westbrook and rose like i said yeah let's, let's just do it that's that's quite the way to start off your thunder tenure the first overall pick hey it's got it's got to be westbrook though we got it you know what i'm saying Being in oklahoma we got to do it and rose and they were just talking about it's unclear if iverson blah 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 whatever whatever oh sorry i see the bulls right there you're gonna get oj mayo this time around what year's the pick we got a second rounder no way in hell we could sign another player uh just trade these two second rounders for two future second rounders we don't need these look at the two goats future bench backcourt for the next seven years snap i skipped through the team options and the qualifying offers hold on wait, wait. okay cool chris ball is accepted nice 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 right, howard welcome back to the team big fella look at him he's ready to take his contract he not you know what i'm saying doing all this stuff that mellow and all of them be doing perfect team mac is regressing iverson is regressing duncan garnett you're right no going probably trade him next year for curry we're probably gonna or curry harden whatever or do we hold on to him long enough to get Giannis? maybe one of them maybe t mac probably he's probably he's definitely the youngest another new coach rob green i have no clue if we have money or whatever crazy because we're in the early late 2010s now or 2000s whatever and we started off in 82 and i've been this is all one video this is nasty uh Dwayne wade arenas howard you guys all gotta play i'm not gonna lie kd hey you might gotta go 13 man we, we, we gonna keep it 10 forever if you make the 10 man i am saying then, then, you're, then you're him and they're benching lebron that's nasty who cares actually matter of fact anybody a free agent chris paul chris paul's a straight up free agent iverson's got a player option yeah, that sucks we're gonna have to re-sign iverson at his old age and probably trade like tim duncan or kg or something for curry or just trade arenas take the easy route ever adapting that's the motto of this video baron davis wins most soon our most valuable player kenneth chuck Ra jr when six men and rookie of the year and we won we lost five games click the button just click the button if we lose we are fail. oh my god we lost two games it's probably because we're the thunder he weighed one for seven he weighed how you a grown man shooting one for seven come on dog have some shame we lost to the grizzlies we lost the game to the grizzlies hey I, our time as like a our old school crew is, is starting to come to an end Kevin garnett finals mvp but that might be a last i'm not gonna lie checking the estimated wins added real quick obviously kg braun t mac kobe tim ai's kind of falling off the uh you know importance and uh dwight and gilbert don't really provide much although i don't know how much they really play to be fair also can't check that right now nick van exel made the hall of fame the eight all-star appearances and a couple first teams sure why not thunder via denver like the suns via chicago did i trade that pick to them i might have traded that pick to them i don't remember who the suns are though screw it we're moving up oh we didn't move up oh it's time it's curry time suns got one and three and what's crazy is that we could trade gilbert for one and three we could even trade rose for one and three we could even trade westbrook for it. they actually want us to take one and three so gilbert arenas pick 16 pick from next year for the knicks second rounder for pick one and pick three off of that i can go and shoot i'll try to get the second pick as well and all of that we got to trade some of these lower tier players which is uh hell i don't know actually if we just re-sign two players and bring back iverson and paul then we're at 15 so let me let me look at number where's number two at i want harden we need harden westbrook curry durant them all on the same team we need them all that's how i know three team trades are broken i am offering this dude pick three and pick nine and they're saying oh this trade crazy you trip you tripping 
Like, bro, all right, all right, dog. All right, we're about to get three and one. You want to give me an Eton Thomas for a 2010 pick? We could keep the... Actually, we don't even need the ninth pick because I can't even draft for real with it. Yeah, I don't even remember what I'm doing at this point, but screw it. Yeah, uh, we got the second pick and the first pick. Okay, see, okay, see, okay, okay, see. We got Stephen Curry. And second up, we got Blake Griffin. We talking Hall of Fame, buddy. We talking Hall of Fame, buddy. And the third pick, they said we didn't want Blake Griffin. They traded for Antonio McDice. And okay, Blake Griffin goes to the Celtics. Harry Moody. Of course, the Knicks messed it up. They couldn't have drafted Drew Holiday or something. And we got a user pick. Curry and Harden. You're in Oklahoma City. All right, Iverson, you probably won't make it through these five years, but uh, I'll offer you a little, you know I mean, five-year deal with a player option. Just Paul, you'll definitely be here the full five years. You're not you're not even getting offers like that. Oh, and you're restricted. Yeah, screw you. Come back. Kobe is 32. Oh, man. They're getting traded next year for hell. DeMarcus Cousins, John Wall. I I don't know. So all these old people getting traded. You know the cycle of life. Kevin Garnett's still out there winning mvps my god rob green 80 and 2 dog click the click the button click the button okay see you know who it is ah uh, 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 one more win one more oh man the bucks won the first game don't care who they got iggy <laughs> they got iggy they had amari too do i not see stoudemire uh i don't see him that is not ben simmons that is bobby shaquille o'neal has retired how many years have been free trading him only only five years calls it quits at 38 years old he's not even on a team right now finishes his career with 13 all-star appearances and 12 championships without even playing his full career here. Didn't lose his entire career. Let's keep it pushing, man. Let's see. Spurs. Oh my. We got the second pick in the draft off the strength. I think we traded. I forget which one we traded. We traded. Wait, Spurs via Charlotte. Wait, wait, wait. I think that's where we traded it. Charlotte is the Bobcats, right? I had all those picks. That is pretty crazy. I'm pretty sure that that counts as like last year training to get, uh, get Steph Curry and whatever. You'll get Doc Rivers Jr. off of here. And Kobe Embron expired. Fired. Jesus. So I'm in a bit of an ultimatum here. Assuming that I re-sign everybody, I kind of, I'm already at 15 roster spots. I got all four of Rose, Curry, Westbrook, and Harden. Got KD, got Dwight, got Melo. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's a lot of young players out here. So I, I don't think this is the year to like trade AI, KG, and I think next year probably is, Uh, you know what I'm saying? With Kyrie, Kawhi, and all them in the draft, and Klay Thompson and all that. It's not like completely ideal, but yeah. I think I'm about to end an era. I think I'm about to trade Iverson. They want to uh, swap best Charlotte. I, I hate when they do the swap best stuff. I don't know what any of this garbage means. Like it's not, it just, I've, I've, I've been looking at it for years now in 2K and someone could explain to me in the comments with the greatest vernacular ever. And I still would not understand because like, just when it pops up, it's like, all right, can you tell me like, am I getting the better pick or no? Screw it. I'll give them a uh, 2013 pick. Uh, I don't know why I'm giving them as I want any many picks basically, but yeah, there we go. All right, bet. Um, Allen Iverson, it's been real buddy. Uh, we're going to move on. And the reason why I'm moving on from him right now is because I wasn't able to. And I think I, I actually have to trade that one dude that we just got from. We got to get Cole Dantley out of here now. I know it's so crazy. Um, But I'm going to just trade him for some picks probably. Yeah, thank you, Cleveland. Thank you very much. And I'm going to just draft whoever's available out of. Uh, hopefully they don't draft. They drafted who I wanted. They drafted Boogie. All right. Um, That's that's tough. Honestly, John Wall is the better. He, he's the first overall prospect. So screw it. We'll take John Wall. That's the reason why I traded Iverson was that I could pick with that pick and not have to trade it because I couldn't actually sign the player. Are they trying to decline Kevin Durant's team option? What are they, crackheads? All right, Bron, take all the money you want, buddy. All right, Kobe, take all the money you want, buddy. And yeah, you're not going to be uh, untouchable. Sorry. Is he are we about to lose Kobe? Wait, are we going to lose Bron too? Not going to lose Bron. I think we're about to lose Kobe though. We actually could have kept Iverson, but it's you live and you learn as usual. Give Tim as much money as he wants. Don't really care. He might leave. No, he's not. But I think we're going to lose Kobe Bryant. I mean, he's only got 23 offers. Yep, Kobe except accepted another offer he has decided to sign with the toronto raptors he's going to air canada which is just gordon hayward and vibes that's a that's disappointing wish i could have you know kept them forever and yeah but hey it is what it is got lebron we'll be all right oh yeah ai is down to 89 anyways yeah he's cooked tim duncan's a 91 and kg and him will be getting traded next year probably i don't know K kg is showing no signs of slowing down this upcoming draft class is for Kawhi and them and here we go the modern era begins and will never end because there's nothing else to get to. We got about 60 more years in here or something like that. Last season, either Kevin Durant or Derrick Rose is in the rotation. Oh no, what will we do now that Kobe's not here? Yeah, we'll, ju we'll just play him. We'll just play him. I don't know why they 
force LeBron to come off the bench every single year, but I'm gonna just make Team Mecca two so they don't do that. There you go. Oh wow, LeBron James, most valuable player. I don't even know if he's won one of those before. Uh, DeMarcus Cousins wanted him, but whatever, it is what it is. And most improved, Chris Paul. We needed that because, well, Iverson's gone. Oh man, we've only lost six games. Uh, simulate the playoffs. Where's Kobe at? Kobe didn't even make the playoffs. And we won 4-0. Cool, LeBron, finals MVP. Thankfully, none of our legends retired. See you, Jason Kidd. Giraffe lottery, do I have any picks up in here? Oh, we got San Antonio's pick number two and number eight. Let's just click it. We got two and eight. It stood right there. We should have had the Bobcats picks. I I decided not to trade. Literally just traded Iverson there, I think, right? Yeah, Iverson's there. I was like, okay, they're going to be good this year. And they, I guess they weren't. Well, it's about that time. I don't know if I could hold in Tim Duncan for one more year to trade him or anything else. Well, I don't know if he'll play for another year. At the same time, I just traded for all these Bobcats three back-to-back -back picks. So I probably shouldn't trade them more players. So I might just not go for the first pick, to be completely honest with you. Just because I don't want to trade for one, and I don't think anybody else is going to entirely... I, I think the only people that could really change the league or our franchise is Giannis. You know, I got to make Tim stay another two years. I don't know. Should I just trade for a pick or something? Uh, I'm, I'm going to keep my number two pick, and I might still trade some other people. Actually, where's Boogie Cousins at? That's that's who I wanted last year. Marcus is untouchable. Oh, man. Honestly, the blatant best trade I've seen for uh, Tim Duncan is this one. Rondo and LA. I don't know what pick Cleveland was clear how is how is Cleveland doing out there Mike Bibby and Odom yeah they've been they've been winning a decent amount they might that might be trash by 2012 though even though it's only next year just give up our own first round pick honestly Marcus and Rondo all right yeah I'm gonna trade for uh yeah let, let me get LaMarcus and Rondo for Tim Duncan Tim Duncan has been real it's been fun it's been real fun buddy I don't know if I keep both of them who cares I'm gonna just trade the 17th pick for a Giannis year pick Charlotte picks Kawhi number one and uh might take Clay you have 100% scout at Jimmy. Maybe that's a sign to take him. And there you have it. I just traded for Kawhi. <laughs> Done. I found him on the trade block. Oh my God. They drafted Hal Garrett instead of Kawhi. Jesus Christ. Uh, yeah, I was confused on who I wanted and we have too many guards. So I just said, screw it. Let's just, let's just trade for Kawhi. So there you go. Uh, they picked twice because I got Kawhi. Aha, buddy. And I, oh yeah. And I traded, uh, I just swapped some picks. I said, screw it. Take our picks. Give me some of your picks and take LaMarcus Aldridge because I don't, I, he wasn't going to play anyway. So screw him. Why would we decline Derek Rose's team option? What the hell is going on? All right. T-Mac free agent like all the money you want but you're not getting no trade clause you can go and oh sorry i didn't mean to click on t mac again same with you kg get even more money you can take five years kevin durant hey, kevin oh kevin durant's restricted bet let's get good Dwayne Wade. i'm not making that same mistake again we got them three now kd i'll, I'll offer you now oh you're, you're prepared to go over there come right back thank you very much the next season we go sound like a a pirate ship onward honestly just run a 13 man rotation we got enough dog oh kenneth chuck chuck warara just won an mvp he left his team two years in play thompson got rookie of the year How, what overall is he yeah i'm all right i'm duncan six man of the year on chicago what the hell and we lo we lost nine games i'm gonna go back to an eight man rotation or 10 or whatever the hell it was too many games lost you know if we lose nine games in the playoffs i'm not winning a championship you know guess what we're playing the wizards and we won the championship again kevin durant oh why is he wearing 45 screw it i don't care enough to change it nor will we ever see a close game by the way uh i don't see any type of this is the ad draft lottery i mean i'll take ad i actually might trade kg for ad might be about that time for him to get stepping kg is still the second best player on this team but he's 36 it's probably good now to ch check his value like if i could just trade him straight up for the first pick that's kind of cool you get the mvp the 84 overall oh, i basically can trade him straight up for the first pick so that's that's a good thing to keep in mind that's what i'm gonna do and they got blake griffin expired oh, i actually about to have a pretty nice team if they resign everybody oh man they got lance expired too I, I couldn't get anybody decent oh wow pj tucker yeah i'm all right okay we'll trade kg's roster spot for this picks roster spot they, they really trying to give me luther i'm not giving up that charlotte pick hold the thunder pick you don't even need to give me luther holy hell so what pick do i have this year oh 20 oh they could have that yeah Actually, they, could, they could just have both picks this year i don't need those all right kevin garnett it has been real you have set sail just like many before you have michael jordan shaq scotty pippen hakeem olajuwon kobe Brown. Bryant. But uh, Anthony Davis is the newest member. He will be taking your spot as the big man of the team. Honorary big man. And uh, we'll also be looking forward to Giannis. Or toward, oh, toward forward, whatever, 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 something, something. We're looking to Giannis. And you'll probably be the casualty of war here, Tracy. Yeah, it's probably going to be. You could also try and get Jokic the year after. I'm not really too crazy over that. I, I, I just want Giannis, I'll be honest. Did we, uh, by any chance, not accept? Okay, cool. We didn't have any team options. Jesus, a lot of free agents. But guess what? You could see that three of them are unrestricted. So, Melo, go ahead. 
uh, come come back, get your money. Uh, do I give him? I'll give you a player. I, I love Melo, though, so screw it. I'm going to just give him a no trade clause. There you go. Oh, oh, I didn't even need to do this at all. Oh, my God. I might decline it or something and just make make him think about this again. Um, Curry, Harden, you got to get you back real quick. I don't know why Curry. Uh, Curry's only 24. Harden's only 24. They're unrestricted. Yeah, they definitely declined their qualifying offer just now or something. I don't know what happened there. I'm going to risk declining Melo's and, uh, oh, no, do not renounce rights. That is crazy. Okay, now, oh, no, that, yeah, no, that's still worse than our deal. Let's go. Give it to him. There we go. Melo back, and then I'll go get the other two. Melo, Curry, Harden, D. Rose, Westbrook. Welcome back to the team. Just head out. We good. He Mac hits a 91 overall, falling off the map. Wonder where Kobe's at. There he is, Raptors. He's still a 93. Dropping 22 a game. Yeah, you good. Be all right over there. That's the beauty of this simulation. I love, I love when I could quickly trade a player like T Mac for the first pick and just keep it pushing, like how I just did with KG. Like, KG, love you. I'm not saying you put in the work. One mad MVPs, and we'll see you at your retirement ceremony, buddy. We are the greatest franchise of all time. Thank you for contributing. Uh, do we need to do a re? No, just let's just, let's just keep pushing. Kenneth, bro, chill out. Double double back to back years or whatever. He's shoot, you won rookie of the year. Oh, oh John, huh? Wait, did, did I not draft John Wall? Wait, did we release him? Did I accidentally release John Wall? Nobody's been waived. Am I am I tripping? Honestly, I don't even care. Uh, see you, John. I trade him. What did, what did I do? Did I not did I not have John Wall? Wait, cause yeah, he didn't play his for I. You know what? I don't care. Let's just go. Let's playoffs. Another win. LeBron James Finals MVP. Dang, I thought I I had players retire. I always forget I'm not the Knicks. Allen Iverson, Steve Nash, uh, McDice, and Abdul Rahim. Uh, was McDice not here for like three seconds? I don't think he was. Uh, but uh, Iverson and and Abdul Rahim were for Abdul Abdul Rahim was for about three. I give up. Screw it. I give up. Screw all of it. Uh, Iverson, thank you. You know, matter of fact, how many rings you win? 14 rings, six Finals MVPs, two championships. That's Allen Iverson for you. Sorry to all the people that aren't getting picked for these team my, my team you know sorry but you know it, it's just a, it's a cold world bundle up under first overall odds from the the bobcats or whatever the hell i don't know if they're the hornets yet or anything and we lost it they went down to two but that's that's cool uh, we actually can draft a player and keep t-mac i see 14 people I, I don't know where john wall went still once again I'm, I'm counting out 14 people here now we did have two top picks we had 12 and two i'm for sure moving up to one obviously i'm getting Giannis if that's if we're this high up already yeah it says two in an okc unprotected in 2016 wait can i look at the other options because that is a easy option that's paul why, why would i do that t mac and two why would i do that i'm just trading for something else i'd take two in an unprotected in 20 i'd be trying to get rid of my picks like it's they're nothing perfect all right Giannis is in our palms just like that i uh, literally don't want anybody else in this draft so i'm gonna look at t mac trades i'm even gonna look at Dwayne wade trades because he's like 30 sub 30 i don't know if sub 30 is the right way to say that but whatever technically i can't trade for two people from t mac good chris bosh how you doing there's a clay thompson at either him kai and no, we don't really need kyrie we get we can get clay though Paul george still could be useful because i see i think i just saw pick two offer if only it was a good draft man it was almost like i was trying to you know sell my soul to get lebron that one year that's crazy bro t-mac has been here that whole time hey these years have went by fast but slow t-mac survived the the uh expansion apocalypse you don't have to trade d-wade yet i was just making sure he wasn't the one with better offers he's also a lower overall so yeah, let, let's get t-mac out of here how many more years do you have on the contract actually we might we might keep him one more year to trade him for Jokic. He's got three more years. I don't know if he's going to drastically fall off or anything. Milwaukee said take top three protected and 17. This is a team with Blake and I, I thought Tim Duncan, unless I'm tweaking it, I thought I traded him here. I don't know. Didn't they have, they had Paul George. I don't know where Paul George is at now. Dang, they were 28th best this year. Maybe not them. All right, I traded our other pick out of there. The first pick in the NBA draft. You already know the easiest pick of all time. Big Giannis, uh, uh, Victor Oladipo. Sorry, buddy. Michael Carter Williams to the Bulls and that is an all-time sellout. Jesus Christ. Eddie Howard for the fifth pick just to pick who? Who who, who are these people? Thank God. I actually, I should have kept my pick and picked CJ McCollum or something because he would have been there. I don't need him though. Look at this. That's my pick right there. And oh my God. Man, CJ went 18th and Gobert went the one before him. Hawaii declined team options. That's what I have to talk, be talking about. Dwight Howard and Rajon Rondo, two real prolific free agents. Jesus, Dwight can get a lot of money. And some people are offering him a lot of money. So I'm offer it too. Great. We got both of them back to the drawing board aka winning i'm honestly most excited for when uh everybody honestly phases out and it's just random people but like because it's kind of a challenge i guess after victor i guess I also interested to see how we continue to dominate into that era if the talent isn't as good because it's gonna be auto generated players t mac is that mid that he's not even playing anymore that's tough so i think we gotta know with same coach kenneth Ooh, going another ring we're gonna win he's on the knicks what the hell uh we're gonna win another ring click the 
Yes, I mean, like playoffs, another ring in the books. Oh my God, the Knicks won the first game. I got terrified. Kenneth, Kenneth, what did you do in that first game in order to win? Quentin Richardson? Oh, wow, look at you go. Kenneth, triple double on whoever's head. I, I don't know. We have too many players. Kevin Garnett retires with the Celtics. Did I trade him to the Celtics? Yeah, I did. Wow. I didn't, oh, wow. That, that's the full circle moment. I stole him from the Celtics in the first place like 20 years ago. Terrifying. A whole 20 years, huh? Look at how far we've come. Another 20 years. We're about 40 years into this. So we're about, oh, halfway there. Oh, man. I've been recording for nine hours and 26 minutes. Oh, Tim Duncan, too. Hall of Fame. They both had a grand total of 14 and 17 championships. Dang, we traded Tim three years earlier. Is there any possible way we win this draft without tra A? We have the first best odds and we win the draft lottery. I think I'm still going to trade T-Mac. Well, I'm definitely going to trade him, but I'm still going to trade him for uh, the top one of the top picks. Well, a lot of Divac Jr. Why, why is he the best player? What, is this Magic Jr. V2? I, I'm, I'm good, bro. I, I just want Jokic in a beat for the love of God. I don't know, though. He might be different. He might be Vlade Divac Jr. Might be the dang. He is ranked number one. Just consensus. He just Jokic a reliable scoring option finisher. I, would I dare to pick him and uh, I don't know, somebody else? And they're ranking Embiid and Jokic like oddly so Jokic there and bead there as of right now our only center is Dwight Howard and I think yeah that's that's really it him and AD and I if, if that counts I didn't even put that together that Dwight started this season it's the odd shift you know from Tim Duncan and whatever the hell to Dwight started and Dwight's been here already for 10 years too what the hell I didn't even want anybody in that draft I barely wanted him we could, we could hire a coach hire a coach hire a good one not Doc Rivers was that Shaq Shaquille O'Neal dang we don't got, we never have money okay see get your budget up Jesus Christ you have 15 total players right now so i actually have to trade t mac and maybe wait uh maybe means yeah i'm gonna have to trade him can i like can i get the third and the fourth pick figure something out i'll release rondo i don't really care at this point i've seen i've spent too many off seasons wasting so much time on some garbage you can trade t mac for this pick but we'd have to include shoot i don't know what the hell that is uh charlotte the first what how, how does that make any sense oh that was next year's hornets pick they were trying to get i just realized that okay oh, they're still not gonna get it i'll be trading rondo and i mean teams run out of cap space that's the only issue but let me try t-mac first for this cleveland pick he's only a three-star rank he's cooked Mar odom's also old all these guys on this team are old so let's just offer for lamar they want the first pick we don't care Juan rondo he kind of old Man, we could try to went way back for uh john wall and they're like hell they're the same height i mean it just works i might trade t-mac for one of these other young players just draft the real goat at number one thanks boogie not untouchable anymore why are they offering this hold on valuable asset that's what's up all right cool i get john wall let me let me give you a first round pick and Dwayne Wade. Assuming they're not going to take T Mac for Boogie. So just, you know what I'm saying? We're going to work here. Go ahead and take this 25th pick as well. You can have that Suns pick. Go ahead. Dang. He is a 23 year old big man, though. What's crazy is I'm about to draft a big man. So I don't know. Maybe it is stupid that I'm doing this, but I don't need any of these 2015 picks. I don't want anybody in that draft. it. Offer it. Dang. JR is an 88, but he's also about, just about 88 years old. Shoot. He, he, 28. I mean, we could just trade Rondo for John Wall. I'm going to lie. I'd rather keep Rondo than D Wade. Well, oddly enough, I'd rather keep the young man you know i'm a troll hey i seen him where yeah I, I know you're 28 i know you're 28 but earl joseph smith the third got seven years younger than team mac or one overall lower screw it jr smith welcome to the team I literally changed the whole draft class so that you were in there and then i didn't draft you drafted luau dang what, what is wrong with me you know and for d wade i'm gonna trade him for uh probably for john wall let me just do this straight up okay give up that 2018 pick there it is all right cool finally uh, john wall's back on the team he's like 10 years younger than d wade shout out to d wade appreciate you um um, and watch this what a, what a great stuff that we you know what i'm saying we got the first overall pick uh, did we also we traded every pick right yeah hey the first overall pick after you know what i'm saying really thinking hard and long about it i'm gonna have to go with vlade divak jr welcome to the team holy hell he's gonna be the next man he's gonna be like magic johnson jr 82 overall off the rip he's gonna be better than Jokic and Embiid from the same draft class why is he even here i've never seen that guy but i literally just did a, a, a what's it called i was just simulating with these rosters earlier today and never seen that man also kevin durant declined this player option let's go re-sign him chris paul too what type of contract hey he getting some competitive contracts oh my we're gonna have to go uh for sure no trade clauses on them both of them honestly I'm trying to lose either one can we do we just not have the facilities for kevin we're just gonna lose kevin durant like that no dog kevin durant has declined the offer from the oklahoma hey i mean <laughs> uh we heard that sentence before we trying to come back dude he actually is kind of trying to he's not fully but like halfway is kind of crazy for two million dollars and i wanted paul george oh, there goes kevin durant i guess i don't know how to explain why we can't give him the extra couple Couple dollars but like we have so many people bro I, I i'm not gonna complain about it we are 280 million under the cap or over the cap whatever the hell Kevin durant is gone after all 
all that work in to get him in 2007. It's only been five, six years, and he is gone. Go ahead and sign Danny Granger in memoriam. Hey, Ray Allen, you 39, you don't want to come back? And or, or, I don't even remember if you were. Oh, yeah, you were here. You want to come back and hit a corner three for us? Oh, Kevin Durant's gone, and we have a ton of guards and nobody else. Thankfully, um, yeah, I don't know. That's that's really that's the whole sentence. And we still got over the amount of players that we we can sign. What the hell? Oh, oh, right. I gotta just cut this dude. I I just traded Danny Granger for a first round pick. I, a first round pick. I didn't realize I couldn't sign him. But you know, I, I guess I could. I couldn't have had KD technically. You know, he's just doing me a favor. Uh, Curry at the two. Shoot, I don't care. This lineup looks good to me. And Kawhi, you kind of suck. You're not even really getting better. Giannis, you kind of suck. Actually, you just got drafted. What am I talking about? Well, no, not really. Jr. You you could chill on the bench. T Mac was anyways. LeBron James gets himself another. I've never even paid attention to him. 14 like Daquan Cook. And Aaron Gordon averaged 21 points per game. Oh, yeah, we lost the game in the first round. We washed. We wa oh, we're washed. We are washed. Right here losing. Oh, ooh. we better have a close. Wait, who are we playing? Blake Griffin and uh oh, I thought we traded someone else there except for Iguodala, but no. Hold on, close games galore. Are we gonna about to finally have a close game in year 45? I don't even think I'm exaggerating with the years. I'm rooting for the Bucks to score. I'm trying to see us play. Uh, not yet. I, I'm not right. Oh my God, they they kind of they kind of cooked. Wait, they missed like a shot of the buzzer or some Iguodala turnover. That is tough. Seven turnovers, Ziggy. We up three two. This feels so weird doing this after so many years of not doing this. I know I can edit the rotation, but I'm kind of enjoying uh, competition. What is happening? We are down in game six of the finals. 124 left. What to expect? I have no clue. Who is in the game? I have no clue. Let's see. Westbrook wearing number two. Curry wearing number five. Curry all the way. Step back. Pump fake. Curry down to Chris Paul. Chris Paul on the floor two. Back to Curry. Curry steps it back. Curry punt. Step it back again. Curry to the post. Curry back to Chris Paul. Paul the pump fake. Paul back to Curry. Curry in the corner. He's pump faking the three. He's going to go to the basket. He's going to take the layup. And that is good. We have never seen this team all these years. We have never seen him when Jordan was playing. We never seen him was when Shaq was playing. When KG was playing. When Timmy was playing. Yeah, here we are now. And Iguodala is wide open in the corner. They wanted him and he missed it. We're down by three now. 47 seconds left. Curry's got the basketball. He can definitely shoot those. Goes left. He's going to make his way to the basket. Layup is green and good. 30. 38 seconds left and Curry cuts it to one. Jeff Teague back up the other way. 34 seconds left. He throws it down to the post and the steal by Westbrook. No, but the double team back out to Teague. Westbrook guarding Griffin. Westbrook is at the four. Griffin pulls up. Mid-range shot is off. Rebound by the Thunder. They take a timeout with 17 left. Dwight Howard passing to Curry. 16 seconds left on the clock. Steph Curry, he needs to take a shot. Now or never. Six seconds left. Hey, oh my God, my controller just disconnected. Four seconds. Derrick Rose, mid-range shot is off. And that is it. I don't know if they'll win another game, but the series is going to seven. This is our first ever seven game series since the streak of championships started back in the 80s. We have not lost a ring since the 80s. Oh my God, he missed a free throw though. But there's no timeouts left. It's cooked. Even if he misses both, it's over. He could put up the shot all he wants. It's cooked. A one point win by the Bucks is sent to game seven. I will look at our rotation. I'm not going to sell us. You know what I mean? We, we do have one of the greatest streaks in NBA history. So what was that lineup there at the end? What happened to our team? That was just the lineup they were just playing. Willingly, and they had Harden at the three. Hold on. All right, game seven in Oklahoma City. Are the Bucks going to end our championship streak? If they end our streak. I will go and count off every single win, and I don't think they will. Wait, they might still have a chance. No, our streak will continue. LeBron James wins Finals MVP yet again, and our streak from the 80s to the 2020s or whatever the hell we're 2010s continues. I uh, I don't even know what to say about that Finals. Here goes the stats. Um, Bucks. Blake Griffin was cooking. Us. One of the few players that we have not recruited. I, I've thought about it many times. I almost traded for him over John Wall last season, but he's a little bit older, so I, I didn't. Lamar, Ray Allen, and Mike Bibby make the Hall of Fame. Ray Allen, eight championships prior to getting traded. Back to the lottery yet again. Do we have any picks that are good? We have the first odds. Again, the Bobcats are merchants, and we are going to fall down to four. That is tough. I'm not going to lie. I don't even want the pick. Like, I, I don't want. I, I might want Porzingis. Play's kind of crazy in the simulation. I don't I don't see where 
there could be a spot on this team for a player that isn't at least already in the league i think it's time for us to make a move for a wing because the the bench is yeah we might gotta trade dang but there's who else are we gonna trade for because we we have every we have all the best players you know we need we need paul george that's what we really need vince carter's still around what the hell and we have Kawhi leonard on the bench so like that's the weird part about it but paul george is better uh, on 2k at least why only an eight i mean he's, he's an 88 that's pretty good any old players dang mellow is starting to get up there i, I did give him the note of crazy no i know i took it away i took it away hello and Bron is starting to get up there but i'm not sure if we can morally we'll trade Bron eventually but right, we could trade jr for paul george come on what pick we get four we, we gotta we gotta drop some to make a trade hey look at Jokic on the trade block i don't know i don't know if we need another young big man though because we already got Giannis and that other dude Giannis is listed at three but i don't care actually technically we really do need a backup center because i mean mellow was playing the wing man where is boogie Bro, let's just offer this oh didn't work dang losing kd hurt us i just realized i forgot we even lost kd i completely forgot there we go all right well uh i made a trade uh, i traded rondo for for nikola Jokic. I, I there's honestly no point to this um except for just planning for the future that's really it I, I don't wow um the exact player i wanted in the draft or actually both of them are both available at number four all right let's draft Kristaps porzingis for the vibe that was the only reason why i uh i watched the what's it called the draft was because i was like huh like it, just in case if players i actually want stay there at four and there we are that is crazy now i have 17 players on the roster you can quite literally just straight jr smith for carl town so uh, uh take this dude out and just to do yeah, do this let's see there it is carl towns is a is a thunder native whatever the hell we body this draft still even now i still have to make roster spots though but anyway, lebron's a free agent what offers he got he got some great offers going he's 30 but it's lebron so i'm okay well we can offer a lot of money we can't lose lebron so i gotta go no trade clause because we'll actually be cooked there you go it's also way more money than anybody else can offer why leonard restricted free agent yeah come along buddy them two it's a done deal i still though need to trade looking at moving dwight howard and maybe mellow i've been looking for joel and b there he goes so uh we ran out of roster spots so i'm just progressively trading john wall down more and more into more and more picks because yeah that's it i don't know ran out of options contracts all that stuff stuff is trade you know like alvin how you doing buddy screw it come over here there you have it uh we're, we're basketball team um we kind of suck but it's all good we you know we're, we're all right we're all right at basketball yeah i just felt like john Mo john wall was that old man out also uh let run a 10 man rotation let's win another ring lebron wins mvp again john wall really doing it to him over there in san antonio that's crazy bro we didn't ask click the button boom simulate the playoffs we lost one game doubt we lose in the conference finals we're playing the bulls in the finals and it is back to sweep season screw it that works kobe Bryant has retired you know thunder slash supersonics legend uh he did screw us over by leaving us though a lot man him and kd jesus in 2010 been over what is that six years magic johnson jr retired holy former number one overall pick because i picked him there doc rivers jr retired i hated that he's the same overall now he was 40 years ago when i had to trade a million things for him uh, i guess we landed one orlando pick and it's 14 nice i don't even know if i want to pick i really don't i don't care about ben, getting ben simmons i don't think. I think it's time to finally trade mellow he's 32 years old he's probably gonna regress soon i don't know if Braun or cp is but he, he definitely is i don't know I, I really don't know but who cares i'm back baby yes sir we are back uh i have like it's been a long time since i had to split a recording into two but um i had to go to sleep i was recording that for like 11 hours and um was up for 30 i think two hours yesterday so i said let me go and and you know not die now let's speed run the rest of the rest of this rebuild it's it's almost time to get victor like that's how far into this we are i, I don't even remember what 2016 nba draft screw it let, let's just make the smart moves you know we have 17 players on the roster right now and i'm not even sure how that's possible the draft hasn't even happened yet. how the hell did we come into this offseason what, what did i do let's trade whoever at this point we're gonna be all right. i think the time is now to trade our current oldest player carmelo anthony i think i'm gonna send him off to uh the thunder the first pick in the draft i'm gonna try and get lamar Marcus Aldridge as well. I don't really know why, but why not? I guess they won our 14th pick for Patrick Beverly. Screw it. They could have it. We are going to draft Ben Simmons. Thank you to Carmelo Anthony for all of your years. Just trade Pat Bev now for a future Spurs pick. Go ahead with the first pick. We select Benjamin Simmons, and it's because he's goaded in 2K. During this 30th pick, we don't need it. The 79, he'll be good one day. We'll run a lineup with him, Giannis, and whoever the hell. AD's a free agent. How you doing? You want to, you know what I mean? Get back over here. Restricted free agent. You weren't going nowhere. Come back. Thank you. You can go into the season 
position with that how many players do we have oh we actually have 15 wait i don't think i did it automatically right? you know we didn't wave anybody uh if we did and i didn't realize like wait remember how they took john wall for me last year is anybody missing here i can't even tell at this point i have no clue the lineup again for next season Giannis and Kawhi will finally be getting minutes let's kick off this next uh 40 50 70 year run lebron james another mvp don't care about anybody else sorry kenneth chuck woo woo and we we lost two games to the jazz i honestly screw it just simulate t-mac dirk paul pierce who had no affiliation with us and whoever the hell else retired t-mac finishes with 17 rings and dirk had six dirk pretty early on i, I don't even remember oh yeah it was because of the expansion that, that is tough you got robbed out of 11 more rings 2017 draft don't have any good picks in here that's that's terrible but uh hey, we got 19 sure chris paul and lebron both have no trade clause and they're the only two like real old dogs so we can't even trade them we can trade dwight though he's also 31 screw it we're trading dwight howard and all this stuff for uh three players from the thunder including the chinese dude yi i don't know how to pronounce his last name al harrington and this dude for the first pick and get jason tatum versatile wing to fit the team dwight howard it's been real it's been fun but it ain't been real fun appreciate you i'm gonna go ahead and trade Yi and al for some other picks for some other team or something like that with wayne wade i think we just bring you back for a victory lap or something actually we're gonna trade for jalen brown and their pick from last year screw Yi. we don't care about Yi. sorry Yi. i run out of roster space though but i just thought that looked too good to pass up on. just take a blazers pick for this random and uh everybody here is well under 30 except for lebron and chris paul and curry i guess let's go ahead and pick up jt and then i'm gonna just simulate to the end of this thing and just see if we could keep everybody but if not i'll probably just trade jalen brown and you know give up we could have jason tatum and jalen brown reunited josh jackson goes number two the lakers trade the third pick for who ricky rubio and ricky rubio traded for dennis smith jr why do we have another pick oh, it's a second rounder just trade me a future one here you go thank you very much jason ordered an 81 overall just could have got uh mr cage and i forgot to click on qualifying offers cool we oh wow we gave Giannis one thank you jesus we have a lot of free agents and okay so westbrook doesn't have an offer yet so i'm gonna offer the three who have offers and try and bring them all back um if not then we're screwed but it's okay give them all the max money i don't feel like doing too much see Giannis restricted the three that were out there re-signed and westbrook westbrook is still here now he's getting offers and we might not get him back it looks like he he's going to pull a kevin durant following his friend's footsteps westbrook is probably pissed off at the role he's had let's see let's see if he has any like morale thought i don't think i think i'm morale off so you're going to lose russell westbrook in free agency he declines the offer he's gonna go and sign with the knicks or from the same exact actually they offer more money i don't know how they earn that or whatever but it doesn't matter to me for Giannis, all the money you can get i guess Jalen brown's gonna re replace russell westbrook probably i think that's how it's gonna work ron regressing now at 32 years old he's definitely i mean i can't trade him but we'll see in the future yep our roster is good to go we got porzingis entering the lineup for westbrook jason and Jalen both in the reserves and rob green still holding on with his d plus offensive and d defensive race just remember we're still in the triangle oh my god why are we so good in the triangle i don't understand we're literally the it's the only system we're a five star in and it doesn't make any sense to me like how are we not a five star in balance how are we a four star actually why do they have vlade is that why they have vlade in the mock rotation is oh oh vlade might be starting he is Vlade Divac Jr. is our starting center. Braun wins MVP. Rob Green, 80 and 2. We got D Wade, KD, and Dwight Howard on the first team. Westbrook on the second team. Mello on the second team. Paul George, who I've been wanting to trade for for years. I tried to trade Mello for him, actually, I think before I went to sleep. And we are going to make it yet again and lose one game to the Sixers. Who is on the Sixers? Uh, Mike Conley and Brooke Lopez. I think any of our. Actually, I think I saw Gilbert Arenas retire. Yep, he makes the Hall of Fame with eight championships. I, I, I'll be forgetting how long he actually stood around. All right, now this is the year of Luca. I, I actually forgot. And now someone's getting traded. I'll tell you right now, someone's getting traded for Luca. Unless, uh, no, we, we, oh, uh, oh, that's the pick we just traded to them. I think we had the Lakers pick. I swear, I think we just traded that with Dwight or something. Yeah, yeah, I think it was Dwight. And it fell down to four, but we're, we'll go in finesse regardless. Hey, we didn't need that pick then anyway. It sucks. We need Doncic. We need to dominate the next 20 years. This is how you dominate the next 20 years. We might need Trey too, low key. Wish we could could trade chris paul and lebron because I, I i'm bold enough right now i'm feeling enough to do it like i would do it let's see let's see if if i could trade lebron for the first pick and give luca and then the keys oh, you know the nets can't even do it salary wise oh they have uh, a couple guys making a lot of money they can't even take this deal if i if i add DeRozan, that's crazy are they gonna make me go through like the lebron sweep takes sweepstakes again uh okay harden's not a bad one or, or rose even rose for DeRozan. actually that might be a good deal okay for our pick this year derrick rose they're asking 
asking for some other pick I have trash, then a swap worst. Oh no, something's happening here, but all I know is that I am going to accept this Derrick Rose for DeRozan and all this stuff trade. We're actually getting like a team's entirety of their draft picks and we're giving them one of our picks that I don't care about. Derrick Rose, it's been real. Thank you for your time. Luka Doncic is for sure a guarantee on this team. Then I'm going to go ahead and trade. This is swap best with Nuggets, so I'm going to have to swap the best pick to the Nuggets or whatever team has the Nuggets pick now, which is the team I just traded with. I think DeRozan and uh, so uh, let's, let's just try and trade DeRozan for the second pick, honestly. Curry might need to be the next guy up, honestly. To get the boot, which is crazy. Ah, that one hurt. I'm not going to lie, that one hurt. I had to trade all the first round picks that we just got just to get the second pick. Serge Ibaka. Now I'm going to go and try and trade Serge Ibaka for some picks because that was nasty. We're going to probably draft, uh, you know, well, we need we need a point guard of the future soon because Chris Paul, we just traded Derrick Rose. Curry's going to get traded. Literally, that's the only two point guards on the roster. We've been drafting big men for a long time. Now we're going to have Luka and Trey. What the hell is Serge Ibaka so I get him off this team? I quite literally have to trade Serge, and I'm going to quite literally have to trade this pick, but they're giving me the fifth pick for Serge, so I'm going to do it. Look at Frank, man. Oh, my God. Rocket, screw it. Just give me these two future picks. Chicago and Houston. I think I just traded those two, you honestly. Let's go draft Luka and Trey, and I think I still got to trade someone. It'll, 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 honestly, it'll probably be like Jalen Brown or something. Luka Doncic, number one overall, and number two overall. Give me Trey Young. You're eating up. Who, who could we have got at five? We could have got Shea, but I don't even think he fits. He's not even good enough to be on this team, which is crazy. Jokic and Vlade Divac Jr. are both free agents. Restrictedly, though, so that's good. And Curry, Chris Paul, and even Harden takes a drop in his overall. Paul takes a big drop, though, and uh, yeah, he, he still got one year left on his no-trade clause contract, so we'd have to wait until after we sign him back to trade him. Probably finesse it and trade him before he hits player aggression for the next time. Alright, stop simulation. Uh, I mean, I could try and trade him right now. I'll be, I, it would be easy. Depleting in value, LeBron isn't, so. I can disperse him into more picks. I'll take Tony Parker and Gortat. Will they accept this? Well, he accepted it. Oh, and it was with the Clippers. Chris Paul waves his no trade clause and we could just disperse Tony Parker and Gortat into more picks with other teams. Hopefully, uh, do players Loki just not like playing for this team? I think that'd be pretty funny. I'll be honest. I just did a lot of trades, but we are here. I got both of those guys entirely off the roster um, to just, yeah, shed it down to the amount needed. And there it is. I was going to be petrified if I need to trade another person, but traded Chris Paul and here we are we got Porzingis is the seventh man we've got a lot of these we're betting on a lot of these younger players and at this point when I see a team beat us I just try to think of who I traded to them Kevin Durant wins most valuable player LeBron's award snatched 75 and 7 we lost seven games on the season can we lose seven in the playoffs though we win the first round win the second round win the third round AD loses in the conference finals and we're gonna sweep the Pistons Curry finals MVP and you might be getting traded this year now this year is for sure a trading year because yeah 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 we might get job too Mari Stoudemire makes the Hall of Fame. Draft lottery. I think I just traded like all of our pick. Oh, never mind. We have the first odds and the seventh odds. All right. Uh, we are going to get the second pick. The, the Pelicans. Wait, what did they jump up to from this time? Let me see. Pel oh, I think they were top. Wait. Pel oh, the Pelicans were number five. All right. Well, uh, let's try and trade up seven for Mr. Uh, Zion Williamson. I think it's time to trade Curry. I don't care what finals MVP you won. We're trying to evolve a deck. This is the thing, though, is that these draft classes as of late have been much worse than the previous ones. Giannis is still Giannis is 25 is only a 92. Like we need 96s. That's what we need. We need to go back there. That old 2000s era might be our prime like forever, like the rest of the video. I could just give a pick two and pick seven. I could give up Giannis, Luca, Trey, but Kawhi is 28 and he's only an 89. But let's let's look about trading Kawhi. They could literally just have this straight up. Okay, they don't want it. It's a thunder pick at. Look at all these picks I got from my my that was all chris paul stand hey right, well we don't need all these picks this year you could have picked 20 as well there you go Kawhi leonard is out of here see you Kawhi. we've got pick two and pick one well we won't trade anybody else yet just to make sure that they don't leave us in free agency hell braun could leave us right yeah i don't know i forget never mind the only players that expired are going to be restricted diane williamson the first overall pick and john ja morant the second overall pick would pick rj but you know he's, he's not even up there like at all he's ranked six i'm not putting my bets on a dude ranked six although Jalen Brown was pick six oh yeah we still have to trade our other pick oh snap it's number seven I forgot about that entirely I should have traded that with somebody I think we're gonna have to send Harden out of here this offseason either him or Steph I'm not gonna lie 2k just hating at this point there has never been a point in his career where RJ was a 72 like he, like I, I remember from the years maybe like 75 at one point but 72 is crazy Curry and Vlade Divac oh he probably just peaked dang if you peaked you might get traded for Zingas to pass you might as well play center right let's see what happens I already know they're gonna tell us we gotta stop and trade somebody 16 players currently is there any like young players that aren't doing what they should be Jalen's only an 83 it might 
might be his time to go. He's definitely the odd man out here. I'm not gonna lie. Also, Jokic, 86 of 24. I might just trade him, honestly. I'm gonna go down the Chris Paul process of elimination again. Hell, Tyson Chandler is better than Jokic. It's crazy I just traded Jokic like that. I probably should have traded Jalen Brown, but it, it is what it is. Hey, we'll be all right. Crazy. That's why I drafted the other dude over him. Like, I was kind of dead set on Jokic, but then I saw Vlade Divac Jr. was better. And it said Jokic's peak was only all NBA and not Hall of Famer. And I was like, ah, eh, that's kind of crazy. Perfect. Actually, that's a lot of protected pick. Can someone give me a no Oh, perfect. Thank you, Orlando. Gary Clark out of there. And we are ready to set, head over to the next season. End up looking the same as usual as last year, at least. Giannis at 92 now. That's good. That's good. You're still improving. And a Chuck Wawawa. Bull Bull Rookie of the Year. Holy hell. Are we in Prime Bull Bull? What's his shot tendency? Are we in Prime Bull? I'll try. Oh, it's big time. That's We might got to go get him for the culture. If he improves. If he, he's a 75, I'm not going to lie. Jokic, most improved player. 87 overall on the Suns. Is still Jokic. Dang, maybe I should have just played him. <laughs> I don't know when we're going to need Jalen Brown. I'm not going to lie, but hey, it is what it is. Maybe we'll just go trade him back for Jokic. I don't know. We lost the game to Dallas in the first round. Bucks finals. I believe this is KD and we're going to sweep KD. Anthony Davis. Good, good. You are 27 though. You're already old. Jesus. We're already, you're already 27. Dwayne Wade has retired. I thought about taking him back and getting a victory lap going or something, but yeah, here we are. Uh, Dwayne Wade, uh, 11 championships, kept him since the day he was drafted, uh, almost, you know, his retirement. And this year, uh, I mean, you got you got Zion, you got you got uh, some dogs. We got two lottery picks as well. Oh, one of them moved up. Look at that. And we only had two chances at it. We could get Lamelo, Aaron Davis Jr. expected to be an All Star. I like these juniors there, and I'm not gonna lie, I do enjoy it. I mean, I don't know if it makes sense for this draft class since it's so recent, but yeah, it's kind of fun. Curry a 94 now bronze still a 96 at 35 we've literally seen bronze entire career progress and how he hasn't regressed so yeah I'm thinking my, my new motto at all times is that nobody's ever untouchable and we always just trade the weakest or oldest link simple as that jesus we have a lot of picks this year oh my god and eight and beats at 92 i should have got him over Jokic, honestly all right i just traded like all of our picks this year and and uh a future pick from ourselves to get the first pick from new orleans so that's locked in. We, I'm definitely going to draft LaMelo number one. He is ranked number one for sure. Um, If I did have two, I would get Edwards. He's expected to be, they're both only expected to be all NBA. So maybe I'll just refrain from this draft for now. We already have 15 players. So I'm going to go ahead. Actually, I'm going to wait for Jalen Brown to progress. And then I'm going to trade him. First overall pick, Oklahoma City Thunder. LaMelo Ball will be taking the spot. Then Edwards goes to the Knicks. Baron Davis, Devin Vassell. Actually kind of tough because Westbrook's on the Knicks too. So they, they might actually become kind of decent. We need LeBron James to get back on this team. He's got great defense deals from the Spurs. Thankfully, he does want to re-sign with us. I'm going to offer him a five-year deal with a player option. You could be making this money for a minute, young man. There you go. And he's still in favor to go to the Spurs. Hold on. I Oh, ooh, that's bad. That is bad. We got two other restricted free agents. I think we're about, to lose, we're about to lose LeBron. LeBron accepted another offer. We have lost LeBron James. Just straight up lost him. Oh, man. that's This is bad. This is very bad. Uh, ben doesn't want to accept our offer, although he has to regardless. I mean, he's restricted. And Jalen, Jalen, you might hold some more value now hold on we might we might ben simmons prepared to i don't care you're coming back losing lebron is crazy we lost lebron kd and westbrook in free agency and i just traded chris ball who we need now i already see him in the future we need victor soon and tatum's gonna take a bigger role this season zion is yeah oh man oh man we need you guys to get good quick because like it's not like when we had jordan we could trade jordan no like we are watching our team fall into pieces and these guys still exist in the league. That's the worst part. And we're obviously going to keep everybody this season. I mean, you know, we, oh, wow, Luca's already at 91. He will start it. He's going to take LeBron's spot already. I would make Giannis a big, but he gets just significantly worse. Let AD play center, though, and it actually leaves the way for Ben Simmons to start a power forward. I didn't even expect that, but that worked. Trey Young's also at 89, but he doesn't quite make the rotation. We actually kind of need him to make the rotation, though. He's our only point guard. We got enough We got enough playmakers. We'll be all right. Kenneth, man, we got to give... Hey, Kenneth is a bona fide Hall of Fame. Matter of fact, I'm a trade for Kenneth. Kenneth. I want to trade for Kenneth. Can we get Kenneth the ring? This is the most impressive player we've ever seen that just wasn't supposed to be impressive. Like he's the, the closest I think that came to this was De David Robinson, maybe. But this man has five MVPs during the span of our team. Two DPOIs. He's an 88 overall and he's still doing this at 34. We got to trade for Kenneth just for one year. I'll trade him right back out. Kenneth, all NBA first team. Then you got Russell, LeBron, KD, and Boogie. Three players I had and one player I wanted desperately. One who I'm going to get though. I'm going to get you 
dude, Kenneth. Come on. I almost traded Steph for D'Angelo. I might still do that at the draft time. That actually is probably a pretty likely scenario. D'Angelo is a 90, 90 overall, 25 years old. And uh, third team, I'm just, I don't, I don't know why I just felt like taking a look at all these right now. Chris Paul's still up here, obviously. He did regress a lot, though. Play-in game is here. That is disgusting. I hate looking at that stupid branch. I don't know how many games we won this year. I didn't really check. We're playing the Nets in the finals, and we did not lose a game the entirety of the playoffs. Steph wins finals MVP. He might have heard me. D Rose. D Rose and Kawhi are on the Nets. Our team is still leaps and bounds ahead of the league. None of these games were even close. That's a good sign because we needed that. Uh, I'm, I mean, I might have lied, but like we got to get Kenneth. 2021 draft. Who's in this draft again? I, I don't know why I'm forgetting the draft from two years. Evan Mobley, Cade. We do need Cade. I won't lie. We do need Cade because Cade is crazy in this game. And the Knicks got the first overall. Oh, wait, right. We played the Nets in the finals. That was the Knicks for a second. Penny, where is the, the draft? 2021, right? That's the one. Hello? Uh, the 2K just has it wrong. Was that Kevin O'Connor? That man is a beat reporter. He should not be here. Let me go and find a 2021 draft. I did not know they were broken. It's good to know for whenever I do another simulation like this. It is 2021. You got Mobley, Cade, Scotty. Don't even know their ceilings, but we kind of do though. I'm gonna for sure at least get Cade. Versatile guy, six foot six, can play any position, probably uh, up to like the four in 2K. We got just straight 80s at this point. We got like a bunch of 89s. We got mad picks yet again. All up New York. They would take Harden for the pick and I would be open to that because well is getting old okay they want to take a 2022 lakers and 23 raptors for heart with harden for bargnani uh i throw in some other mid and they're gonna also give me draymond screw it i'll do this trade for the first overall pick harden it's been real this is getting weird now because we need we're dependent on these players playing good now we don't really know these aren't like guys that we know i gotta trade draymond and bargnani where is chuck Wu? whatever that oh wait we get the third pick too I offered curry for d'angelo and they declined average 27 points last year i'm gonna definitely get this trade done for sure over the 21st pick as well and offer this pick so offer whatever thunder picks we got offer another second rounder and offer another first rounder and we they are still not giving us d'angelo for curry but I, I just got draymond you guys want draymond i got him on accident well not on accident but i just you know here you go take draymond too jesus christ what well, is d'angelo untouchable oh i just traded bargnani and four trash picks for the second overall pick in the draft i think i'm gonna look for evan mobley with that one yeah, evan's ranked number one actually by default and cade's number two so that's good we're gonna get those two sorry to Jalen and Scotty it's a fantastic draft class where is Chuck Wu I don't even know if we could put him on the roster to be honest with you good Jabari Parker also thriving out there great to see you know actually no let, let Chuck Wu go and keep on winning his MVPs he don't need no rings he gonna have his own little legacy over there and I have to trade Jalen Brown and Draymond Green because we don't have the roster spots to draft the other two I, I quite literally have to trade them for nothing so I'm gonna get the third overall pick and I'm literally just gonna trade it for future picks I'm doing an update required that's fantastic it's not even that early pretty funny because some of these trades I'm making just to like free up a roster spot of some of the worst like we're getting future picks but there's some of the worst trades ever like I just traded the fifth pick for the 12th pick and some garbage oh yeah screw it trade Eric Gordon for these two all right cool we're good now we can go ahead and we could have done this in the first place but we'll we'll take Evan Mobley number one why not and uh, go Cade number two done deal thank you very much until the draft I wonder who goes after I feel like just Josh Giddy's gonna go no no never mind okay and Cade is a lower overall than all what the hell why is Chris Duarte a 79 it doesn't matter as long as we got the draft class that was actually correct qualifying offers we got to resign Jason Tatum. That was the only player we got that year. Oh, and we got to resign AD. Okay, wait, AD. What type of offers you got? Okay, I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm, I'll, I will give AD the uh, what's it called? Let's screw it. If you want to leave too, go ahead. I'm gonna give you a player option, four year plus one. Let's see. AD, he's coming back. Thank you. Finally, somebody with some loyalty. He'd be the best player on the team right now, though. If LeBron regresses right now. Let's see. Um. Oh wait, well, LeBron regresses. LeBron left. You are the best player on the team. Thank God, LeBron is old because I would be terrified to ever see him in the playoffs ever anywhere. Okay, they're starting Curry, Doncic, Giannis, Ben, and AD. What a what a lineup. Zion still working his way up to the lineup, and then just in the tuck right now we got Cade, Mobley, Lamelo, Ja, and Zion. He's still running the triangle. Oh my God. And it's still the best system. I don't even get it. I really don't get it. Bill Jackson, where are you? What What is going on right now? Kenneth Chuck Wawara. Oh, that's why I couldn't find him, maybe, because he was a free agent, I think. Oh, never mind. He's still in the work. He regresses enough to the point where I can come just bring him over here and get him a ring. Matter of fact, when I see that it says he's going to retire, I'm going to override it and trade for his old body self. He's 35 already and still winning MVPs. Lost the first round game to the Rockets. He lost the second round game. He lost a third round game. Holy hell. And we lost the finals game. 
What is going on with the team? Oh, man. It's it's time to blow it up. It's time to blow it up. Hey, Curry, you got to get Curry out of here either this year or the next. Oh, man, this is this is bad. This is bad right now. We have I don't think we've ever lost that many games in the playoffs in the past three decades. We've never lost a game in every round. Hall of Fame inductees, Chris Bosh and Carmelo Anthony, too. Actually, I don't we never had Chris Bosh. Yeah. Just mellow. Thank you for your 13 rings. We are smoking the Bill Russell record, and we have a ton of picks in the top of this draft. Who the hell is in this draft? Is this is this this year's draft? Is this Paolo and them? Uh, well, we get 14, and we move up to two and four. Well, this draft. Oh, this draft just didn't load in either. Okay. Dang, Steph expired, so he's got to stay around unless he leaves us. He got to stay around for at least a little bit longer. Uh, Vlade Divac Jr. is probably the player to get traded this year. Definitely need to get shoot somebody. Well, actually, we actually almost have every. Holy hell! How many picks do we get? We have nine at the 30 picks in this draft jesus christ <laughs> and we can only draft we can only draft one player technically and i'm, I'm okay with that I, i'll just take paulo you know if we really need a player per se from this draft. why is jabari smith number one is jabari and now i'm just confused i don't even know who i want to pick anymore i just trade all these for future ones we just trade every player over the age of like 27 where it's gonna start getting actually tough which sucks no more smooth well i mean yes and no we have like all the rest of the good players so Curry would have been an easy trade this year instead we're, we're gonna for sure moving on from vlade and i might just pick one player honestly about to just trade the second pick and the fourth pick for pick number one. Oh, okay well never i didn't even have to trade pick four i just traded two other top picks plus two and we got number one pretty easily so now we have one and two i am tempted to just go ahead and take i mean i wanted paulo but he's not even ranked i feel like he'd be ranked higher i've been seeing paulo cook recently in real life and that's what makes me want to be more so i'm gonna get paulo for sure and maybe jabari after that because jabari is ranked number one if we do keep this pick because i would have to trade for sure vlade as well as another player maybe towns i don't know if jabari ends up better than towns anyways we might just hold on to towns and maybe trade i'm gonna I'm just i'm gonna just trade all the picks and uh and get get paulo and trade vlade for pick four then try and trade pick four again wasn't on the mic for a second but uh yeah we just did the normal offseason moves got paulo i traded all the picks for basically all the Knicks' future picks actually they kind of fleeced me but it is what it is who cares they were able to keep actually I, I think i only traded for two of them so yeah they, they screw them actually look at our picks right now we have about what is this like seven in 2023 a couple in 2024 now obviously this year we are going all out for default victor this is our guy victor will probably be better than every single player on here and will definitely be our starting center maybe even off the rip please i don't get like 95 soon dog at least you're playing though kenneth wins another mvp Jaden ivy gets rookie of the year i was looking he looked pretty good on his stat. Kenneth DPOY, Anthony Edwards, most improved player on New York in 28. We might need to go strike the iron while it's hot and try and get him all this year if he's this good. Braun, KD, and Boogie. Who the hell is PJ Penland? I have no clue. He was drafted in 04, and he's still a 90. First seed, as always. But yeah, wow, that's crazy. So I traded for the Knicks picks last year, and all of a sudden, they're great again. Look at my luck. Dang, the, the Blazers won two games against us. That's PJ Penland. Whatever the hell his name is. The Knicks in the finals. Imagine they beat us after I gave them every Thing. Nope. 4 0. Steph Curry, finals MVP. And Victor Wembanyama off seasons. Shout out to JR Smith. You played a season here. You didn't really play, though. Chris Paul also retired. And Chris Paul finishes with 13 rings as well. Same as Melo. We traded them the same offseason. It makes sense. The, we have the NBA draft lottery coming up. And we do not have. We have a top five odds, but it goes up to number one. Victor is ours. And we need Scoot. I'm not going to lie. We need Scoot. Can't trade AD just yet. He holds he holds his team up too much. In a good way, I meant. It holds his team up. Sounds bad good and victor are both insane in this game as you'd expect do i just trade curry for the pick might also be about that time to trade Giannis, either Giannis or towns not gonna waste too much oh is that chuck woo -hoo. i wish i wish but i need to make a roster spot honestly just trade towns for some mid sorry jimmy butler that i'm calling you mid trade towns for this i don't even like i just kind of want to just get it pushing dog trade jimmy for some future picks at alex lynn i really don't care all right now uh, we gotta trade steph it is time so i'm gonna go ahead and call up the owner of the second pick in the draft we already have a ton more picks i could trade i really don't care we gotta trade steph one way or the other no offers were found i have an offer for you don't worry we have a player that has more rings than than uh what's his name and scoot henderson don't worry you could have future there you go that is it stephen curry is gone we have the top two picks in this draft we will be drafting victor in school there's a roster spots and all that we should be good first pick in the draft victor Wenbanyama. the second pick in the draft scoot henderson keep it pushing also still got to trade some of these other picks there it is big victor big school we'll resign john zion but they have called qualifying offers so that's fine cool both restricted take all the money you want that works you run things over here like a college red shirt except your first four years of being in the national basketball
Basketball Association or red shirted. AD, you're definitely going to trade it next year. I'm sorry, buddy. I don't even care if we get the first pick. Whatever. We will just keep on trading. The picks are just there just for power at this point. At the end of the day, we lose. Like, we lose all these trades, but it is what it is. Who even is in this draft? Is it just Bronny and them and Ron Holland? We'll probably just get Ron Holland. This year, who they got starting this year? They got Ja, Luca, Tatum, AD, and Porzingis with Trey, Giannis, Zion, Ben, and Lonzo or Lamelo playing. My bad. Kenneth wins his eighth MVP at 37 years old. He was undrafted. I just realized that. Like these playoffs, hope we don't lose too many games. Boom, win that series. Oh my God, I got so scared. And we sweep the finals. Who the hell is on the Warriors for to do that to us? Kenneth. LeBron James has retired at, at 39 years old, 21 years pro. So has Dwight Howard, who is currently teamless. He fell off a cliff after we traded. Oh, never mind. It's been like six, seven years. I didn't realize it's been that long. Oh, snap. The glitch happened. The glitch. Okay, okay who'd we get in the draft light? The stupid glitch happened that almost screwed us over. Okay. We get like all the worst picks. We really did. We got seven picks and they're all outside the lottery. That is terrible luck as of right now. This is definitely the year we got to move on from Anthony Davis. AD at 93 overall, 31 year old. Oh my Giannis, we got to move on from now soon too. Oh man, maybe next year or something. We're just going to go year by year, one by one. Take one player, move on from one until that's really it, honest. That'll probably be the strategy forever. It is, I had to trade three of our garbage picks and we got AD out of here for Dario Saric and whatever the hell. Now I'm going to just trade all the rest of the picks. We got number one. I'm going to take Ron Holland. Sorry, I could get LeBron James Jr., but just do it for the fun of it. Maybe. Dang, Bronny is second ranked? Hall of Fame ceiling? Maybe we just pick Bronny. Maybe we just pick Bronny. The first pick, the Oklahoma City Thunder will select Bronny James. Oh my God, I did it. I did it. Ron Holland didn't even go number two. Screw him, he's a fluke. Went four. Bronny James, 74 overall. Easily the lowest rated player we drafted in a long time, but... I have seen him become good in these these videos, so that's what we traded Anthony Davis for, basically. Ben Simmons might actually leave us right here right now, and he is going to. He's going to the Milwaukee Bucks, so we actually could have kept AD for one more year. We lose Ben Simmons, just barely doesn't want to sign with us, so that is that is kind of tough. The streak is definitely going to end at one point in this video because we're going to start having to draft players that we literally don't know auto-generated rookies, and it's going to get bad because we trading our best players for auto-generated rookies that might actually be garbage. This man robbed green's got to be one of the greatest coaches ever now and he's only a d plus rating oh snap the triangle doesn't want to work anymore still the best one though we've got zion luca Giannis, ja and porzingis started victor will probably be starting like next year or something Kenneth wins another mvp with another team zion wins most improved we needed yes we need this out of you buddy but everybody leaving us get new teams all this stuff ben simmons made the first team as well jesus christ uh jazz first round as they win second round as they win third round we we lose one game we beat the bulls and luka Doncic is they the finals mvp scotty barnes and deandre aiden get swept kenneth is retiring but here's the thing i would actually do what i said but he's still an 89 and we got a young know, saying we, we can't we can't do that we can't ruin the franchise kenneth has been real buddy you are a bona fide hall of famer and probably the best player that we've seen that wasn't on our team. He won six DPOIs, nine MVPs, no ring, and so on and so forth. Draft lottery for, I don't even know, honestly. The second pick, that's cool, and it stays at number two. Oh, Nasir Cunningham is really good, so I'm going to get Nasir. And we're going to have to trade. Who's anybody like mid that we've had? Okay, Porzingis might be a casualty of war at this point. He's 29. Giannis, actually. Giannis only averaged 10 points. Porzingis averaged 18. Oh, yeah, Giannis was a bench player for us this year. Yeah, it looks like, yeah, it's time for him to go he hasn't done much but screw it he's, he's got to get to step in we'll see if we could trade him for i guess number one and then trade number two for some other garbage somewhere honestly they could have Giannis and maybe even number two if i could have all their draft picks see if they could be garbage forever or something the thing is uh, that guy's pretty good you know so probably like transform your oh what's this wait 2025 toronto what is that that is number two we'll give 14 19 22 now they're asking from some swap best or whatever okay, whatever the hell that means still no uh take more first okay okay now they're just trying to swap one first in 2026 on it's for the first pick we still have the second one to trade elsewhere yeah that works for me this is gonna be the easiest offseason yet now i just gotta trade the second pick for some other garbage you trade for ron holland for all i knew man trade down for alfred payton why not frank is an 86 i'm so proud of you might trade for you guess what i didn't even have to tr who did i trade Giannis? i didn't even have to do that i just realized we had 13 we had 14 players because ben left well i could go and trade for another player i already know who it's gonna be frank neelik 
Akina is an OKC Thunder player for four first. Screw it. I don't care. He's here. He's going to win rings and be the worst player on the team for a half second. I actually needed an honorary bad player that I could trade in a year because I'm so tired of having to consciously think about which player I want to trade. All right, give me Nasir Cunningham. Keep it pushing. He's for sure the best player in this draft. 40 and 82 overall to, as a rookie. Do we not have any free? Oh, there they go. All right, Ja and Trey have plateaued as, as so it seems. Our lineup is Morant, Doncic, Tatum, Williamson, Porzingis, Young, Mobley, Wimbanyama, Ball, and Cade Cunningham. Jabari Smith Jr., New York Knicks most viable player. Did not ex well, I did expect that actually after I saw how good he was in the draft class. And Nick Smith Jr. also makes the first team. He's in his third year. And Simmons, look, we not worry about none of these people though. Simulate the playoffs. Okay, we lost the game in the first round. We lost the game in the second. We're gonna make it back to the finals yet again. Play New York. Oh my god, they win the first game. We win the second one. They win the third game. We win the fourth one. We win another game and we are going to win the finals. Very, very close call. They have Darius Garland too. I forgot entirely. I mean, I wasn't gonna draft them, but they have Dyson Daniels, Baron Day. Oh no. Oh no. The league's getting too good. They even got Mitchell Robinson again. Like they beat us by 11 points in one of these games. That is, oh, and they have Edwards. Now the Knicks are too good. They're too good. Oh man. We didn't even give him, we might've given him some of those picks, but Russell Westbrook has retired. Screw you. You left us. And so did KD. Where is KD at? Did he retire yet? I don't know. I don't remember. All these players played significant amount of years with us. D Derek Rose, 10 rings. Westbrook, nine. Wall, three. And John, uh, James Harden, 12. And uh, we don't retire Westbrook's jersey. I'm not surprised we didn't retire John Walls, but we didn't retire Westbrook. That's crazy. Rose even got his number tied with Brooklyn. It's been, dang, it's been, what, how many years? Eight years since we traded him? Draft lottery again. We, I saw one top pick. Uh, all right, we'll take number 10. Screw it. And did it fall down? What? Wait, wait, how far How far did it just fall down? Oh, oh, no, no, no. Wait, it was protected. But wait, how protected was it? Indiana, Indiana. Um, Okay, it just said a 10. I don't remember trading for a lottery pit, protected pick, but it's all good. It doesn't really matter. Anybody good in this draft? Oh, yes. Cameron Boozer and Koa Pete and Cooper. They're all really good in 2K. Cameron Boozer is the one, though. Like, he's the one. The, the dude finally changed his name to, from K Peak to Koa Pete. I've been asking for it. For, I'm, I'm on the same draft class. All right, any old player? Actually, it might just be Frank. We might just... Hey, Frank expired. Oh my, we can't trade Frank. Maybe I'll just trade for Koa and let Frank walk. Well, we don't have good enough picks to trade all of our picks for the first one. So we're going to hit up the Warriors and trade Kristaps Porzingis. I don't even need this guy. Can we just do it like this? There it is. Kristaps Porzingis. Good, good. Not good ridden. Sorry. Goodbye. It's been real. It's been fun. It's been real fun. We're not going to trade the rest of these picks and re-sign Frank. Or we could just find something really good on the trade block. And honestly, we're not going to find anything better than the God. Is that Tracy McGrady Jr. Power forward? Seven foot. Jesus christ great genetics team act for two future picks real quick was always Knicks picks oh my god i hate them they're gonna, they're gonna go and draft two legends can't trade with the team that almost beat us in the finals that's disrespectful to ourselves a draft first pick let me get cameron boozer i already know he's that guy the sixers trade the second pick for who the third pick and bam wow cooper flag maybe they maybe they knew that sure oh yeah lz harrington he was falling down i thought cole was going third. 82 overall cameron boozer honestly this whole draft is really good maybe i should have traded even more player who else do i even have to trade uh really nobody unless you want to well i mean i gotta re-sign frank but aside from that yeah really nobody i'm not trading 27 year old luca oh we also gotta re-sign tatum wait where is frank did we did we what what happened oh he accepted his player option never mind jason tatum has decided to sign with the new orleans pelicans we are getting cooked cooked i tell you roasted burnt to a crisp Victor is a 95, thankfully. Is there any way we could sell our soul for Koa Pete real quick? Man, I saw Ron Holland's an 89 and Bronny's an 82. That was definitely a mistake. On well, good news, we will have one roster spot next year when we draft whoever the hell. The Jazz's new logo is hideous, at least just on the screen. Victor Wimbanyama, most valuable player. Okay, drop the French. I don't even know if that's French, really. I know he's French, but I don't know if I, I was talking. Most improved player, DPOY as well. Oh, it's time. It's time. It's time. Jabari Smith, what's good? It's our time though it's still our time new orleans new orleans move oh my oh my yo our our legacy our era is over bro our era is over there's no way we went to a game seven of the first round there's just no way i'm going all in I might go this we might take a detour from our previous you know plan of action we might have to go all in on the created draft rookie players and just trade even our most beloved players knicks are uh, tied two three two there you go we finally won a game but uh, won the series my bad but holy hell knicks won two games by over 10 points jabari edwards garland and they got bam now i think i traded them bam on, on some crazy thing never mind they traded for bam kevin durant screw you you've retired leaving us after 
after uh, at your first opportunity to do so, bro. It was mad years ago. Holy hell. Finishes with seven rings because he left us. Screw you. Ain't even really seen you in the finals much. Curry also retires. It's only been a couple years since we traded him. And Blake Griffin as well, who almost beat us that one year. I just had a flashback to that. Thunder, we've got a lot of picks up here. That's a that's a good sign. Let's get a top pick. Okay, we do not. This year, okay, Chris Washington's pretty good. Hall of Fame. This dude, Hall of Fame. This dude, All NBA. Uh, I don't be seeing the other, other guys up there. So I might just go for Chris Washington, to be honest with you. Lance Washington, 5'11". I'm good, honestly. I'm good. We'll, we'll go with Kurt for Chris again. Lance is a 23 as well. Like, all right, bro. It will be all right. We have a roster spot, which is good, thankfully. So let's go ahead and just get Chris. Art of finessing. We got the fifth pick. We got to look at our picks. Oh, I'll, we'll see you in a second. Take a look at our picks real quick. Jesus. Try and pick five and not pick eight. We'll try and finesse that one somewhere else. 21, 22, and 23. About throw 13 in there. 23. There we go. Finally, they do it. Pick five. Took that much to get us out of there. Actually, let's get... We, we've been getting screwed over so much. Let's get Frank Neely. Frank... Oh, yeah. He was a player option. Oh, my God. I should have traded him during the season. Trade this eighth pick for some future OKC ones. I don't even know if they're bad. Wait, not OKC. Was it OKC? Wait, it might have been OKC. I don't really... I don't know, honestly. All right. To the NBA draft. Let me get potential legend Chris Washington Jr. Let's go ahead. Get that real quick. To him, Barry was an 80. This dude's a 78. But Chris is definitely going to be... The, he's for sure going to be the best player from this class. At least, you know, in 2K. I, I, it's in like 2027. I don't know who the hell the kid is in real life victor's a free agent thankfully restricted although we have three unrestricted one being luka Doncic. now you are 28 i'm so tired of losing players that i think i will give you a no trade clause just so you don't leave let's see real quick uh thankfully i think that actually helped us a lot so i'll do i might do that with everybody to be honest with you i mean we're able to trade chris actually our other two unrestricted don't have any other offers so trey you can get a normal deal and oh that's frank yeah bro take your 20 million a year jesus christ we'll go and get victor and scoot actually they're both probably gonna yeah there you go scoot yeah. on over come on back victor will get you a five-year max and keep it pushing now victor's trying to leave too screw you vic that's why we're going to trade for just you know what i'm saying youngins only because holy hell i got the youngins on the youngins want to leave they're only 23 and they already had that opportunity how is that even possible Possible. Wait, they oh oh their their rookie years expired. Yeah, yeah. They were trying to sign elsewhere though. Is Zion regressing? Why is Lamelo regressing? Because they plateaued, they peaked, whatever. Victor MVP again. Jamie Pierce. Who the hell is Jamie Pierce? Wait, wait, that's our coach though, right? Right, right. That's still our thank God. Who? I don't know who the hell this guy is though, but Jesus, lower that bench utilization. We don't play our bench around here. That's why that's why we only won 10 games or lost 10 games. Man, this is a confusing team. Wait, now Sierra's already a starter in year two. Jesus Christ. Kate isn't even playing. Kate was starting starting last season now he's not even playing i would assume our other coach retired he was here for a long time all right don't lose there we go pelicans get them out of there wait they got rid of the playing game they have rule changes on still and they got rid of the playing game <laughs> You check out. I think there's a way you could check history of rule. Yes, rule change history. Oh, they really heard me and got rid of the playing game. That's really funny. We're back to the finals. We should be able to smoke anybody. There you go, Nets. I have a feeling Victor is going to carry us to the promised land forever. Dang, we just we just got rid of goaltending. <laughs> oh my god. And the five second back to the basket. Nobody even posts up anymore, anyways. Violations in the key will be called after five. Screw it. Hey, I don't. We've been using rule changes this whole time. Screw it. Just let them rock. I might start leaving these on for video. That is really funny. <laughs> Getting rid of goaltending like almost unanimously is pretty funny. Victor is gonna be up there. Thunder have the first best odds, and we get the first pick in the draft. Who the hell is in this draft? I have no clue. Who is Stefan? Did I did I download the draft class? What year are we in? 2028. I'll make sure I downloaded it. If I did, screw it. Who the hell is Stefan Klein? It is them. Stefan is still number one. Hey, I mean, he doesn't take up a roster spot. Daryl Allen is oh, he's not five nine. Said five eleven up there, but all these guys kind of suck. Remember, I've seen the name RJ rice before can we can we by any chance trade for one of the guys that we didn't get in a previous year and donovan sucks can we, can we trade for koa pete he's oh he's always oh, a free agent that's why they even got bryce james on the knicks oh my god i forgot when did dj wagner oh he was a 12th pick in 24 i forgot about him and Derek whitehead i forgot about all of these guys is he he's probably untouchable Derek. let's see un, not probably untouchable i don't know who isaiah is but they got isaiah and Derek on the lakers jesus they're starting to build teams that are going to be better than ours. Okay, Jabari Smith is not untouchable. Can we trade this first pick? Oh, but that is the Knicks. But screw it. Yeah, screw them. Give him Frank. The prophecy fulfilled. And Jabari actually is better than Paolo in this. Oh, I remember you, G. Vincenzo Oliverio. I remember you from one of the videos. Honestly, crazily enough, I don't even want to pick this year. I'd rather just, like, all these guys are just screaming mid. I'm a bit scared um, of what's to come in the future with our team and everything. But at the same time, I don't know what to do. So I'm going to just trade Frank for some future picks. Sorry. Frank. I'm also going to trade. Oh, oh, yeah. I'm just going to pick a player, I guess. It'd be funny as if 
I've t turned everything on auto as of right now and just simulated the next 60 and saw what happened. Sounds like some might do. All right, let's go draft some bum with the first pick. This dude, Stefan Klein is supposed to go number one in every single mock draft. It's pissing me off. You know, draft it, uh, drafting stash players are usually garbage in 2K, so I might draft Daryl Allen. I might draft the 5'9 point guard. Let's go with consensus number two, Daryl. And that other guy didn't even go, he didn't go second. So that's, that's a good pick. Maybe I, I don't really even know at this point. Yeah. Look at G Vincenzo, whatever the hell he's a 79 did not offer Zion yet. We cannot lose Zion. I'm giving no trade clause. Nasir Cunningham is a 94. I want to look at the best players in the league. Cause I think we don't even have like most of the top 10, like how we used to. Yeah. Look at this. Nick Smith, DJ Wagner, Collier, Aiden even. Then we got most of the other 94s and we don't have Jalen Green. We don't have Lonzo. We don't have Jabari. We don't have Kyrie. So there's a lot of guys just out there crazy is that felt like an auto generated draft class and it wasn't even one yet victor Wembanyama, most viable player again victor Wembanyama, dpoi just send me like the playoffs hopefully honestly maybe one day we will get a closer game but at this point oh my god oh my god the thunder have been swept swept by Kyrie Irving Jalen Brown Cameron Whitmore Basala Bagayeko Ch Chet Holmgren Mikey Williams Trey Lyles Jalen Brunson J swept the streak is over this is like when Team USA lost in the, the like the whole doc they just made this is that year we we actually we lost and it is time to look back on our history of rings prior to this because th this now is going to be over i will count them up at the end but we won if i just counted correctly we won 43 straight championships 43 from the michael jordan era the first one coming with jordan we've had finals MVPs ranging from jordan olajuwon patrick ewing scotty pippen penny hardaway allen iverson kevin garnett those two my god they won finals MVPs a lot for a while uh, lebron james kg again kevin durant lebron james again steph curry anthony davis luka Doncic, and now victor Wembanyama. we have went through every era of pivotal nba basketball in the past four years won every single ring and this is the team we lo lost to and trust me i am about to go dissect our stats with a fine pick tooth comb whatever the hell the saying is and we are trading whoever it is that sold us i knew there was reason to get worried john morant you will be you're 29 too you will be gone Zion's still holding it down. He is old though. Scoot Henderson, you might have to be gone too. You're 25, but you you shot 41% in this series. Trey Young. Hey, we got players to replace you. We got all these 90s sitting in the reserves, ready to get in the thing, bro. I this is insane. A 4-0 sweep. Scoot Henderson shot three for eleven with six turnovers in game four. In game one, you know how they say like the larger they come, the harder they fall type stuff. That was us this year. We hey, we thought we were them and we were not. We we were not. Nasir Cunningham, two for eleven in the second game the third game Ja Morant five for 14 so yep all of those three guys I did see Nasir also shot bad those guys had their bad games for sure holy hell and then on the other hand the Spurs are just insane Whitmore Mikey Williams Bagayeko they have tanked better than us we should have been gave up some players I guess actually matter of fact who underperformed as well forget even if who doesn't have the dog in him Victor obviously does, even though he played bad, like shooting less than 50% type of bad. It's not, not, not terrible, but bad. Bronny James in the rotation. He didn't, he didn't really do much. Let's see. Field goals attempted. Evan Mobley really didn't. He, he yeah, he really didn't do much. Just, let's just go back to all reliable estimated wins added. We can even look at the playoff one. Metrically, the, any, any negatives? No, but Mo, like, like I insinuated, Mobley, Trey Young, and Scoot Henderson at the bottom of the estimated wins added for the playoffs. And for the regular season, Mobley at the bottom. Oh my God, Trey Young and Bronny James and Ja Morant, Scoot Henderson. We will be looking at these stats for sure when the playoffs come around. Mikey Williams is a champion. The first team, the first player, of course, this is like a full circle moment. I've never done anything this insane. My computer is tweaking right now. I see the little, you know, even my computer's trying to go down. Oh man, that's tough. I still got storage on here, bro. I, I'm like running on like less than a hundred. Not, not, I'm look, all right, I, I'm just talking too much now. Um, Mickey Williams, first, full circle moment. The dude who I did a whole career simulation on my first like month of people watching my channel on 2K20 because he was so good on 2K20, comes back and defeats my undefeated team. 2K23 doesn't even really, it doesn't even look like Mikey Williams.
He just got the hair. On that note, uh, nobody, I don't think any of our dogs were tired. See you, Gordon Hayward. Draft lottery. Is there any players to look forward toward to this year? We got the second pick. Oh, man. What what a way to fall to Mikey Williams. De DeVore, who are these people? These aren't even good players. Oh, man. We should have we should have went all in a few years ago. I download, This is another downloaded draft class. I'm going to see what great players I could trade for. Because obviously, well, first and foremost, it's school. We're going we gonna to check what your value looking like. Honestly, with all, with all realisticness, with, you know, just real reality check we might have to just run it back is there any way mikey williams is <laughs> is mikey williams not untouchable wait where where is mikey there he is are they about to offer me mikey oh my we might have to do it hey bro that's the finals mvp hey we have no shame we know how to win we know how to win around here we do what has to be done oh trey young's 30 oh do that do that oh my god do that trade for mikey and we are breaking up this roster hey trey young it has been real buddy mikey williams 25 year old self is now a member of the thunder you can't beat us no more trey you could try it hey you didn't it didn't work here. John Morant, you are about to be 30. Luca already is 30. On Holland, Paolo as well. That, that might be worth it. We weren't seeing Mikey Williams in the trade finder. I had to go and individually look look for him. So let's see who else I can get. Nick Smith was not untouchable last year. I would assume he is this year, though. Okay, he's untouchable. Yeah. Okay, Dariq Whitehead is not untouchable. Try and trade John Morant for him. Cool. They, they, they're, they're okay. They, they, you know, they, as far as they're concerned, they don't want this trade right now. But what if I add in two picks? It weakens them too much. I add in another pick and add in the 11th pick. I don't care. Really, they still don't want this. Said it weakens them at the two too much. We don't really have a two to give them, actually. We just have Luca. To be fair, I really do not care. Let's make sure we're getting the best player available. Matter of fact, I should go, I should go get Cameron Whitmore. D'Angelo led the league in scoring. I wanted that man years ago. He's also 33 now, though. Okay, Dariq was six in the league in scoring. So yeah, he's got that dog in. Let's go and try to get him again. Are right, you not getting Luca? I mean, technically you could get Luca, but I I just rather not trade Luca yet. It's the it's the LeBron thing, you know? Daryl Allen has some good value, but uh let's just all right, give up any Thunder picks. Get a a lot of thunder first and then give up the 11th pick I'll give you five first and John ja Morant you got to take this right five first five of them come on dog they take Mobley for him that's a, that's a good that's a good question would they would Mobley be valued anymore they're saying Dariq's a valuable asset all right we'll take the 22 this is crazy they really just don't rock with us what's crazy we might have our most 90s ever like they're just barely 90 players and we still sold this team really lost to Mikey Williams next year I might run a 12-man rotation as well because there's no way I'm letting some random player players just sell every single game anymore one more pick with evan all right well Dariq's not getting traded for because i'm just trying to trade the best players possible except for luca you want to just take the spurs entire roster see what they want for cameron whitmore i will give you mobley for him straight up evan mobley for cameron whitmore is done evan mobley was like 30 cameron whitmore is yes i should have tried ja um whatever Who cares we're stealing the spurs roster they beat us well guess what now we know how to win we take your team because a sweep is crazy dog uh is koa pete untouchable oh he, he's just he's a free agent i have to wait a little bit and then trade uh trade some other stuff i drafted Bronny over xavier booker years ago and now they're trying to make me trade victor for xavier booker i will trade ja but uh take it or leave it that's it screw you jason tatum oh my we could have used you this this series and i gave them trey young and mobley imagine we lose them again because of that i should have dispersed those players to other teams i should have done some three team trade garbage i saw one player i definitely want and that's anthony edwards but he's low-key only have two years left if you don't take this trade i'll offer a second if they if they don't take this it's not destined to happen actually i'll offer this 30th pick as well okay cool we're gonna keep job ja morant for another year i am drafting i uh, i don't know should i draft any of these trash players yeah no i'm trading the pick actually no i'll, I'll take one of the uh, overseas dudes chip dunn goes first no clue who the hell what overall was he 76 yeah this draft is garbage this overseas dude says he could be an all nba player oh, screw it we'll, we'll take him he's a 77 through all these players i really i still can't believe it the crazy part is none of the games were even very close are any of these players good oh kobe davis you a b and you're first rated hopefully you'll be all right mr 22 year old all right for that we're gonna have to start man and hey, maybe we should ditch the triangle also holy hell actually we must have done that years ago oh, oh my even our new coaches on that this is disgusting yo this is insane go to balance we we hired a new coach that still uses the triangle bro I, I i swear to god the triangle isn't even a thing like anymore in the game even nick smith jr most hey if we don't win i i don't give up obviously but that's what it is smith should have drafted you probably i mean you would have just been another mid play on our team not mid but like you know saying dang all every single first teamer is not on our team we could have drafted every single one of them of course first round we win second round we're playing the spurs and we get our revenge third round we're playing the clippers and we do it we're finally back DJ Wagner's the finals MVP win the finals again. Holy, I can't believe we lost. I really can't believe we lost. It actually pissed. We gotta. 
Can we get a streak? We could actually get a streak longer than the one we already had, I believe. Yeah, we definitely can. AD retires. He had 12 rings. He was a great, great center for us. Any funny uh, rules? No, it doesn't look like it. Draft lottery. I don't know. I'll draft that top dude if need be, but that, that's about it. We got the 13th pick. I'll definitely take Kobe Davis. I don't know who else could be ranked number one. Oh, hell no. Not you and not you. You guys are both starters. This guy is supposed to be an all-star, I guess. That's not even that good. I don't even know if I really want him, though. I genuinely think the auto-generated draft class is going to be better than these garbage ones. Look at this. Every This is every player under 21 years old. The best one is the one that's on our team. The, the first pick from 2028. I think we're in 30. Here's some guy we passed up on, Harwell. And we got, and we got Washington over him, I think. Or no, that's a different year, but whatever. All the new young players suck. So we got to get a chokehold on the league on anybody that's... We got. We should have got Cho Koa Pete because Koa Pete's probably... Okay, we just can't trade for him right now. But the dream pick right now, a player to trade for, would be Baga Yeko, the third pick in 25. I think we picked Cameron Boozer over him. No, wrong year. Tell me pick Bronny over him. No, that's, that's the wrong year. No. I'm, I'm going to force us to get Xavier Booker from uh, from the Thunder. He is not untouchable. I will get him one way or the other. We're ever trading for players that are actually better than ours. Jeffrey Tate, dog. Do you have any value? Two star, take him. That is the first pick from last year. That is so disgusting. This is bad. We can't even get him. Do I have to trade Luka for him? I'll offer it. Screw it. I'll offer it. Luka, oh, Luka has a no trade. Zion does too, but Xavier is so much younger that I'll offer it. Okay. Yeah, it's Ja or nothing, and I think it's going to be nothing. Yep, Xavier Booker is staying. Oh, okay. Here's a good one. Ja Morant for Ron Holland. Who has uh, five years on him. We're going to do this. Ja, it's been real. It really has been fun. I wanted to win every ring, man. I'm just trading out of this draft entirely. Everybody here is garbage. Let's keep it pushing. Also, I think I even need a roster spot to sign the other. Actually, I traded him. Or no, I didn't trade him. I'm going to see if Jeffrey Tate gets any better after the draft. He is garbage. The number one overall pick. Yeah, all right. Jeffrey. And we got to re-sign Victor, Chet, and... Uh, not Chet. Whatever. We have four unrestricted free agents. All right, bet. All for Victor and Scoot first. Scoot... Victor is leaving? No, bro. No. No, we just, oh my God. Why do they do this to us every single time? We're going to loot. We're going to, this is it. This is the end of the dynasty. This is it. Say goodbye. But go ahead and offer Cameron Whitmore before Cade. Why not? It doesn't really matter. Victor Wembanyama is gone. We lost Victor. Everything I worked for. Oh my God. I was, I literally just wanted to see him play his career here. That is it. And now we're going to have to defeat Victor every year. Cade, whatever money he wants. I don't care. He'll, we'll trade him if we need to. And Cameron Boozer. Can't, now Cameron Boozer is trying to leave. That's our only other center we need it's safe to say we have our roster spot for that one garbage bum from last year's draft what the hell can we get some more of those random uh, uh like juniors can we get a magic johnson jr now we're struggling for players what team did victor go to so i can remember because jesus christ the pacers with kuminga probably won't even be good luca's getting worse scoot's getting worse can't they're just plateauing or whatever uh jeffrey and and this dude daryl allen just didn't get better you were picked number one two years he just didn't get better oh my god we back to back number one garbage picks or whatever top garbage picks please don't tell me there's a 21 31 draft there is and at the very least i see an all nba player and he's 18 i'm gonna draft that guy he's 18 dog he'll actually progress holy hell I'll trade our bums for him where is michael jordan man i miss him where is lebron oh my god luca you suck cameron boozer thank you for being good winning mvp that's one of the last players i had hoping wait jamie pierce coach of the year we lost nine games in the season will we lose in the playoffs so far we were winning we lost the game to the Timberwolves. Another win. The Clippers. I don't see the Pacers anywhere. Not even in the playoffs of the Pacers. Wiseman, you're a stupid dummy. Screw you. Scoot Henderson, finals MVP or whatever. The conference finals. And we didn't win another ring. We only lost one game. We need at least 10 rings before I'm happy again. Giannis retires. Jesus. It's been, oh my God. Joel retires. Giannis had, oh my, Kyrie retired with a ring and we never had him. He beat us. He beat us. Giannis, 12 rings. It'll never happen again. Never. I'm going to draft. I'm going to get up and draft the uh, the first overall dude. I saw the one guy, right? Ed Chase, Willis Reed. Okay. What about this guy? Edward Knox, Dave Cowens. Okay. Some good players here. I might, I might take two to be honest with you because we have two garbage rosters spots right now so we got to work up for those two this guy sucks and this guy sucks let's go ahead and snatch those two picks and take those two guys they, they might be the saviors of this franchise if they're anything good so scary trading for players that aren't named lebron james or junior can't trade oh i can't trade allen oh, i will decline your team option i do not care tate you suck i don't care Tate in three picks jesus christ how many picks do i need for the first pick? future one i'm not trying to trade all of our picks here and then not be able to get anything dang what the hell do they want god screw it take him in the 12th and 14th picks that should work okay we're we're going to work down from there. 15 as well. There you go. Jesus Christ.
guys. I'm about to sell my... I don't know if I could even get the other pick, honestly. I'm about to trade every pick I have. Rob Black, Jerry Lucas, All-NBA. He's also 20. Trevor Bush, Alex English. Will Childress, you suck. Probably draft a 20-year-old and and actually the, 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 the uh, this dude. What the hell? Wes Unsell Hall of Fame? Oh, man. This is tough. This is tough. Probably going to draft you, honestly. I wish I had more roster spots because, dang, Luca, it might be. I don't know if this is. Oh, man. When is it going to be the time for him to go? I don't think it could be yet, though. We're, I mean, we're, we're pretty good. I think we're pretty good, but Jesus Christ. Time for La LaMelo wasn't done nothing. Oh, my God. Cade, neither of you. Jesus. It's time for you guys to go, honestly. You guys are garbage. You guys don't even play. Cade hasn't played since, since what, 2020? It's 20, like 31. Let's get Cade and LaMelo out of here for the top picks. Let's get all of them, honestly. It's better than rooting for 89 overall that doesn't even play. You're going to need them soon when uh, all of our players inevitably fall off. Dang, they just took that straight up. That has never happened. Oh, man, I'm terrified now. I'm trying to finesse this pick without trading Cade. Uh, actually, let's take 7 and 25 and 30. I know I'm going to work out this offseason, but screw it. There you go. All right, cool. We got 1, 2, and 3. I had three guys I was pretty set on. All right, it's time. Uh, I, I think we traded all of our like picks and everything, right? It's time with the first pick. I will definitely be taking the Ed, Ed West Unselled comparison. Jesus Christ. What's his name, Ed? No, that's Ed Chase. Where's Wes Unsell that? Darrell Conley, first overall pick. Put the, you know what I'm saying, all the confidence in him. All right, now we need the youngest players because we're, you know what I'm saying, a team that is not going to use these guys for a minute. So Ed Chase is going to be our second overall pick. We get to his ceiling or whatever. Now this guy's too old. Actually, we're, we're going to go with, uh, I was about to go with Rob Black, but we're going to go with Trevor Bush. The dude was Alex English comparison and he's 18. He's younger. He's got Alex English as a comparison. Let's go with him. Rob Black goes next. I don't care. He's probably better as well. He's probably the best player. Yep. But these three, we need you guys to be good we genuinely need it Errol allen oh yeah i said i would decline his team option i'll just trade him or something but yeah even they know he's garbage bring back oh they're all okay no three of them unrestricted what's what's bonquetto's uh okay offers good i'm a player option if he leaves honestly i don't even he's going to the sixes of course he is washington okay chill out and accept this offer you wait you had one too oh no no, no. oh i didn't need to offer him oh my god that's okay that's okay we get mikey and then ron holland really lost paulo just don't lose ron holland now okay cool he has no offers give him his money Perfect. we got all three of them see apollo should have traded apollo for shoot something else too luca you will probably be getting traded next year since you're regressing look at this we got a bunch of 70s now chris washington need you to step it up buddy it is time for auto generated draft classes i don't know what to expect consensus number one guy or at least it looks like it no no comparison yet i guess we'll see at the end he's 18 that's good that's good and a lot of good players actually the draft class quality is on normal so now nasir cunningham is there but wait did we, we already had a year without victor what am i talking about zion's gonna have to go soon too already traded john the first time in a long time, I went to go and see if I could sign people to contract extensions, and everybody says they're ineligible, except for Bronny, who says test free agency. Him and Boozer wins another MVP, and we lost 12 games this season. That might be the most we've ever lost since the Jordan era. We are on to the conference finals, playing the Spurs, our arch and ne nemesis, or whatever whatever the hell is. Nemesis a way to put, like describe an entire team? Who knows? We're going to defeat the Wizards. We did not win it. We did not lose a game after me saying that was the most games we lost in the regular season in a long time. That hurt me. We also beat John Moran in the finals it's always a good thing to do just because uh, you know we know what happened you know it's crazy i forgot to start playing like a 12-man rotation but honestly we can't even really do it anymore because we have too many like mid players let's see how the draft lottery goes i don't know even know what type of picks we got all right we got five and ten that's cool we might just we might just go into a rebuild honestly like an actual <laughs> this is a hundred year rebuild with no rebuild jarell richards hall of fame this dude lenny wilkins all-star we're for sure drafting we might just go ahead and draft the hall of famer and call it keep it pushing honestly um this Seer Cunningham is a free agent, which is disgusting. Hopefully he doesn't leave. And sadly, so is Luca. Now we got to either re-sign or lose Luca. For some reason, Zion is pissed off, even though he just won finals MVP. Um, let's get this bum Daryl Allen out of here. Just trade him in the fifth pick. Oh my, and that, we might not even, we, well, we got to trade him. Yeah, no, Daryl Allen's expired again. Yeah, never mind. I forgot to, I, I should have traded him during the season. I actually looked at the trade offers and they were some straight garbage. I think the one I, that was intriguing was like an 82 overall 40 year old Devin Booker. Let's try and trade some of these later picks. If anybody else, we'd like to give up this season we can we can move on from Cade if there's a player intriguing enough but first let's just focus on getting this first pick just offer pick five and not 10 but pick 17 pick 30 two seconds and a future thunder first this should get it done really
actually. We have two first. Here you go. Yeah, that, there goes number one overall pick. We're going to get the Hall of Famer. Penny Hardaway Jr. That does not look like Penny. Penny was one of our, you know, greatest players. I'm trying to see if there's any similar features. This, this is not Penny. Doesn't play above the rim. Wait, he's seven foot. Wait, he's a seven foot small forward. Well, we might got to get Penny Jr. Let's take over the future of the league. All right, so I already have pick one. I'm going to draft Penny. There was another dude I wanted to draft. But let's trade up for pick two and three. And I'm going to trade. I'll let Allen walk. I'm going to trade probably Zion and Cade. I'm cutting it close, but screw it. We'll be all right. Ed Cunningham and an OKC pick for Bones Highland. We are lacking on first these days. Shaq era. We had. I miss Shaq, man. Oh my God. I need to find the next Shaq. I'm going to just take the original trade. I was trying to finesse and take some picks from them. But I give up another first one. Dang, Kate is 30. Hey, get him going. He didn't even, he never even played. Ion is 32. Let's just, before I trade Zion, let's look. Yeah, get Bones in there too. Let's just look at offers for him. It just, it just, this dude, Elliot, I actually was looking at trading for it. I might trade for him. It's scary to trade Zion too, because this might be the most dominant player in 2K. Let me make sure nobody's on the nets before I was ever to do this. Oh, they got eight and two. And I swear, oh no, that's Amen Tom. Amen thompson whatever the hell Knicks suck again they're back to the, being the third pick in the draft and i'm about to steal it i'm gonna try to at least that's really crazy it looks like this bush dude he fell off look at this his potential is now a b minus which is like an 81 maybe i think we gotta we should actually just trade bush instead of zion oh crazy right go ahead and go to the knicks and try and trade them this bum he's got he's got decent potential but i'd rather penny hardaway jr he's way cooler asking for toronto's pick that's number 10 we got him in number 12 there you go all right cool i don't know he might still be good we'll see but i made things much easier we're gonna go to the draft pick the top three dudes that i was looking at thunder first overall meet uh, undoubtedly number one jarrell richards to that i think this is the guy i was looking at ralph uh was it him or it definitely wasn't lou i rather the youngest players available so give me ed she let penny hardaway jr go over ed and then give me big ed i was on the last name but yeah we gonna and then uh simulate or my bad trade oh yeah trade the 10th pick yeah we don't need that there were some future ones that works for me I, I don't even be looking at what teams i trade with we need some picks for the love of god what's crazy is we would have picks but we keep on losing our players they just leave us that's where our picks go we're supposed to be able to trade you guys eventually when you get old like chris paul you know that was a great asset jason tatum and all these bones want to leave us and i feel like i was about to say i feel like we're gonna lose someone this year it might be nasir nasir he got eight offers does he like any of them he likes the bulls and uh, we're gonna give him the uh oh we we don't have a we can't give a no trade clause we're definitely we're gonna lose him we're gonna lose nasir cunningham oh he's coming back he's loyal let's do it luca too luca's got a cool offer let's give him a five year give him five year for 60 mil honestly contract should have been reached like 60 mil we're in 2030 a player option too trust me you will not be here and um screw daryl Allen. all right cool we got both of them offer daryl and give him some garbage trade him for just absolute buns Ben is the worst number one pick ever except for anthony bennett actually bennett didn't get bennett's not even in the league so he actually he actually might be the worst number one overall pick ever especially considering that i've made almost every single pick luca's just getting older and older so is zion they gotta get traded next year hopefully there's something worthwhile i just realized we still have bones highland too gotta trade him as long as as well as yeah 17 players trade him and daryl look at michael porter jr old self any hardaway jr better be good cameron boozer most viable player darren mccormick who the hell what oh oh i'm on rookie of the year oh my god i look down and i look up and i thought i thought a 79 overall just won holy hell chet dpoi yeah, i don't care we won 74 games again and we're gonna simulate the playoffs we lost in the first round of game and we're gonna win that round and we're gonna that round cool 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 play the hornets and we lost the first game but win the series another ring cameron thank you to cameron boozer for being goaded i hope some of our rookies start materializing into something decent soon because it's getting nasty out there um implement a possession arrow rule to be Use in place of jump balls after the opening tip. I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna start leaving rule changes on for the hell of it in videos. It's pretty funny. Under via Toronto, we have the best odds in the draft. I think I traded for that pick just blindly. It was the only pick that we had from that year, except for the ones that I like randomly traded for. And Doug Sanchez B plus Hall of Fame. We fell the two, but I will get. I will sell my soul for one. He might be the only. Oh wait, no. We have. We have to trade Luca and Zion. I, I mean, we can keep Zion for another year to be honest. Luca's gotta go though. Oh, Zion actually expired. Oh, Zion had a no trade clause anyways you know Luka Doncic is about to get traded for this first overall pick and then I'll figure out what it I'll look at his trade offers real quick see if there's anything better well I saw Thompson oh he's 30 gosh Giddy's 30 Jesus Christ Chris stops is old as hell we traded him a minute ago Dyson and Daniel Bryce James do we get Bronny and Bryce together for no reason uh Bronny Bryce and Mello was good how you doing over there Justin Edwards 
He was picked 20th, done videos and stuff. He He's always compared to Michael Jordan in the draft class. He could give us like six more years than Luca, but he's still 28. And usually our rule of thumb is much. Cade Cunningham. All right, let me look at the draft real quick and see if there's any other sleepers in here. The consensus number two overall pick is looking like this guy, but there's also this guy, all NBA. Okay, but we need young players though. Doug, you, you will be a Hall of Famer more than likely. You're already a B plus, so you can get away with being old. Oh, uh, we might just just YOLO draft another player, I guess. But I think I'm going to keep Zion instead and just trade Luka. But then we already have the two picks. So it's like, uh, screw uh, Bryce James, by the way. Who cares? That says Walt Frazier. That's funny. Walt Frazier with an S. I'm going to try and trade this. Uh, uh, actually, let's go and see what we need to do for the first pick. Let's get the first pick out the way. We need that Hall of Famer. Cameron Whitmore, Mikey Williams, Ron Holland, Chris Washington, or the... Uh, how about I'll just give you the second pick for the first pick? There you go. Okay, fine. I'll throw in this pick and this one. Honestly, you could have, you could have two and eight really oh my they know the value they see they see him they see him i have never seen a team decline two and eight one that's a crazy deal but they they took it eventually all right now we're gonna trade luca for some random stuff because yeah it, it's like the chris paul type of year you know luca's been kind of mid but kind of good i want to say i'm just trying to get picks out of him this will be our player to finally trade for picks thankfully he never left us all right so let's get dyson daniels in this first so see a luca it's been real it's been fun it's been real fun it's zachary ristic in a first i don't know why i'm telling i've never you know commentated me just going down in the, from the top to the bottom of players so screw this let me shut the hell up we trade that guy to the magic and there we are we've got it we've got to go draft the first overall dude wait but i i did trade luca though right so yeah never mind we have 14 players so i gotta i gotta use this go and draft the first overall player doug sanchez seven foot two height might be the next transcendent nba player and sebastian clark goes number two hassan burke all these guys have been seven foot so far the top three picks all of them uh hassan buster who's compared to bill cartwright so i'm not i'm I'm not scared about that after this year we need to see if uh, any of our players actually develop because if not they will get traded sooner than later jesus christ you were a 69 overall all right we might have been all right in this draft like what overall was doug 86 out the draft jesus christ and boozer declines his player option if we lose cameron boozer after losing everybody else i will cry there goes victor again wanting 60 million dollars what's crazy is we're just about in the same amount of cap depth a depth depth debt yeah, no, it's just debt. There's no B. I'm over here overthinking it. Dang, why everybody offering Bronny? Oh, they all suck. And nobody's offering Cameron Booz or anything uh, good. So that's that's good for us. They're they're instead they're offering Baga Yoko. But I was gonna say um we've been in the same amount of debt for like. 20 years now which doesn't make sense because we keep on losing everybody uh, but boozer doesn't even have a contract do i keep on calling him booker i mean boozer i also have no clue if this is uh what's his name son or anything um carlos's son no clue doesn't matter to me ronnie you could have that much money i really don't care zion you too zion you're gonna be getting tr get traded soon i kind of like the team right now though excited for that 86 overall guy Let's see how these next you know 20 years of his dominance goes we've got no players over 30 except for zion and look at our young players real quick okay Conley got a lot better ed a little bit of improvement jarrell richards and this dude sanchez just surpassed all of them in his first year we needed a player like that though uh penny hardaway you still kind of suck but we'll give you some years to develop i mean you might get traded next year i'll be honest but we'll, you know, we'll see what happens auto generated again are we gonna have another hall of famer let's see will zion be getting traded for a hall of famer it doesn't look like it guy is the consensus number one though and he's a five foot ten 19 year old i'm excited to draft a five foot ten player and he's 19 so he might actually be good isaiah collier most valuable player Let's get the hell on with it. Oh man, first round we lost the game. Second round we didn't lose no game. Third round where we are in the did they get rid of the finals MVP? Wait, maybe I just clicked it too fast. I don't know. Oh, there it. Oh, there it is. Let's get both rounds and end. That's why. And we are going to lose just one game the entire run. And Bronny James final. Is he the starter? He took Lucas spot as a starter. Dang, Bronny. Okay. Chris Washington at the four. I never checked the lineups really much anymore. And Zion's not even starting anymore. That is, yeah, yeah. He's got to get traded for sure. Chris stops retires. Frank Nielakina retires. Did we? We got him a ring. Wait, was that the? We, that could have been the year we lost. Well, he's definitely not. An, he's not a no, uh, Hall of Famer. So let me, let me check his thing oh thank god he wait he was there for three years what i do not remember having i thought i got frank and then traded him but christos makes the hall of fame that's one of our dogs right there and he had 11 rings bill russell league meetings uh conference based playoffs with two extra teams in single what wait what are they just trying to say play in game i think they just added the playing game back in i i don't know we have the 13th odds anyway it jumps up hell no no way in hell are any great players in this draft let's see this five nine guy or whatever the hell is still for sure the number one prospect by far so i'm gonna sadly i have to trade zion for him i mean he's he's a c plus see if there's any good young players around the league doug is the best player under the age of 22 and trevor bush is good that's tough
that is tough. Oh, he's actually, he's an 82. That's not that great, but yeah. That's what's going to happen in the league, though. The players are going to start getting worse and worse. That's the issue. Rob Black, I passed up on him in the draft, and he's an 87. Let's see if we can trade Zion for Rob. Oh, he, he's a free agent. Dang, I can't do it. Sanchez is definitely the one, though, because he's one overall lower than a dude who was drafted like three years before him. Best player under the age of 26 is only an 89. That is crazy. Koa P. I should have went and got Koa, cause, but it doesn't really matter because he's past his, he's about to be past his prime anyway, so he's on the same pace as Cam Boozer. Yeah, this is the last elite draft class right here was Cam Boozer. Thankfully, I got one of them too, and he's been cooking. Could have used Koa though, and same with Basala. Basala Bagayoka was the year before, and he's goaded. Elohim did just win a ring. He's 28 though, so I, I think I'm going to pass. I'm going to trade Zion for him. I'll do it. All right, let's go ahead and get that first pick. Zion, it's been real, buddy. I'm pretty sure Carter Knox is Kevin Knox's uh, brother. Pretty funny, but uh, yeah, let, let's... Uh, Let's not get Carter Knox up. Can we just do this right here? All right, I'll throw you in this 19th pick call today, okay? You know, I'll throw in the 13th pick instead. Take this, okay? Uh, you could have the 29th. We can't give you too much. All right, bet we'll work from the top. There you go. There you go. First pick in the draft. Don't even know if the guy's going to be good. There's a lot of very confusing players in here. This guy is Hall of Fame, but he's a 29th ranked. He's 21. We could literally see he's a 77. We scouted him. There's a lot of all NBA guys. I think the number one dude is still the best, but there's also another guy who says Bob Cousy, but I'm calling BS because, oh yeah, and by the way, Bob Cooley doesn't sound like a compliment, but it says Hall of Fame, but he's 23, so he's probably gonna hit his peak soon. We're, we're gonna take the number one overall dude. I'm terrified, honestly, cause, especially because we just traded Zion, but sh screw it, screw it. We're gonna take number one overall. Look at the Mogs draft is saying, who the hell is Edgar? Oh, he's Vinny Johnson. We'll be, we'll be Johnny Ball. That's that's the number one overall. That's him. And Dion Winston, all-star. Dang. We'll take the consensus number one, Donnie Ball, I think his name was, in the draft. Let's see what the hell the overalls look like. He's a 76. I, this dude we scouted, I saw he was an 80, but his potential like or whatever the hell that was a b plus that is actually decent How, how's donnie balls hey okay donnie please hit that come on dog any hardaway jr welcome back to the team again we have no no normal free agents very odd feeling we, we could sign cam reddish uh i don't even know if we we could use him screw it i'll take the picks if not i think we're out of roster spots i'm just dumb we are in the weakest era of nba basketball ever we do still have most of the best players thank you to not see for re-signing over and over again what are you gonna be free agents after this year school oh school you might Gets, you might get packed up, I'm not gonna lie. Cameron Whitmore, too. They're both gonna leave. What can we get for Scoot? What's that rotation looking like? And no, I'm not gonna trade you those two. I can't find any good trades. Doug Sanchez is in there in his second season. Victor, oh my, I forgot about you. I genuinely forgot about you. I hate you. I hate you. I do all this work for these players and they leave. It's crazy, we lost three games in the first week of the season. We haven't lost since. Or there go one. There goes another one. Lori Badunga, most viable player. Hey, none of y'all are like that. There goes the playing game. It's back 20 years later. Back in the finals Bronny is the finals mvp again i guess that was a good pick because i mean well actually we got ron holland too anyways cameron boozer finals mvp we lost one game the whole run carl towns screw you ben actually I, I, don't, I didn't trade ben right ben left me yeah ben left jason tatum also left screw you too oh my god we got screwed over so bad this era i traded Jokic. i traded jalen brown too i think ben simmons carl towns and nikola Jokic. Jokic won four rings on our bench towns won eight ben won eight eliminate what eliminate financial restrictions when trading Wait, they're approving. I said I would approve every rule. Reinstate the go. They said, yo, Victor out there cooking. Wait, we need to, you need to. Wait, but they're getting rid of financial restrictions with trading. Maybe that's the future. Hey, we're in the future. I I'll take it because that makes it a lot easier for me. I'm always here, always over here trying to trade players for trade players for trade players. And now we can just do that. Okay, cool. Wow. Craft lottery. Um, Hey, I'm grimy. I'll take it. Um, We don't have any picks. Nick took Brooklyn's pick and they got the top pick. Any legends in this draft class? I didn't even check it. Jared Sims. Oh, he's a B. He's going all nba he's 19 this guy's also all nba he's young as hell this guy's also all nba i don't mind he's not that young i'll go with the first overall pick dude any like sleepers in here let's see they all, all like the top picks all say all nba jesus christ this is a classic draft it's a clear number one and a clear number two it looks like eric sims is a six seven point guard as well that's a great player to replace hell we got a lot of players to replace soon go talk to new york they think they about to get Bronny, and they would be mistaken uh penny hardaway we can't trade you donnie ball we just picked you last year okay well that's that's because they they're the only players that aren't expired. Jesus. I'm going to try and finesse this pick. I'm not going to go for two picks. I'm going to just try and finesse this pick. Give them all of our Thunder picks. This is Donnie Ball's value looking like. Three and a half stars. Not bad. Put a Lakers pick next year. How, will this work? Nope. Oh my God. I, I just rearranged. I was giving up six first one way or the other, but I rearranged them and they took it. All right. Finally. Take that consensus number one overall. Oh yeah. We needed this guy for sure. I was about to say we might, might just skip the draft, but no. Yeah. This guy looks like he's going to be really good. First overall pick in the draft. You know what? Let's just hope that Cameron Whitmore just ditches us or something so I can 
don't have to trade anybody. Let's do... wait. Dang, what's going on with the other guys? A 79, 79. I'm not picking any of you. I'm picking this dude. Sims entering the entering the team. Let's go. 81 overall out the draft. Chris Washington declines his player options. We're about to lose him. Ed Chase, the Rowe Con. We got five free agents, I believe. Okay, cool. Nobody got any good deals. That's perfect. Good for us. And we could offer him all the money we want because like now there's no restrictions on trading. But we got our big three back and then go get the two rooks and we're done. Sanchez is a 91 overall. That is our prodigy right there. 22 year old. Uh, he's probably going to be he's going to be a very, very pivotal player soon. Actually, Boozer is still only 90, uh, 28. So got a lot of 30 year olds out here and they're still all some of the best players in the league. I'm gonna start keeping players to their, their retirement at this point. Hey, we got 16 players on the roster, so I gotta get rid of somebody. It might be Penny Jr. How much better did the ball get this year? The other rook last pick, last year's first pick. Dang, him and Penny. Penny's much older, so I'm gonna trade Penny Jr. Sorry, Penny Jr. You should have just been better. Me a Timberwolves pick and advance to the next season. Can we win another ring? We got another new coach. I think we have all centers. Yeah, we got Bronny playing the two right now. We literally just have a bunch of big men. Simulate this season. They got two B-rated players in this draft. Another C plus 18 year old. This might be the year to, to give it all up for the draft. I'm not gonna lie. Also, Nasir Cunningham is a free agent this year, which is terrifying. Basala should have had Basala. Third pick in 25. I wish we had Basala. Koa Pete was 26. And we, dang, we only lost three games this season. You know what? Everybody's retiring. Maybe that's why. All the good players that we already traded. And we're gonna win again, win again. And Nasir Cunningham, thank you very much. And oh, wow. Close finals, but we win. Four to two. Shea and all these bums retired. Trey, shout to you. You, you stood around, Trey. You did your job. You actually got traded as a casualty because I, you were the easiest trade to make and you were old. You won 10 rings. League meetings. Oh, man. Sudden death. What? Oh, my God. That's awful. That is bad. Put the sudden death rule on. Let it rock. I don't care. <laughs> as we lose a championship because of sudden death. Thunder, can we move up? No, we do not. All right. We, we really got to buy into this lottery now. Bernard Wolf, Linwood, Randall. Okay. Phil. Oh, he's kind of mid. Phil Chenier is a mid comparison, but these are all mid comparisons, but they're good players. I can't tell if this is the year or not. Yeah, with how garbage these players are looking, I, these next couple years might be a legitimate rebuild. Might gotta wait until we see another victor or something. Devin Booker Jr. There's not one Hall of Fame, anything comparison in this draft. Man, get me out of this. I'm not gonna lie, get me out of this draft. Get me out of this draft. I will, I will start losing championships. I am not drafting these mid players. I'm gonna need a GOAT or nothing. We will we will watch Scoot Henderson retire or something. What players is that we need to trade? Um, Really, Scoot? This dude, Darrell Conley, drafted him first a couple years ago. I don't even know if he's really, he's never even played and he's already 27. He's good, but like, Jesus Christ. This is going to be the, the era of old people, honestly, until we find the next goal. There's no way Baga Yeko is, uh, is, is an untouchable, right? The best relatively young player in the entire league is Sanchez. Every other player is over the age of like 27. All right, what, what can we get for Rob Black? Scoot, we, we could do that. That wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. Might take Scoot to like year 20 to be as bad as this dude though so i'm gonna try and do something else i'm gonna I'm gonna try and trade picks for this guy. But no, I'm just gonna give I'm just gonna give all of our picks away and go into the next season. Cause yeah, these all these players are, are horrible. Let's take some who who's pick, who had the best pick this year. Let's start strategizing. The Jazz. Oh, perfect. I, I just saw their picks on the block. Here you go. Utah, thank you very much. We'll move into the next year's trade or whatever the hell. And with this one, I really don't care. Just give me anything. You oh Utah again. Perfect. 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 All right. Simulate past this draft. We don't care about none of these bums. Linwood Randall went number one. Oh, there's some good overall players, but like I looked at this dude. Dude, and I think his comparison was garbage. And they want us to get rid of Donnie Ball, the young man Donnie Ball. We should have just picked someone trash. I re signed Nasir Cunningham. Does he have any good offers? Yes, he does. A lot of them. I will, at this point, with how garbage the league is, Nasir being Nasir, I will give him a player option and a no trade clause. Nasir Cunningham, if you leave, it's your fault, not mine. Mikey Williams, yeah, you're 32. You could you could have the, yeah, let's see. But yeah, no, he's got no good offers. Just give him whatever. Same goes for Ron Holland. Nasir Cunningham does re sign. We gave him the deal of all hell. I'd hope so. Do rock with Nasir. You know, another trans, translucent, transcendent, trans whatever the hell. Dude is getting worse, but he's still better than everybody else. Um, Sanchez might have peaked. I don't know. Oh, brother. Give me a good rookie again. Okay. Uh, number one overall. Default. Number one. He's a B overall. That's that's good. This guy also was a B. We'll simulate the season. You know, we're, we're good for this year. We also got some good, like Jarrell Richards, 23 years old, 90 overall. That's perfect. He can carry us into the future, hopefully, one day when we need him. We need what we need, what the league needs is an elite junior. We need another junior, not a Penny Hardaway junior. We need a real, another Magic Johnson junior. That man was goaded. And Boozer MVP, Cole Pete averaged 24, Will Walton. And we want, we only lost three games again. Oh my, it happened again. 
it happened again it happened again we got swept by the kings every game was by more than 10 points this game was 10 points but every other game was more than who was on the kings it's k do and elohim and oh my god mj rice oh i thought this was what's his name the dude that retired that won all the mvps he said a, late, a long name we got cooked by kadu and elohim who sold in this i just saw two people selling let's see who sold the whole series that is another year we lose we don't have to look at the streak it was probably like nine or ten or something you know something mid nba is a semi-finals oh it's broken again it says finals semi-finals whatever cam boozer was actually shooting pretty mid washington jr the 89 overall still oh he yeah he's gotta go like what are we gonna trade him for you know but i'll put him in the finder because he kind of peaked and he's he's 29 he's only 89 like Bronny's 32 he's a 94 might as well go and get one of the youngins in there over him in fact why isn't jarrell richard starting over him what the hell i don't even do these rotations but jarrell is a higher overall and the same position chris washington's out there selling us in the playoff look at that chris washington four for 12. nasir dropped two for 13 that's bad more one for seven and in this one sanchez one for seven that's that's doug oh that's big doug yeah we just had one player just sell every game and I guess our defense sucks too. I don't know, but the, the Kings should win a championship unless Bryce James defeats them. No, Elliot Cadu, another player to dethrone us, and we get swept again. That's the craziest part is it, we're getting swept. Okay, so Luca fell off bad at 38 years old, and he retires. John Moran also, I saw, he's going to make the Hall of Fame probably. There he is. They won 14 and 10 rings, respectively. Let's see also league meetings again. Why not? Okay, everything got rejected. Who cares? Uh, prospect scouting, Dylan Holton, number one overall. Ejected Hall of Fame. This dude is all NBA. At the very least, we got to get Dylan Holton. I'm liking this guy too. 20 years old, 81 overall already. Third ranked for some reason, but he's looking nice. He's looking good. Let's just get those two and keep it pushing. Oh yeah, well, we didn't even look at the lottery yet. Do we have good picks? Maybe, maybe, maybe. Yes, yes. Two and three. Let's do it. Move up to one and fall down to five. So let's go get one and two. We got to trade somebody though at this point. Oh yeah, let's get ball is ball is cooked and Ed is cooked. What we're going to probably do is actually start making lateral trades for other players that are good. Like Chris Washington, you're old now. You, you just sold us out. Let's get you. Oh, Rob black that's gonna be easy trade of that if we don't say anything else dang mobley still an 88 we traded mobley out of the sake of him selling too though these are two sellouts staring each other down yeah go ahead and do that rob black trade probably bring another decent player onto the roster younger than chris chris you're a sellout so you had to go oh we're just gonna trade you somehow we don't really care that'll flip free up a roster spot and then uh yeah ed, ed as well we're gonna get rid of ed as well it's 2036 and he's still in 83 he's been in the league since 2030 shoot something 32 oh my god yeah we, we don't need no og and nobody's on this team dog you gotta get better than that actually let's just offer him up for the second overall pick well actually we don't need five so offer five all right i got the trade done whatever i, I got one of their future picks as well and now we're gonna go to the draft uh let me make sure i know the two players i was looking at i think it was the third ranked and the second rank no it was it was big charles and big dylan no hall of famers hiding in here at least so far as i could see first overall pick we're for sure picking dylan second overall pick you can see our team already scouted these goats and when we scouted cedric we can see that cedric's a sellout so we don't need no cedric michael cooper no give me dave cowan that's a hall of famer right there mvp even he's not the fastest or the strongest or the best shooter his well-rounded game gets him a spot all right great sanchez are you you're you're restricted okay that's good give sanchez all the money you gotta be ready dog you gotta be ready for the prime time we're here in okc i've grown to like the okc you know what i'm saying we might have to go back to seattle honestly we didn't lose in seattle i'm down you know we about we about to go back to seattle with it more is getting worse and so he it, it, considering that he's showing me that he's actually getting worse while Bronny and scooter somehow getting better uh he'll probably be the next player to be traded hopefully i'm praying for a good draft draft class this year now here's the thing right i could up the draft class quality but a that'd be cheating and b oh yo, i said i would get rid of somebody who was it oh yeah donnie ball you suck yeah sorry buddy former number one overall pick donnie ball our, our new picks we just made are already better than him and they're in year one donnie ball first overall pick garbage zion williamson 71 mil at 74 overall is hilarious that is what it, that is isn't. i'm about to screenshot that that is terrible that is so bad oh my god i gave him that deal go ahead and trade with this this team they, i know it's top 10 protected but screw it it's two picks it's crazy the only reason i could trade for that is because they got rid of the the rule where you can't trade for good picks or good contracts or bad contracts i guess technically all right so now we're gonna have uh yeah richard starting he has never played a game before and he's got an 89 shot tendency former number one overall pick it's taken him a couple years 2032 to 2037 yeah jesus christ five years had him on the bench getting ready to play and he might be one of the better players of this next 10 years why are we back at the tr why do we keep hiring coaches that are doing the triangle we got a new coach this year again i think he's out here doing the trying honestly our team is good enough that we we should be running a uh 
let's see run a, run a third now 13 sold us once once upon a time so let's go let's go 12 12 sounds about nice Jesus, we lost our first game jesus we jesus jesus nope go back go back go back go back. abort 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 league is really good we can't be out here playing bums i guess Ooh, aka hot what, are we just bad we've lost six games already because nasir is shooting 43 percent what the hell is wrong with you but nasir has like the sixth highest estimated wins at it this dude in his first season is doing better than them the hell nasir Cameron Boozer, you're a goat still. We rock with you over here. Obviously, you've been here. Dang, we lost 14 games. There's a team, there's a team with only six more losses than us. Oh my god, we're cooked. We're cooked. We're cooked playing them right now. I don't even know who's on the team. Oh snap. I click round. I want to click by game. All right, we won regardless. We got DJ Wagner and Paolo over there. We're not worried about them. They got 70s in the starting lineup. And they want a game? Chill out. Play Cameron Boozer. Fonz AP. Brandon Ingram retired. Jalen Green's out of here. I ain't see dang you're on the Rockets. Just showing um what what was nearly accepted, rejected, whatever. Uh, this is like the Kobe rule for the All-Star game. This is another All-Star game one. This one, they nearly decreased the shot clock to 20 seconds. It barely got rejected. This one, I don't even know how this got rejected. It says allow seven day contracts, but it got rejected. Opposing teams will enter the bonus after 16 fouls have been committed in a single quarter. Also rejected. Why did the draft lottery just get skipped? I didn't even do it. Wait, did I do that? I don't even remember this draft. This draft kind of sucks. Yo, I am never drafting a 23 year old in the draft. What is this, Mikhail Bridges? Honestly, this this draft looked otherworldly mid. I'm about to skip this one too. We just gonna do, go down with the ship. Honestly, at this point, all right, I, I gotta show you guys some. I was interested, right? This guy is ranked 26, or my bad, 30th. And his potential is ceiling. Wes Hunt's unselled Hall of Fame. Right now, I got to show you something, right? This dude, you go to his vitals. You look at his thing. It says peak start, peak end. Good. Potential, potential. Max potential. 96 max, which means he could very well be Wes Unselled. But his average percent is 24. His bust percent is 64. And his boom percent is 2, which means he has a 2% chance of being a 96. That is, that is crazy. That is like the full use of 2K's draft system thing. So like with these auto-generated you really just never know you just never know. that's why you need a really good player and with that being said i am not drafting nobody screw this draft some future picks or something give me hell give me player give me give me like good young players at this point tyrese proctor you're old let me go find young players i could trade for because jesus christ solidified young players the draft uh the draft is dead you got sims already sims is real good sims we just drafted him recently anybody under the age of 25 is valuable to me we are in a dark period of basketball penny hey i'll go get penny hardaway back let's go get penny hardaway back Oh, we can't. Oh, oh, he's a free agent. That sucks. I, I would like to trade for Penny Hardaway. We traded Big Ed out of here and he sucks. You know what? You look at the best players under like 27 years old, 28 actually. This dude right here, uh, Byron, Brian Stevenson. When I click on him, it shows we could trade Cameron Whitmore for him. You remember Cameron Whitmore was getting worse last season. He averaged 20 for us this year. Actually, no, he only averaged eight. He played off the bench. This guy averaged 20 on 52%. We'll take him just because he's younger. Screw it. See ya, Cameron. And look, look at how many 30 years year olds there are when I scroll down like this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Keep on going. Look at this. This is insane. Who is this? Oh, we have him. That's crazy. And him. I'm going to try and trade Ron Holland for this, this dude who's a couple years, five years younger or whatever. Like what we have in this trade. That's what's up. I'm a, I could trade you a, a couple picks. Dang, we actually don't have many first we should have pick eight i'm gonna just hold on to the team trade away our eighth pick get the hell out of this garbage draft I thought it was dj augustine that's damien augustine i'm good you y'all got it uh why would i decline sims's option jesus i'd be a sin cameron boozer you're a free agent and you are what 31 you know you are an untouchable asset i will give you and Bronny a no trade clause honestly with how the league is looking right now we will have other people to trade if you guys leave we are cooked like if you okay thank you honey you too take this no trade clause i know this is bad considering that you know, okay cool they both came back both had 100 percent interest in those other deals so i just gave someone 400 mil who's turning about to turn 38 at the end of his contract He's gonna be making like a hundred mil per season, but a no trade clause. That is disgusting, but we had to do it. We had to do it. We had to lock him. He'll at least still be like an 86 and his name still says James on the back of his jersey. So screw it. But I regress right now too. Bronny regresses. Uh, Boozer. Boozer is gonna be good for a minute though. Bronny really got 400 mil. Oh my God. Bron LeBron would be proud. All right, we'll be, we'll be all right. We'll be all right. Or not, but like, screw it. I'm trying my best. Any great players this year, please show me the money. Is is Dick Pollard really the best? He's an, he's 18. I mean, he, he might be him. Koa Pete MVP should have definitely bought into the Koa Pete hype, but it really doesn't matter. At least I hope it doesn't matter this season. Weren't the Blazers like really highly seeded last year? Well, screw them, I guess. Second round, Blakers, get them the hell up and out of here. We always lose at this point, so hopefully we don't lose this year. I do want to say, obviously, I am finessing the system every single year. 
And oh, okay, hold on. Hopefully we win this real quick. Uh, sorry, Koa. Yeah, real quick. Sweep, sweep, please. Not sweep, but four one. I'll take it. Also, I think Koa is the best player. Oh, never mind. He's a ninety five now. They also have Kate over there in Boston. No, I'm finessing the system, but it is funny that all this stuff that I'm doing, winning like a million championships and losing two on some garbage, is actually completely logic, like legal. I've done it all within the bounds of the rules for the most part, except for like stipian rule and well now financial trade rules. Zion retires at a seventy two. His contract expired, so he knew it was time to. Go. Apollo retires at uh, wow yeah 36 oh but he's a he's an 84 though hopefully none of our guys retire I will be sad I'll let him retire if, if that happens Zion won 14 rings and we never got Edwards so he didn't win any league meetings tell me something funny uh violations will be called after three seconds it, it went back it went from five seconds to three again giraffe lottery uh I think we needed need the number one overall pick this year can we get it please and no not by that okay yeah this dude's probably goaded uh first of all I'll pick hall of fame okay so your first overall your hall of fame you got to be foolproof right Right. B minus and 18 years old. Yeah, I don't want nobody else. At least I don't think so. Yep, just give me the number one overall pick. Uh, who do we trade this year, though? Is it time for Scoot to go? It might be time for... I don't know. Might just got to keep Scoot until he falls off. Anybody down here, like, disappointing us? Not really, but... You know what? I, th I think we can get away with trading Scoot. Uh, obviously, we can't really trade Bronny anymore, but... Or actually, wait, no. Trade Mikey. Mikey's a 35 and a 91, and he comes off the bench. I know something's happening. When we get in that pick. So, they off, off rip. They ask for Scoot and two picks. Dang, for Derek Lively. Can we do it without Derek Lively? I get Mikey for the pick straight up. All right. They don't want that. If you pick 15 as well, they don't want that either. If you pick 28, they don't want that either. And a future Thunder first rounder that we probably have somewhere stored. There you go. Mikey Williams has been real. It's been fun. I also have the fourth pick. I'm going to just trade this out of the draft because we don't need multiple picks this year. Actually, is there any younger players once again that we can get? Because that we could probably get him with the fourth. Russ Wesley, 24 years old, 87. Second best player after Sims. Who we could get for Russ? Try this. Fourth pick. All right, great. He, he's, he's untouchable or something stupid. I'll give you three first for him. Plus the fourth pick i'll give you a four first for him Who's, wait how many players we got in this roster right now one two three we got 14 players so we're gonna need to get rid of someone regardless well, conley is 30 yeah conley you could just head out for him honestly there it is I traded conley and two future first we could just trade mikey back for the fourth pick that's pretty funny let's see what if we had the i would definitely do that if we had the roster spot all right i traded the fourth pick to the knicks for two of their future first because screw screw the pick and with the first pick in the nba draft we will draft the next transcendent nba superstar and his name is dick pollard 18 year old the future legend and lenny ross taught now the knicks do have back-to-back -back picks so they draft legends or something eh, there are ain't no dick though hey yo uh give me give me yep yeah, bring him over there and why we not offer him byron bring byron and jared sims back come on now now why did jared sims try to leave us please never leave us we, we gonna need you for a while because there's never gonna be anybody better than you in this league for a long time you are the next lebron kobe something shoot something i don't know Scoot is down to a 91 overall from 94 a few years ago. I'm trying to start Holton. Who the hell is is that the dude? When did we draft him first? I have no clue. But we starting him though? I don't know about starting him, dog. I'm gonna make Ron Holland a six foot ten two guard, which actually takes Holton out of the entire very, very far down. We have another new coach, and his name is literally Coach of the Year. So far, it looks like he's doing crack. Cameron Boozer, most valuable player. And Coach of the Year Winston wins Coach of the Year. We are bodying everybody. 4-0, and we're on to the Cavaliers. They won a game we win a game we win another game and we won the champion oh oh it's game seven who the hell is on this team i don't even i don't even know any of these names john bowl good players this year um damon blake oh bill russell okay like bill russell is different though like bill russell we're talking i know i know he might have some sort of high bust rating considering that he, he's you know, like ranked low in some of them but nah dog we're talking bill russell though right, well either way we can only draft one player so i'm gonna trade five and eight for one probably we have 15 players on the roster Rob Black about 29. We can get him out of here. Screw him. Go get Bill Russell. They could have pick 15 with him too. Oh, wow. They don't want that. Give him a Thunder pick. I bet those won't be good. I wonder why. Yeah. Oh, wow. They know Bill Russell is Bill Russell, maybe? There it is. Needed one more second round pick. Trade these picks. I, I Let me see who the first overall dude was because I don't know. He was like a mid. Actually, they don't even have a consensus first. Full Sloan starter. <laughs> the, the first overall dude is a starter. That is disgusting. No, I'm driving Bill Russell. I don't know. Uh, I've been seeing a lot of mid comparisons. All this mid stuff. Nah, dog. We talking Bill. 
Bill Russell. Matter of fact, on that note, let me go see if there's any uh, young players that I want for these picks. We got all the best ones. The whole top five is on our team under the age of 27. And the best players under 27 is only 390s, which is insane. There was another one. He's 28. Oh, I passed up on this dude some years ago, I believe. Yeah, I'm all right, honestly. We, we could just trade it for some future picks. You guys all suck anyway. NBA draft. Give me Bill Russell. Give me Big Bill. Pete Eden? <laughs> what is Pete Eden? What is Pete Eden? I mean, that's the real question here. What overall is he? 76? Hey, but you going to be Bill Russell. Don't worry. Nasir, hey, if you leave, screw you. That's it. You know, fire are all the fittest. Whatever. We, we lost two rings. Ooh, we lost. Oh, what are we going to do? Win again. Guess who else left us? This bum. And now now he even, look at this. Now he's even thinking about taking six million. We offer Nasir yet? No. Offer offer this man. Give, give. Hey, he, he's got to be a, a magic lifer. Jeez, we're the thunder. I'm, what am I talking about? Um, Suns gave him three years, 207. Screw it. You know what? Risk losing him. Don't give him a no trade clause. We're, I don't know, though, because who the hell are we going to ever trade him for? The league is getting ruined a lot from a player option Let, let's see what happens let's just let's just see let's just he's coming back let's go nice here love you buddy all right scoot henderson you have no good deals so you could just hey you could have five years but yeah you're cooked and edmund chase you, you or whatever ed chase why'd i add the mund all right we got all three of them back thankfully any other cool free you know what? yeah any other cool free agents out here uh, actually we don't have any we, that's that's what sucks we don't have any roster spots to sign cool free agents like no major maker these aren't good examples but never like in the past even like we couldn't have given i don't know Matt Barnes a ring or something. At least we got Frank rings and he was good, which is crazy. Deer goes down in overall. Brawny Scoot goes down by two and we just gave him 396 million. 98 actually, I couldn't read that. Small font, you know. Monty Caffey, first overall. Oh, another one, another one, another one. 18 years old. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, it's time. Bro, Pete Eden is goaded. He had a 98, but he has a 98 potential. Oh, bus percentage, 95. Wait, how does he have 95 max percent? You know, either way, I don't care. Care. he's gonna be bill russell oh my god i'm so excited it's gonna be the I'm, i might just read you know what let's read ah oh, pete eden or bill russell i was gonna rename bill russell jr we'll go we'll leave pete eden's a fire name and we're gonna draft that other dude next year let's see caffey any other good players in here dang why are they showing me his comparison on the first day of the season screw it whatever it's because we're ready we know we, we we got winning in our veins what happened to contract extensions why can't we do those anymore what the hell we trade ron holland right now over here 36 year old 89 now nah, he's not gonna go anywhere else he's 36 ron age actually lebron age scoot oh, ron holland's actually a free maybe we should trade him because he's a free agent let me see if there's any younger players for big ron cameron whitmore we already traded you because we, you were old anderson payton 24 years old uh screw it T take ron holland ron we've had a nice stint around here you, you they could have whatever pick they want i just want to get a younger player we're trading 2045 first extra salary salary doesn't even matter anymore here we go take three seconds screw you guys shut the hell up scoot henderson back to sunday too you are getting traded this off season trust and believe we got another new coach coach of the year is gone but by 10 nine man rotation that's what always works for us i just want to see that bill russell do develop he's untouchable an untouchable asset for pete another mvp assuming he won one because i believe he did just click simulate playoffs the lakers for, oh my why are we down in the series of three two it should be oh my god a game seven screw it hey simcast it whatever because we trade ron holland or something the video is already long enough we get a game set i mean if we get a what's it called the good game to watch i'll take it we are we lost another time to the kings we about to start going game by game every year or something all right and the spurs conference finals win game one one of the finals again cam boozer koa pete that's a cam boozer man but koa pete is the mvp so let's see if he's got anything left in the tank nope cooked again wish we had you koa i'm sorry i'm sorry yeah like no more good players remember like kevin man, remember when we had kevin garnett like kevin garnett and alan iverson man wow crazy we got cameron whitmore nine rings actually he got one ring when he beat us and we did not retire his jersey matter of fact how many jersey numbers do we have retired that's a really good question yeah go to the uh the thunder the thunder the thunder zion williamson derrick rose alan iverson steph curry bill oh yeah oh because you know how does that work though is that did that just get added in the 2k and that's why it's like that hey but chris paul wore number six with us because alan iverson had number three i never even knew james harden kobe bryant trey young tracy mcgrady carmelo anthony lebron james patrick ewing lenny wilkins T kevin garnett tim duncan michael jordan chris osborzingis dwight howard anthony davis shaquille o'neal charles barkley akima lodge one scotty pippen sean Kemp, Giannis, jack sigma oh my god we've been playing since this man was in the league luca number 77 holy hell Almost every single what numbers do people wear? Number two's gotta still be available. Asir's got 10. Cam Boozer's got 45. Two is a Jarrell Richard, so he's gonna retire that for sure. Doug Sanchez has nine. Jared Sims is 18. 
Brawny has 17. I have, yo, it's this like just really funny stuff like this is it's just funny, bro. Also, I doubt we're even gonna have the high. We might have the highest like score ever, but like also I want to see like how many of the legends are from our team when it's all said and done. Oh man, I'm a, I'm a man. This is a crazy. One, t one, one, once upon a time, I'll do a 100 year simulation. Just simulation. One time I will. One day, I should say. All games will have four timed quarters. At what? Hello? What? Did this get changed? Wait, I got to check the rule changes right now. What does that mean? Four timed quarters. I don't get it. I really don't get it. I do not get it. I'm a, I'm a opposing teams will enter the bonus. Okay. I don't care about no bonus rules. Wait, can I see that again? All games will have four timed quarters. What does that mean? Dang. The foul outs is seven. I did not know that either. We need that number one overall pick, I believe. Oh my God. We are getting it right right oh my we're gonna get it one way or the other but jesus christ monty caffey i like caffey i like the name caffey that's a good name let's go ahead and get him and keep it pushing although yeah this has got to be the year that we trade scoot henderson and seer we just go hey you haven't regressed yet and you're 36 you're like lebron of this except i would definitely keep lebron if he was still here you know what i'm saying like if, if this was lebron in these shoes and he was 36 and 96 in this league i'm not trading him i'll look at his trades to see if there's anybody like significantly younger or whatever but we probably need nasir but we can trade scoot not that we don't need scoot but he's 37 bron as well but Bronny is a no trade clause i don't remember why i gave that to him look at victor man 37 no rings no bev he's been gone for like over 10 years he's been on multiple teams he's so stupid why would you do that we could have also had xavier booker but instead we have Bronny, so it's all right all these players are about to retire and then the next best players are our 28 year olds who have already doug sanchez has already been around for a minute and he's never even averaged 10 points because he's behind what's his name is uh start, on the bench behind cameron boozer so it's not like he could even really do much with his talent potential whatever though basically the new prime of the league is going to be 30 post 30 which is nasty so maybe i start i should start getting draft pick players but uh let's trade a uh, scoot for shoot maybe number one i just i have to trade him at this point we got 15 players on the roster let's go call up number one pick we should definitely donate scoot to the worst team you could i could like finesse it and just not trade him but try and get all their picks or something actually they might not even really want him for real he's less stars than the pick itself let's try and get their picks anyways i'll, I'll trade uh, i'll trade our other picks this year trade you pick four with scoot and i'll trade you pick 12 and i'll throw in whatever picks we have available uh not those i just try to pick five too should i just give them the dream team of picks nah i'm all right on that let's throw scoot and pick two until they want to give me this deal all right they wanted to add in one more pick for an 84 overall what pick is this exactly what pick is a uh, phoenix it's the second one so they want two and three for melvin bailey of absolute mid player i i'd rather not you could have 12 have 12 and i'll take out one of the picks take this come on dog all right just just do the deal without any anything there we go i, I traded scoot number five and number 12 and the 25th for their next year's pick alone which is so dumb okay right, cool sorted all that stuff out and with the first pick in the nba draft we're gonna go and draft their monty caffey 80 overall clear best player in the draft hall of fame potential only has one badge so hopefully you develop some more mid boy charles miller and dylan i don't even remember you guys at this point like who the hell are you people oh oh jarrell richards you got it you know you get the you for sure oh no no uh what's it called please don't i'm gonna hate you if you leave you're from canada there there we go all right got those three dudes back and we're good sanchez is a 93 a if anything i'm gonna make him hey why is richard's getting worse you're 28 I just gave you a, a, a what's it called a no trade clause oh my god you suck screw you oh wait i couldn't give him a no trade clause i might trade you screw you brownie 36 he is the oldest along with nasir nasir is not even getting worse look at bill russell oh my he's already 23 though <laughs> he is never gonna play a minute hall of famer for nothing uh screw it. we'll check the best players in the league this year at the end or maybe i'll trade i might trade brownie right now honestly we need uh we need sanchez playing boozer or sanchez which one's better than two? boozer hey you've been playing the senate for many years but screw it you can adapt i want sanchez to get minutes that's a legend right there oh, i forgot brownie is a no trade clause uh the only good player we get is matthew o'brien in a pick i saw this dude on the trade block last year too he's so mid sure just keep brawny we don't care about cole pete he's mid i was just thinking like 10 minutes ago about how many times i've said the word mid this video and i don't think it's that many but just because i was thinking about that i then prompted to say it again like just naturally all right next next round that's good another win next round the lakers another win and the celtics they win game one we win game two they win game three we win game four we win game five and game seven like, i don't know what to do against this team hey if they got nick smith cooking us it is what it is i would love to watch a 
close game seven with this team. I would love it. Enamored by the thought. Please come back. I might even just close app so we can see. It. There it is. Oh my God. After all these years, we're watching all four minutes. I don't care. It might be disgusting, to be honest. It's 2K, but I went back and simcast a little bit more. We're at two minutes now. Also, I want to see, did anybody foul out with seven fouls? Uh, but after over 40 years of simulating, we have found our first close game. We got Wesley in the game. I don't even know who Wesley is. Let's do a recap. Wesley. Oh, that's that's actually like a dude, just a young dude we traded. What's his name for? I forgot. Whitmore or something. And we got Sims with the basketball, our former number one overall pick. The 6'7 point guard. He's getting the screen. He's going left. He's pulling up. Close shot is green. So we tie up the game with two minutes to go. Now, Celtics have Nick Smith Jr a guy who we passed up on i definitely would have taken him if i realized how bad the league would have been for the next 20 years we passed up on the concept of trading for him and we've still been you know just fine oh and they have koa pete oh my god as koa pete dunks on him. lebron back up the other way Bron Bronny, Bronny james my bad uh, Bronny goes behind the back to the left Bronny to the basket gets blocked by the celtics and the rebound by nick smith smith with a chance to take a four-point lead potentially win a championship hayes Hayes pulls up a moving three like he's Chris Paul. He had the Chris Paul animation and everything. Ronnie up to Sims, and Sims walks out of bounds. Might have to pay off the game for them to actually win. This would be just our third lost championship since the Jordan and Akeem era actually began. You know, we won a, we lost a couple before that, but that doesn't really count. Koa Pete goes left. Koa Pete steps back. Pete back out to Smith. Smith guarded by Bronny. Smith throws it over to Hayes. Hayes back out to Pete for three and that is off. Rebound by the Celtics. Law layup is good. Bronny again with the basketball. Bronny goes right. He goes back left. Bronny into the post. Back right. LeBron James Jr. pulls up and that is off. Smith all the way to the basket. The hop step and that is good. The Celtics showing that they got way more dog in them. They got two more dominant players than we have. They got the MVP and Nick Smith, and they don't have anybody that's aged like how ours have. Bronny to the left again. Bronny back up. Another miss shot by Bronny. That's his third miss. LeBron James Jr. sells out and loses. This is no, no lie. Like, this is, I've been waiting for something interesting in terms of like rooting for the players. Kind of like a career simulation. This is it. LeBron James Jr. shoots 8 for 18, 5 turnovers, and sells out in the last minutes of the game with a no trade clause on his contract. And we have lost the NBA championship to the Oklahoma City Thunder. The first ever game seven of the finals that we saw, we lose. Koa Pete, the most valuable player. Nick Smith and Christian Hayes and Adrian Towns and Matthew May. They got a bunch of 80s, low 80s in the, in the what's it called, rotation. There goes John Bowl, Kenneth Lowry, Kyle's son, Michael Porter Jr. And they got a Michael Porter the third. That is hilarious. Just the fact that they actually did that. And we lose in the finals. I'm not even sweating it. W whatever. We just lost. Whatever. Who cares? Ron Holland retires. He makes the Hall of Fame. I don't even know who Seth Trimble is. Ron Holland won nine rings. And, uh, another jersey retire. Ron Holland for his 10 years in OKC. League meetings, everything is rejected. The possession arrow rule got rejected. I, I thought that was still implemented, but I guess it got taken away. Number one pick is decided through an elimination tournament. That would be insane. And they realized that goaltending was so... That taking away goaltending was a very bad idea. Only one one person wanted it back to, to get rid of it and it seemed like most people wanted to get rid of the eight second violation but i guess not the draft lottery we got a bunch of top picks i never checked the, the lottery or anything so no yeah we're gonna try and trade Bronny. this guy is supposed to be number one this guy is also good a b rating though in 19 is crazy so we're probably gonna draft number one overall guy harrison i like having a guy named guy cody green's floor is starter so he might be mid it's also 22 so yeah you definitely need the 19 year old first and foremost we have so many picks let's just go ahead well actually so Bronny is 38 37 might have to keep him considering the no trade clause but let's see if we could trade him for the first overall pick magic meet lebron james jr declines to waive his no trade clause all right so let me just draw some up eighth pick six pick actually you know what just just take the second pick it's hard to trade these picks or third pick my bad we have to trade a player as well for sure we will never trade pete eden but let's do ed chase for the pick let's do this great they want to add a 20 46 first round from us perfect that's all yeah that's great that works good for me we wanted to rebuild entirely like you know what i'm saying we, we could definitely do it boozer is 35 oh snap we are cooked we might gotta draft everybody in this year i'm not gonna lie we can't trade Bronny. we can't trade any of our really really old people Let's try and trade byron brian stevenson as well we got a dude named frankie curry look who it is penny jr go and get penny jr back oh man wait we, we have to trade a player for him though Actually, i don't know brian stevenson might become useful in the later years screw it i'm about to trade uh this third pick for utah's entire future that sounds good to me let's do that with all 
all the worst teams. Mavericks have their own second pick. Great. I traded for the Mavericks whole future. That's nice. That's funny. We're about to trade a Knicks pick for some more Knicks picks. You guys can have it back. Just give me two of them. All right. Give me uh, I, I have the first pick in the draft, right? All right, cool. First pick in the draft. The Thunder will select. Guy can pick in the draft. The Mavericks get Cody Green and I'm simming to the end because I don't care about any of you. Oh my, Guy is already at 83. Oh yeah, that's it's him. That's that guy. Jared Sims declines his player option. Please resign. We need you. A two garbage offers. Let's go. Just come back on a five-year deal. And got a three big key guys back and to the player progression we go. Ronnie, you are garbage. And sold our last championship. Yo, Pete Eden, bro. Can you get better, please? Come on, dog. You're 24. Traded you, drafted you first overall. For what, Pete? For what? What type of picks we got on this team? Pick one, pick one, pick one, pick 30. Because we traded for that guy. Pick one, pick one, pick 17. We traded for this guy. Pick one, pick one, pick one, pick one, pick two, pick one, pick one, pick two, pick one, pick one. And we're back to the top. So almost everybody in this team is a first overall pick. Like the opposite of that one Raptor stat they had when they had like all non lottery players that one championship. I said that one championship, like they've won multiple championships. Cameron Boozer, most viable player. Robert Bush, sixth man of the year. Koa, DPOI. And CJ Henderson, I guess, is our coach. We only lost four games this year. Let's see if we lose any more in the playoffs. Lost none in the first game. Lost none in the second. My bad. Round. Uh, yep. We're in the finals. Playing the Celtics again. A, re a rematch. And they win the first game. They win another game. They win another game. We are getting cooked by the Celtics have came back like they're in the Bill Russell era, defeating the team with the Bill Russell comparison. And they're not even that good. They lost. They don't have Koa Pete in it. They lost Koa Pete. They lost Koa Pete. They have Ian Jackson averaging 28 in the playoffs. And Christian Hayes, I almost traded for this dude like three seconds ago, but I, I think I offered for him, but I couldn't get him. And they have Michael Porter the third still. Are we about to lose in the finals? Let's see if we have any more in us. This is crazy. They're not even good. They lost their two main players. Jackson is just the ultimate carrier of a basketball. Oh my God. What is it? Wait, are they going to score? They did score. Are they going to hit another shot? Please don't tell me they hit another shot. Okay, we got free throws. Game over. Game over. The game. Come on. Come back from down three. We need some adversity. And then we'll like, I don't know. I didn't really plan for this. I wish I had cooler draft classes for the next like 80 years. Celtics are about to win the ring right here. They're up by nine. Show me something and I'll jump in. They're not showing me anything. We're about to lose. This is back to back seasons or something like that. Wait, I got to check because Ian Jackson finals MVP. The Celtics own us. Back to back years of losses to Boston. Wait, how many? Wait, when was the most recent one we lost? Actually, it couldn't have been that long ago. Yeah, we only we only won four straight again. Before that, we won, I think, seven straight. So we, we've only had, you know, you can see the screen. You know, wild pass what 15 14 years compared to our former 40 years a nasty 14 years at that let's see who sold us out in the finals this year because this is a bad font like this is bad this is bad sims is the highest points per game getter and he only shot 44 percent boozer shot under 50 and cunningham shot under 50 percent sanchez shot under 40 percent stevenson shot under 40 percent i can't trade the whole team now holy hell us wesley shot 21 percent ronnie didn't even play this year and we still lost i can't even blame him victor Wenbanyama, screw you we could have had such a good Good thing i lost you for nothing got nothing back for him nick smith i, I could have drafted him over victor right y yeah i could have he went on to beat us in the finals it's just i hate all these people and matter of fact they all retired now Now the league will be easier to beat actually we just lost to some dude that didn't retire so who really cares i wanted basala too oh scoot retired wait was scoot no i just traded scoot right scoot won 16 rings and victor won six guess who's better in my book i don't care if i kind of was trying to s trade scoot for like the last seven years approved reinstate the five seconds back to the basket and abolish the luxury tax no penalty for exceeding the salary cap good for us not like it really prevented us much in the first place thunder want to move up oh my god we moved up again i don't think i checked the draft this year evan harris jr oh, why can't i see his comparison now we didn't scout him at all i mean he's the consensus number one by far this dude is number two and we can't see him either but he hey it's devin harris for sure six eight point guard or, or shooting guard that, that sounds like not devin harris but screw it maybe it's his son and give me the number one pick speaking of the sons we got to trade a player anyway so do we have any old bastards looking to get cooked oh man i wish we could end a re enter a rebuild for someone cool who would be in favor of heading back the le nah, i don't know if we want to wilt error out of, out of chronological order the whole point of this was to see the the future yeah no, I'm, I'm good on i'm good on restarting the league like like you know what i'm saying like i could wilt and build will uh kareem again i mean we, we saw kareem in this league though so i don't know about all that. i'm about to do no random draft classes in a rebuild maybe in a simulation but not a rebuild unless it was specified of course uh this dude wesley was he was garbage in the finals i don't care how young you are you could have the the 
20th pick you, you could have what you could have the 19th pick go ahead take the deal that dude was trash this is old nasir is about to retire soon we might gotta trade him and boozer's gonna retire soon but he's a free agent there has been i'm gonna i'm gonna go ahead and turn up the draft class quality because it is bad it's looking bad it's up to like i don't know how much it affects it so let's let's start at 70 because like forget us just the rest of the league too to be fair we're also losing actually yeah it's really about us but i don't think it affects the top picks though i think it really affects the depth of the draft which is okay that's that works too but in the slim chance that it does help us we need that because uh we're just out here getting picks for no reason and everybody sucks I'm trading them to the next year for them for not to not deem that for the next year because everybody sucks i'm not and also i'm not drafting though 22 year olds that are about to hit their peak other c player like uh what's his name like this dude pete eden who's just gonna be bill russell in, in the g league nasir has no trade offers at all is he on the untouchables i don't think so he is not nasir and boozer are the two best players in the league and then it goes doug and then sims because everybody else retired we we're once again dominating the league in terms of talent who just beat us the celtics can we see celtics players who the hell was that dude that was cooking us like that ian jackson is 38 yeah i'm i think we only have 13 players did we have someone retired and i didn't realize it? was mikey on our team no i traded him too did he not make the hall of fame either that's tough they had a, a young oh Bron Bronny retired. Oh, well, there goes that. Bronny didn't make the Hall of Fame. Did we retire his number? Of course we did. So 17, 16. Victor, Victor's number got retired. Not even for his new teams, just us. For his six years with the team. So 44, 17, and 16. Add those to the Raptors. Oh, and 20? Yeah, Mikey Williams too, right? We can get two young players. Screw it. We'll, we'll, we'll draft both of them. Why not? I'm going to trade up for the second pick as well as the whatever. The, the Yeah, go ahead. Take this trade. Oh, man, you guys suck. Oh, wait, was that an OKC pick? Wait, do that again? Yeah, that works. Give me CJ Green. All right, I'm just going to draft the one one and two players Devin Harris Jr first overall and second overall give me oh man I am not convinced in you what does what this do, do uh Marky Marcus Johnson oddly enough this guy's better you know what if I didn't even need to trade up for two for this oh my god yeah Will Wright look at this his potential is a plus at least it says it right now do it give me him maybe he'll be Nasir Cunningham's uh, replacement who knows he's only a 73 oh my god and Rick Duncan the second overall dude was a 71 oh my god you guys are garbage and all this is actually one of the worst drafts we ever could have had to like draft two players in oh yeah cam boozer think he leaving he got 22 offers screw it here's the thing right you are old right so nobody offering it like this for real 92 mil 36 years old you know i don't need to give you a no trade clause you should have you should take this yeah yeah you should definitely take 536 mil at 36 years old you, i'm giving you a quarterback contract mr pollard uh you are 91 at 22 you are fantastic thank you for being good at basketball you could have all the money you want oh they never get rid of that rule because i'm giving players all the money they want because I, they have that rule where you could trade any players for any pollard is probably going to change the league though for real not change the league but take it over now series a 92 boozers a 94 with 500 million on the books and jarrell richards is getting worse at 30 jesus christ you were supposed to be the future we need another good draft pick next year my brethren who the hell is this mike wright world be free another garbage draft of course of course i mean this guy is 18 oh well he's gonna be 19 by the time the draft comes around never mind another new coach i could tell chad irving can we ever have a stable coach bro we are we have been 80 times actually you know what we lost two straight rings yeah get that guy out of there that man Bronny really retired on two back-to-back -back losses that is sad the bill russell dude still only in 84 that is tragic my controller is dying jared sims oh wow okay cool we got another mvp now you know that's our first like mvp of a dude who was just a random you know what i'm saying this guy was off on an auto generated so that's good that's good to see and boozer you are a real auto whatever the hell draft class person so that's why i say that see, we can finally get back to championship pedigree championship pedigree please 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 there you go playing the wizards not this oh my god we lost game one still and we lost game three and we win game four and we win game five and we are champions yet again doug sanchez and i want to see what is happening when we lose back okay we lost this one by two or three this dude stevenson is out here selling bro chucking up garbage all right this one um because he was a 30th pick that's why this one cunningham is just old he might retire this year honestly uh yeah this is it <laughs> this is it so uh we're not we're like losing him i guess technically and holton's also kind of garbage this dude's been an 88 for a minute but he's also young so who really cares um nasir cunningham should be retired yeah there he is 39 years old he that number 10 will for sure be in the raptors there goes like all of the single digit numbers my god you know what's crazy is i don't think any of those were westbrook right westbrook didn't retire a number i don't know because well because yeah he left us him and Durant. but we might have still retired their numbers derek whitehead retires xavier booker's out of here justin edwards ian jackson's out of here so i think we'll be okay with nasir retiring but here's a, 
I know the difference between high 90 overall players and in low 90s in an 80s league. Like, that is way more, way less dominant than what we've had in the past, you know? Nasir Cunningham, number 10, retired. League meetings. Draft lottery. The top two picks are decided through an elimination tournament. Remaining picks are determined by team record. What would happen then if you don't have your pick? Like, we steal everybody's picks. Are those teams going to play for us to get their pick? Would you even try then? You know what I'm saying? Because, like, would we play for a team? I want to see that now. Remaining picks are determined by... So, wait. So, is there going to be a... Is there going to be a tournament now? Like, what is going on here? The top two picks, Knicks and Heat. So, like, when is that going to take into account? I don't really know. Okay, maybe next year. Maybe now. I'm actually very excited to see how that works. Staff signing. Can we ever have a... Can I hire a coach, please? Can we... Bro, when are we going to have money ever? Like, we literally... How have we made this much money and we've never had money to sign a coach? Jason Tatum wants to get signed and he can't. Uh, Dalton Grant. I see Jabari Smith Jr. Victor Wembanyama is an assistant or a head coach. Porzingis would love to have you back on the... You know what I'm saying? You were a great... What's it called? A great dude. Instead, we're going to get some garbage. Like, why can't I get Zion? Oh, snap. I, I didn't mean to offer him. He's mulling the decision. Wait, let me get Zion. Zion signed? Woohoo! Let's go. Zion is our new coach. Long time Thunder player. Can I edit his contract? Like, can we? Oh, he signed a four year. Oh my God. Maybe the coaching market is just trash. He's, he's garbage too, but like, it doesn't matter. Maybe the co coaching market is so trash, like money wise, that they just take whatever offer you give him. You never know. Um, any good players this year? Any good basketball players in the draft? All right, this guy's going to be an all star or an all NBA player. This guy as well. So I said this guy, okay, he's still 18. We might have to, we might have to pick him up. And also, Nasir retired and we have all those picks. So we got to, we got to pick somebody regardless. Um, as of right now, just Boozer. We might just let him retire too because we have no other reason to live. Yeah, no way in hell are you getting Pollard for that pick. You could have some other garbage though. We cook in the Knicks every single year. Ah, take pick number six. Take pick number 16. Take pick number, not 13. Try 24 first. Try a future Thunder pick. Where are those at? Here you go. I have three of them. You can have two of them. There you go. Boom, we got the number one pick. How many roster spots are allocated? Yep, 14, so we can only draft one player. But honestly, that dude from last year is probably going to be absolute garbage. So if we did want to draft two we could do that these two are both b minuses so they'll probably be better i'm gonna go ahead and pick those two up yeah you know, i'm gonna do i'm gonna draft both of them and then i'm gonna go to the player progression and see if our guy is better or whatever let's go ahead and finesse the suns real quick you could have you could have seven and nine or seven and 13 in our future pick maybe never mind i traded all our future pick yeah take seven and nine fine you could have 13 too have fun there you go have a great time all right, give me those two guys that i wanted first overall pick we're gonna select mr oj house 18 year old or whatever the hell second overall pick let me just make sure he's the right one like like hall of famers hiding down here not that i would pick him after what we saw about them having like bench or whatever or whatever the hell bus tendency what's this 19 year old dude doing uh charlie scott yeah I'm, I'm not gonna draft another low pick again though let me get the top dude. mike wright number one ranked in draft express and get this second round pick for some future second round picks and call it a day after the two best players in the draft and i'm probably yeah with that being said i'm probably gonna get rid of that other dude i want to see how he progressed like if he goes up by like six or something yeah i'll, I'll get one of them out of there nope we uh Cole pete dang Cole pete is really like he really would think about uh offering him 11 million if we had a couple more dollars we could get him Byron, brian whatever the hell you suck but we'll sign you anyways oh and pete eden of course but what is pete eden we'll never know any other affordable players just ours that's really it dang brian trying to he accepted other offers what all right well now now guess what we get to keep everybody screw him so that's actually kind of big time because that's like there's not many 90 plus overalls not even on our team look at these guys jarell richards is an 84 miller just went down by two and he's 27 this dude we drafted last year went up by two and he's a 75. Oh my God. The draft is so garbage. Oh man. I don't even know what our lineup is this year. What is our line? We have like seventies in there or something. No, just 85 is the worst. That's all right. Jesus. We are garbage. Do we have any other old players. We got it. We might got to trade Cameron Boozer. I know I could have overridden the, uh, what's it called? Retire or whatever the hell. Oh, Cameron Boozer should not retire, bro. You have 500 mil waiting in your bank account. If you just play, let's see max age 25. Who is this? They're asking for Cameron Boozer for him. Yeah. Hell no. But, uh, we'll give you Richards and a future thunder first a future rockets first i don't care and, and a future and that spurs first got a lot of value this celtics one as well and why will Wright got that much value very jarell richards for josh wise i don't i don't care take the take the pick pros would have us having an excessive amount of power forwards i don't care i don't care yeah, you're not gonna be saying that when i offer you the celtics pick right you're gonna take this trade and you and and when i offer you the second round pick thing is they're lying they it's not about power forwards they just didn't want my old man jarell richards this guy that i just traded for will probably never even play a game but as long as, long as he's young and won't retire or get worse. I mean, that's it. That's all we need, right? Probably was a dumb trade. We could have just used the pick instead, but whatever. Okay, Jared Sims, we see you, buddy. Multiple MVPs. Uh, Cameron Boozer, also still a third teamer. Over oh, here checking third teamers. We are desperate. I've never even checked the All-NBA teams before. I was even checking them when Jordan was here. We just lost two games to uh, the Kings, but screw the Kings. We're going to be 
beat the Celtics again. Hooray. Nasir Cunningham. No. Oh my God. What is this? What is this? Wait, wait, wait. What, what is this? No, seriously. What the hell is this? Are we in here anywhere? Do we see the thunder anywhere? No. Now this is the funny part, right? Okay. Can I see? How do you look at your pick? Look at mock drafts. It should say what picks we own, right? Okay. We have the Jazz's pick. They're in the lottery. They're right here. So they will play. They lost. Screw them. They have the higher odds too. Oh my God. And look at the Raptors fighting for the number one pick and the Hornets beat them and the Nets win that tournament finals. Who will get the number one pick? The Nets. Jesus Christ. That is disgusting. <laughs> Did any of our dudes retire? Did a uh, big dog retire? No, he didn't retire. Right, shout out to Cam. Where the hell his name is? Cameron Boozer, right? Um, yep, see ya, all those. Dang, we won the ring and Zion won finals or whatever. Zion must have won coach of the year, right? Glory Badunga is out of here. So is Kwame Evans and Elzai. Dang, they just up in the all-star team scoring, uh, highest scoring teams total plus 40. Jesus, you gotta score 40 in the fourth. Modify goaltending such as once the, once the ball hits the rim, any player can make a, a move on the ball. Look at Zion. Can we get a cool assistant coach? Actually, I won't. I won't hire any. I mean, I won't fire anybody. Wait, wait who's in the draft this year? So wait, are they? They definitely just oh, Andre Guadala Jr. Dang, 79 overall. Finally, a cool player, and we about to get Bo Cheatham. Why not? Cheat him, Bo Cheatham. Cheat him, Bo Cheatham, Bo Cheatham. And then we gonna get uh Wes Murray. What the hell? Why is there so many Hall of Famers? Why, wait, so Bo is an 84, 82? Oh my God. We're going to get Bo and Iggy Jr. Look, our team has scouted both of those because they know they are them. Where are our picks at? Uh, wait, so is that is that the draft lottery? Wait, is so that is the draft lottery. That's crazy. So wait, what, what picks do we have? 11, 13, 15. Okay, go call up the team that just did all that for the lottery. The first pick, the Brooklyn Nets. All right, give them how many players do we have on our team? One, two, 15 players. But uh, why is we just traded for you out of some BS so we can get you out of here? We don't really care about you anyways. Um, We could also very well trade Cameron Boozer. Boozer though, I mean, he's still an all NBA player. So like any years with him is good years, but also there's only not many years left with him. So maybe we just trade him now. Yeah, I'm, I'm down. I'm down to trade him. Four star rating for the number one overall pick. Do they got any future that we can get? Cause that would be smart. I'll trade wise too. Just give me all. Oh wait, but they, but now they got to fight for the pick though. Now it's at the best team gets the pick. You know what? Screw. Oh no. Now we, Hey, now it'll be good when you trade for random picks. Cause now they got to fight for, it. I want to see one year where I get every, every pick. And then they fight for the pick when they all know they aren't getting the pick and i'm taking every pick that's what i need take out this pick and just take out as many as you can until we can do the trade Dang, boozer got no value screw it do this i gotta give them a pick for this this is tough um all right fine take 15 all right fine take 29 well cameron boozer you have had a beautiful fantastic run you you were one of the shining bright lights of this team for all those years traded also pick 12 and like 11 or 13 or whatever the hell two picks to get number one that sucks that we had to trade him because he's old but it is what it is gave him the biggest contract of all time probably honestly Honestly. And let's go ahead and get that other dude as well. And they just want OJ House is that good to where they would just trade the pick for him. That's that's good to know. Let's give him Josh Wise. We're actually running out of picks to trade, which is man. Give him 15, give him 19. Any other old people's? Doug Sanchez is old already. And, and I, I remember drafting him like it was oh well, it, it was today. Pete Eden might gotta go. <laughs> Pete Eden, it might be your time. I will trade them Pete Eden and Josh Wise. Give me a pick. Oh, this is the Hornets team we used to bully back in the day. I will also give them pick 15. And they're not gonna accept that. A pick. 29 and a future second and another future second All right i guess we're gonna have to really really just cut corners here by trading pete eden and josh wise and they still don't want it there it is i had to trade two seconds plus the 29th pick i believe and now we have the top two picks in the draft both those guys are 80 overall or 79 and 80 they got stanley jackson too what's stanley jackson up to all nba he's 21 not bad but we were already struggling just to get top two and i already know who the top two guys are it's bo and it's andre he, he kind of looks like if he can no he actually Actually, he looks like Andre. Yeah, did they did they do they they like make these players to look exactly like them? It's something about he like doesn't, but he does. All he needs is the headband. Did Andre even wear it? Does Andre even wear a headband in the game? No, he, he really doesn't. What am I talking about? Maybe I'm thinking of his Sixers days. He probably wore it once or twice. All right, Andre Iguodala Jr. might take over the league for the next however many years. It said Hall of Fame on him too, right? Yeah, I'm excited. Finally, that's a cool dude, dude. I, I, that's a cool dude too. Andre Iguodala Jr. Welcome to the Oklahoma City Thunder. And next up, give me Bo Cheatham. And let's see if we can 
could even trade up. Do we have any other trash players like that haven't done much? I guess Charles Miller. I mean, he's 28. Let's see if we could trade up. Uh, who else would I want to pick? Stanley Jackson's not that bad. Wes Murray. Wait, Wes Murray says Hall of Fame too? Oh, snap. Floor is starter, but that's not that bad. Like, Floor could also stay bench like that guy. Or let's try and get Wes Murray as well. This might be a good draft class. I think so, but wait. So now we only have P90s. This is nasty. This is a nasty team. Miller would be getting some quality minutes, but instead, I'm, I'm going to see if I could trade him for this pick. I don't see him getting any better. Uh, he is also kind of old. Screw it. Let's do it. Okay. They want to add in some garbage. Let's just throw in 15th pick. And there we go. We got the third pick in the draft. With the third pick, I'm going to select that one dude that's at Hall of Fame. Not Stanley Jackson. Even though you're, you look like you could be a good player. You're 22, though. Draft a younger player who also has Hall of Fame on his tag. Let's do it. And Stanley Jackson goes next up right after that. He's probably an 80 as well. Yes, he is. All right. We come out of that draft with three picks, a couple retired players, and yada, yada, bada, bing. And this, we got two players that could leave us in free agency. So offer them as much money as I can in the player option because we don't have a, what's it called? An available no trade clause, I guess. I don't know how that works. And we got both of them back, thankfully. We get Sean Kemp Jr., Henry Kemp. That does not look like Sean Kemp. Screw it. Oh, they were, they matched the offer sheet. Oh, that sucks. Well, the one time I try to try, try and sign a player, he gets signed back to his team. Sanchez is getting worse now at 32, and we are going into season number... Uh, I wish I could tell you, but I don't know. Carl Lowry. Is this like Kyle Lowry? On, oh my God. Yes, that's another another player. 19 years old. Another revolutionary player. We need Carl Lowry. We need Carl Lowry. Our, our team's still solid. Devin Harris Jr. starting at the three. D uh, Doug. I, I keep on thinking Diego Sanchez. Is that even a person? I don't even know. I'm trying to put Bo in the lineup as... Is he a rookie? I think he's a proper rookie. I know I sound British, but I, I think he's genuinely... A, he's a rookie. Yeah. Screw it. Bo, play. I mean, we've lost the teams with he's in the lineup you might as well oh my god oh my god we lost the first three games of the season uh, uh yeah I'm, I'm gonna cut the online up a little bit okay hold on we're gonna go we're gonna go hey zion how you doing uh we can go eight man oh yeah also make the bench utilization all the way down and play the store zion want to protect the paint on his little thing over there um, system proficiency. Yeah. Oh, not grit and grind. Yeah. Hell no. Let's go balance, please. Thank you. We are not you, Zion. That is you. You retired. I wonder how many like normal NBA players I can count in the coaches, uh, the coaches thing, like the, the available coaches. Lonzo Ball, Kyrie Irving, Kristaps Porzingis, Stephen Curry, Jason Tatum, who we saw earlier, uh, D'Angelo Russell, Luka Doncic, Anthony Edwards, Kemba Walker. I just saw, I just saw another one. I thought, oh no, it's Ricky George, not Paul George. DJ Wagner is now a coach and he's teaching the triangle. Ja Moran, I just saw. Russell Westbrook, Nick Smith Jr., DeAndre Aiden, um, Cameron Whiteside or whatever the hell his name was. Cameron something, Cam Cameron Whitmore, yeah. Anthony Davis, Evan Mobley, hell no, you sold us that one year. Mikey Williams, not Dave Cowens, David Cowens. We'll end off there because that's a lot of people. Holy hell. There's probably some that are head coaches, including Zion, obviously. Jared Sims, another MVP. Thank you for being good at basketball. One of our future, or one of our past, you know, pro prodigies at number one overall. The thing is though, when I see players with like Hall of Fame, their card, usually it doesn't really mean 99 overall. Like it doesn't mean LeBron James. It means, oh yeah, mid Hall of Famer usually, which is tough as we are able to beat the Rock and go back to the finals. Koa Pete is still here. Jesus Christ. He's in the finals against us right now. He was the Eastern Conference MVP. But Jared Sims, thank you for being goaded. Road to the number one pick again. Holy hell. Simulate it. The Wizards versus the Suns and the Wizards win it. The 12th, the 12th seed. So wait, what does that mean exactly? So were the Wizards the worst or the best? Lottery playoff statistics? Oh, oh, oh. The lottery playoffs. Yeah. The Wizards had the best. They were the best in the regular season, which made them the 12th seed, which gave them the high, the, the toughest run road to get here. This is such a dumb idea though. It really should be just for the top four picks to be honest. If we're being completely honest and then at that point it can only be in 2k because in real life who the hell would care if you're a player like you might get traded next season. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I don't think Boozer. Oh yeah this might be the other Boozer's brother but I really have no clue. Cole Pete retires. Oh there goes there goes Cameron Boozer. He helped us get a top pick and he retires this year. Thank you for your service. You were here for your almost your entire career just like how Bronny was. Oh snap they got the glitch going. They got the glitch going. Big meetings and Anything happen eliminate the goaltending i was really trying to see hall of fame inductees and jersey retirements but it's all good just trying to see how many rings you know we could just go back to him cameron boozer finishes his career with 15 nba championships and probably could have had three more if we just won but that might be the most out of anybody we've ever had except for maybe michael jordan or kevin garnett or something like that because most people we were getting them out of here quickly no emmanuel we got flory badunga as our assistant head coach this is a dude that was just cooking for 20 years we got two players as our head coach and assistant head coach um nba draft 
draft. Right, so we have to make that trade for Carl Lowry. Any other great players in here? You got Bill Bradley, Bobby Jones. Honestly, seems like the type of you you skip out on, aside from the GOAT. Aaron Sampson, you're 18, but your potential is garbage. Go ahead and get Carl Lowry real quick. What type of picks we got? I don't even know. Mavericks. Oh, see, look, look at this. Look at this. The Raptors had the Wizards pick. So the Wizards did all that just for the Raptors to take their pick. And they have the Raptors pick. Oh my God. Go ahead and give them the ninth pick, the 21st pick, the other pick. And do we have any players? 14 players on the roster right now. It's, I guess somebody retired that I didn't realize. We might have to trade somebody either way. Uh, I don't know though. I don't know if that's ideal. Could trade Anderson Payton. He's 29. Also wasn't our homegrown pick. So, you know, we have no type of connection there. We are running short on picks right now. Very, very short on picks. So what we what we get soon is going to be what we have. And that's really going to be it. So let, let's trade Anderson Payton. Let's try and do this. He's not no league changing player. We could trade him and 21 and 29 because we have a roster spot. So we probably, yeah, let, let's try and do this. Oh man, I'll trade this Rockets pick. I don't care. Take it. Thank you. Thank you. So I don't even know who else we're going to draft, but I forgot I have pick nine. Wait. Okay. Yeah, that was for pick one. So I have pick nine and pick one. Screw it. I'll use the pick. All right. Obviously with pick one, we're taking Carl Lowry, small forward, six foot 10. And for the first time in a long time, we're just going to wait until our pick and get whoever the hell. Yeah, I said a while ago, we would go back to Seattle with the addition of Carl Lowry. You might go back to Seattle. All right. This guy. Huh. All right, we're going we're gonna to draft this dude right here. C overall, 19 years old. His, his comparison was something decent, like an all-star or something. See what happens. Obviously, Carl Lowry is real good. He's a nine or he's an 80 team player options. Then we got two dudes with right in their name to re-sign Holton. Holton's a real solid player. We can give him the um, give him all the money he can get, I guess, because we can't give him anything else. And he will be coming back to the team. Guy Harrison is restricted, thankfully. And he's prepared, for, prepared to accept an offer. So that sucks. I want to give him a five year, but it's like a three year, probably with a one year player option or something garbage. Progression. Doug Sanchez goes down by two. Holton goes down by one. And the rest of the team is mid. This guy, Iguodala jr goes up by five that's the future right there for the next 40 years holy hell we have 40 years left a little less than 40 iguodala jr yeah he does look like iggy come on it's the way he's like fake smiling at me i don't know it looks like he got the same accessories on too he got some finger pad things he's gonna be starting this year and honestly i'm okay with that i gotta check his potential it's not like he's ever getting traded anyways 99 max potential 98 potential and yeah he, he's gonna be good considering that like dell's son was like just him but better at at every like shooting hell i mean that thing too shabby either what would iggy's son be just him but better also he's six foot eleven jesus christ might be one of my new favorite features of 2k is that they do that make players do that uh we can we can run an eight-man rotation why not We're in that type of era now where everybody sucks so like you know might as well make it okay yeah you're not a top eight player screw you hit the bench oh my god mr pollard dick pollard most valuable player our former number one overall pick 97 overall what the hell he was the one he was number one jared sims and pollard we are taking over the league because we have tried very hard to be the best even in this garbage league oh man brian stevenson is the third best player in the league and he was on this team too devin harris jr is already one of the best players this is insane there's only four 90s it looks like the nba 2k 15 when tim duncan chris paul and kd and lebron and like who, who the hell was the other one Melo, uh westbrook or something i don't know i look forgetting somebody blake griffin maybe those are the only 90s when you started off the game at least brian stevenson is 35 screw him but i was trying to keep him though and he just left four years ago i probably would have traded him by now to be honest but yeah those are the only man we are in a 80s league jesus so if you get the 90s then you're probably dominating and here we are dominating plus with the next best player andre iguodala jr what a nasty league we are in all right we're on our way to nba finals we might be more dominant now than we were a couple years ago especially because everybody is retired that was even attempting to beat us and we just lose two games in this playoff run jared sims takes the finals mvp road to number one pick just seemingly <laughs> This is so funny. Pelicans win their retirements. We had we drafted Ed. I drafted Ed third overall. He's cooked. He's 34 and he retired. Players are eligible for entry draft once they reach 18 years of age. That's way better. Oh my god. That might help out the talent of the whole league. Forget us. Speaking of the talent of the whole league, what's it looking like? Edmund Holton, Hall of Fame, and Floor All-Star? Oh my god. He's a B plus? This guy's 19 to B minus. Oh, go for two picks. Go for two picks. Take both of these guys. Up, oh, take both of them. Get number 
one and two. What picks we got? Uh, actually, we have been struggling with getting, keeping all that stuff picks. We didn't have any picks this year, so I, I might have to trade something of value. But I, if that guy is a B plus, he, there's no way in hell he will not come to my basketball. Guy Harrison is 24. We might have to trade him. It will not. Okay, Dylan Holton. Yes, 88 overall, 30 years old. He might be the one that has to go. Not that 30 is even old, but I don't see who the hell else we could trade. Effie is 25. He might be capped out at 25, to be fair. He might be who we trade for number two. And I think that'd probably be smart as well. Because Iggy's going to take a jump. Bo's probably... Yeah, all these guys going to take a jump. Except for uh, except for these, the, the two that I'm talking about right now. And yeah, we're going to... San Sanchez is expired. And I probably wouldn't trade him in this league. I mean, we could definitely get away with it because the league is so garbage. I'm going to try and trade Holton for number one. Okay, they want a 20 50 for one first round pick. Let's try and make it two seconds for no reason. Oh, uh, they... No. Yeah, all right. We'll just, we'll just do it. Holton, 88 overall. Actually, let's see if we can make it the other dude, actually. Let's try Cappy just because then it would be easier to trade Holton for number two. All right, no, we're not. It's not going to work. Dylan Holton, you've been here for, you've only played in so many years, but you were the number one overall pick many years ago, and you've been okay. You've been like a uh, Larry Johnson type of number one overall pick. You know, just solid, solid player for the team. We appreciate you. You're a six foot ten shooting guard for the love of God. We are going to trade you for the number one overall pick, and you know what I'm saying? Work towards the future. Even though you are kind of still the future, you're pretty good still, and we're also going to go and try and get the number two overall pick. Man, we have had so many weird errors in this video like going from the weird to nine late 90s okay first of all we tanked the first year then we had the 2000 or not the 90s where we kind of just dominated and we didn't really like trade for an abundance of picks ever we would just trade some mid player like um like that one white dude the shooting guard i forgot his name monty caffey they don't want that okay not the number one overall pick for the love of god we might not be able to get this guy i'm not gonna lie but that would be a bad mistake i feel like since he said all-star was also a b we actually don't have anything else that we can rationally oh wait jamal wingate who is this ninth pick from last year yes include him yes 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 matter of fact just try it starting with him okay i will give up both of them what about you guys give me some future picks or something two of them i won't ask for too much all right what about one and we'll give you some seconds jamal wingate our player from last year coming in clutch all right i'll just do this then okay still don't want it and take two seconds thank you thank you we got the number two overall pick get a b minus and a b plus two 19 year olds with the first pick in the nba draft okc is for sure drafting edmund holton seven foot three center and then this dude's a center center as well but you know we, we always figure it out we, we doing the philadelphia 76ers you know what i'm saying except uh we'll be good 78 and 85 overall in the rookie year you got to realize how crazy that is in this league probably already a top 15 player maybe top like 30 it's like zion with knees hey sims you can't leave okay you cannot leave take all the money you want take five years take a player option and a no trade clause you cannot leave thank you sanchez you can you can retire here you can do whatever the hell you want you just can't leave we will be ruined he is also coming back five years um and then you thankfully are young enough to where we can we don't have to do anything so that's good perfect got our dogs back we're gonna continue this has easily been the toughest era to build in to lincoln build oh hey it's will wright give him a five year as well why not devin harris jr iguodala jr a bunch of 2000s players doug sanchez goes down another overall sadly we just gave him a no trade clause but uh who cares honestly who cares gonna continue to win rings and iguodala will become the greatest player of all time soon the game just crashed is this a sign of something? We'll title this rebuild 100 year rebuild, regardless of what happens. If they, if, uh, hopefully it lets us go past this. Cause that's bad. Is a bad sign? Oh no. Did they cook me? I was so excited to see Iggy. 2K has ruined the 100 year rebuild. Know who to go hit up. It's not me. We can start a riot. Player progression again. Okay, we still have everybody. Let's see one more time. Let's see one more time. Crashed again. What could I do? Nothing. That's it. That might be it. 2K might've just put me out of my misery. It's nothing more solidified as work into this game a, a, a tribute to this basketball game than doing 100 years of simulation on here right and so far we are we are 64 years in we were more way uh, uh, pr pr far far into it more than halfway you could show 2k this i did it not i actually did nothing to push the limits of the game in this video it just simulated and traded like like not, me having good players would change nothing you know what i'm saying i didn't break the game by having good players it's not like i i didn't change 
change any rules except for the ones that they change themselves. Didn't remove any teams, add any teams. I didn't even change a logo. That you sometimes that will glitch the league in uh, online leagues, but I didn't even do that in this. And I'm offline. And yet here we are. Here is the accumulation, the sadness. I I am genuinely sorry uh, to anybody that ha was hoping to watch 100 years. Because watch this happen one more time. Wait. Yep, it happened. I for a second I thought we got it. Because here's the thing, right? Sometimes like this will happen. Something like this will happen. It'll be like, oh, I did this, I did that, and I'll know what to reverse or change. Like recently, me and my friends are doing an offline. I'll just ramble now. We've already been here for like 25 hours, so I mean, I might as well keep on going. Recently, me and my friends were doing a league, and uh, like something had happened with this, that, or the other, and I'm like, oh, okay, let me go fix this. But like, I don't know what to do. I've just been simulating and trading. The hell do I do? Give away all my players or something? Well, they did not want to see us win. Thankfully, we didn't go out on a loss. I'm, you know, sometimes when this happens in a video, like I'll, like this was, I was genuinely excited to like do 100 years, post the 75 hour video. Although this is probably be like really long video regardless. But here we are, 2K, ruin another fate. And I've simulated further than this in 2K. I just haven't simulated. I don't know, actually, maybe that's the, is that the maximum amount of years you could simulate is 60? Well, that wouldn't make sense because I've seen people's, I think you could simulate the 2100 from 2020, which is crazy. But I'm, I believe at the very least you could simulate 80. So I don't know why mine decided to break. Let me look real quick at everything. Just if you want to diagnose the issue. Uh, here's all the teams, the rosters. I'm just going to scroll through them real quick. You know what I'm saying? Stuff, things and that of that nature is happening. Um, I don't know what possibly could be wrong. We don't even have... Here, here's the best players in the league. You know what I'm saying? There you go. We got a bunch of 80s for the most part. A lot, a lot of 80s, a lot of style. I 70s. It's, like I said, it's like a 2K15 roster, you know? And that aside, I don't know what possibly could be... Hold Maybe I'll check real quick. I'll, I'll just do everything I can possibly. Where's our staff at? Dude, they need me to fire Zion. Nope, can't even fire him. But I mean, we have coaches. And I'll do I'll, I'll turn it to auto for a second. I'll see if that helps anything I'm gonna turn all of our stuff to auto and see if that fixes anything if they make any changes or anything Let's see. There you go. You, you could even trade all of our team if you wanted right here right now time to shine 2k It's your time to shine. Yep. I don't know. I it ain't, it ain't concerning me and I didn't do anything to anybody else's team Catch another screenshot and video clip. I have to go back to Madden. Well, it will 100% still be titled a hundred year rebuild uh, Try not to spoil it too much people in the comments if you made it all the way this far at the same time though We kind of have to vault because jesus christ there is nothing holding me back from getting 100 years into this except for the game itself so let's reminisce i guess throughout our run we won i'm just gonna look at the total i already told you our streak that we had earlier i forgot what the number was but you could see it right here i'm going through it entirely uh, it was from 28 to 86 if my math serves me correctly that is 42 straight years and if we were to look at the team history considering the thunder already had one ring the team history we have 59 nba championships so uh the thunder already had one so we've won 58 in this video over half of a century of rings by the way in case you don't know you know what a century is or, or rings or whatever we've lost only three of those possible champion or actually four four my bad four whatever that number, i think i just said we won 58 right so there's been 62 seasons 58 rings when it comes to mvps and i'm yes i'm going over everything dog i put hard work in it uh, let's see we had jordan akeem hakeem mvps then you saw shaq get it kg iverson then lebron or kenneth chukrawa whatever the hell his name was was winning all the time then lebron again kenneth won what is this six straight then victor cameron boozer jared sims and of course it ends off on dick pollard rookie of the year honestly we probably got none of these i guess we got chris washington jr or maybe it was because i made him wait and until he played i don't know actually you know what i know a couple rookie of the years we had or at least one michael jordan six man of the year sean kemp won it a couple times that lift shrimp that's what i was talking about earlier that we traded you know saying good cool dude tim duncan won a six man of the year LeBron James won a six man of the year, which is pretty funny. And oh, wait, that's how much this team has changed the league. We had LeBron winning rookie six man of the years while he was supposed to be leading teams that were garbage to the finals. And Cam Boozer won six man of the year. And again, like 10, 10, 15 years later. So Cam Boozer was on the bench for, Boozer was on the bench for 15 years, 14 years. We had Victor win a DPOY, actually two of them. So Hakeem and Michael won a couple. Most improved player, we saw Iverson win this. Saw Chris Paul win it once. Saw Luca get it. Zion, Victor, Doug Sanchez. Dick Pollard. We had the coach of the year. Probably every Zion won coach of the year. Chad Irving, CJ Henderson, Cody Wilson, aka coach of the year Wilson, Stanley Singleton, JJ Brown, Jamie Pierce, Harold Cunningham, Rob Green. These are some of the great. Look at Rob Green's coaching run. Oh my God. Look at Rob Green. 08 26. Rob Green had a nearly two decade long coaching run and we kept him around and he had D ratings on both of them. Mo Bonner, Zachary Wilkins, Lewis Moore. Lewis Moore wasn't too shabby either uh hugo simmons tyson blunt jared dudley fake jared dudley i remember him and lenny wilkins who i wish stood around longer honestly most valuable
valuable player. I think we went over this, right? Yeah. We're right back to the beginning. All right. Hall of Famers. We'll go back to that at the end. Past champions. We obviously saw all that. Screw the league leaders who cares about that garbage. All right. Hall of Famers. Let's start in. Let's see how many of these we had, you know? I believe our first Hall of Famer was actually Patrick Ewing. Then Michael Jordan. That's two. Hakeem Olajuwon. That's three. Uh, not Carl Malone. He was here for like a second. Barkley. That's four. Scotty Pippen is five. On Kemp is six. Shaq O'Neal is seven. Did we have Jason Kidd? I genuinely can't remember. Think we did? We'll say Jason Kidd is eight. I don't know, though. I, I don't think we did. So I'll say seven. Iverson is eight. Steve Nash didn't know. I don't think so. Wait, I don't I, yo, I don't remember. No, we passed up on Steve Nash for Ray Allen. Honestly, I, I'm losing track. You could look right now and see Vince Carter. Boom, boom, boom. Magic Johnson Jr. Oh, my God. Amari Stoudemire somehow made it twice. Melo, Chris Bosh. We didn't have Chris Bosh. LeBron, Dwight Howard, Russell Westbrook, Derek Rose, John Wall, James Harden, Kevin Durant, Steph Curry, AD. And then you get to the new era. Chris Stops, Towns, Jokic. Ben Simmons, Trey Young, Doncic, Marvin Bagley made it. Ja Morant, Zion, Cameron Whitmore, Victor Wimbanyama, sadly that he left. Screw you, Victor. Scoot Henderson. I was really looking forward to the Victor era the entire thing. And then all of a sudden he comes here and then leaves us. At least we got through his career, like that era. Because we were going into unfor unforeseen, uncharted lands as of right now. Cameron Boozer. And that's it. That's the last one that we had. When Nasir Cunningham, of course. When it comes to team history. Actually, no, I wanted to see uh, retired numbers. New retirements? No, screw those new retirements. We got to go to the Thunder. We retired Zion, Derek Rose, Allen Iverson, Ron Holland, Steph Curry, Bill Russell uh, from the previous from Bill Russell being Bill Russell. We've never retired number two. We have retired six for Chris Paul, seven for James Harden, eight for Kobe, never nine for Nasir, 11 for Trey, 12 for T-Mac, 13 for Melo, 14 for LeBron, 15 for Ewing, 16 for Scoot, 17 for Bronny, no 18, but 19 for Lenny Woke didn't play for us, but who cares? 28 for Mikey Williams, 21 for KG, 22 for Tim, 23 for Mike, 24 for Chris Stops, no 25, 26, 27, 30, 30 for Dwight Howard, 31 for AD, 32 for Shaq, 33 for Barkley, 34 for Hakeem, 35 for Scotty, 40 for Sean camp 42 for Giannis, three for jack sigma 44 for victor Wembanyama, 45 for cameron boozy boozer and 77 for luka Doncic. that's how many numbers we have retired to how, that that amount of people like three of them coming from outside of our era and one of them being bill russell or whatever the hell the number i don't screw it let's check team records fred brown still holds the record for most points oh and that's through all the years of having the greatest teams of all time and even playing them a lot of minutes he just shared the sugar too much and akeem and michael are the only players with over 50 points that have ever Ever played for our team in a season game nobody else has ever scored 50 that's crazy i'm very interested to see the total scoring numbers then with that being said but i really want to see iguodala's junior's career we're going to end off the video with me going and trying to simulate one more time here's field goals made three pointers made is steph luca jared sims and ja free throws made is michael jordan uh, rebounds jim fox in 73 assists was alan iverson with 20 and 99 blocks was akeem olajuwon with 10 steals not one player that we had uh, broke any of these records minutes uh, nobody got even close. And turnover, Scottie Pippen with 12 and Jared Sims also with 12, uh, you know, with like a 50 year difference in between. That really shows how long we've been simulating. I vividly remember Scotty and Jared Sims. The playoff scoring, we had Jordan, T Mac, Nasir Cunningham, Jordan, and Fred Brown. Uh, Nasir, uh, my bad, uh, Jordan and T Mac tied with 48 in the playoff game. T Mac made 19 field goals, three pointers. Trey Young and Nasir hit 11. Free throws, Jordan hit 21. Rebounds, Dwight had 26. Assists, Allen Iverson at 18. Sims at 18. Sims at 18. And Luke at 18. Blocks, Sean Kemp had nine. Steals, Nasir Cunningham had nine. Minutes, Jack Sigma. That was before our time, but Jordan did have 48. Jordan played all 48 in the game three times jesus christ and turnovers jordan probably in one of those games yes it was literally in the third game that he or whatever yeah that he had 12, 11 turnovers now well obviously we could already see all of our records we set so we might as well not check that all right nba records or whatever the hell nba history how do i do that again oh yeah this no it is it is on here um can i check that real quick points in a playoff game is jamal mashburn has the record that's pretty funny and isaiah Ryder has the fourth highest points in a regular season in 2005 with i guess the warriors or no i think it's glitching because of keen but yeah, he was he was somewhere. The most points in NBA history is Isaiah Collier, then Derek Whitehead, then Isaiah Elohim, then Elliot, then Reggie Miller, then Kevin Love, Cooper Flag, then Isaiah Harwell, then Nick Smith Jr. Notice how I haven't said one player that played for us. Toa Pete, DJ Wagner, Xavier Booker, Paul Pierce, Flory Badunga, Isaiah Ryder, a Ryder, Kwame Evans, Anthony Edwards, Trey Johnson, Demarcus Cousins, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Still not one player that played for us. Chris Bosh, Magic Johnson, Ian Jackson, Kyrie didn't play for us. Asia did it. Vince Carter, Jabari Smith Jr., Elton Brand. There is the first player that played any minutes for us. It was Hakeem Olajuwon. 
who left us too. He screwed us over and left us. You gotta remember that. Is there any players up here? Bryce James is up here. Basala, Moses. Who is the first player up here that actually Caden Boozer scored more than his, I guess, brother? I think that's his brother, uh, Cameron Boozer. Victor left us. Is there any player up here that played most of their career? Michael Jordan at 43. KD also left us. We did trade Jordan, but it was for like a second. He was old. Where is LeBron? Jar Smith has more points scored than LeBron James. This is the dude who won like 45 MVPs. He's at 56. And Sexton has more points than LeBron. There goes LeBron. We traded him very late into his career as well. And he has 30,000 points, which is less than Dominique, Adrian Dantley, and Colin Sexton. Kobe is at 78. And there's probably some people on here that we don't even really remember. Like, or like, I don't know that you know the, the, yeah you get it you that being said i don't think we'll have anybody else on any other records considering that we ruined everybody's career by winning them a bunch of rings ironically but for rebounds you shouldn't really be held back although kevin love was third all time uh hakeem is 15th i mean i don't, I don't see anybody else oh kg is 12. i did not see kg on the points thing at all unless i missed him which is very tough because uh kg was really good so was iverson i didn't see iverson either blocks hakeem still had the most yeah you're not getting held back on defense and victor is seventh and shaq is 11th Pretty sure we lost shaq during the expansion year yeah, I think we traded him for all of like somebody's picks. Uh, Michael Jordan was sixth in steals. And yeah, that that is just about every single record. I've seen every single era of NBA history except for the garbage Wilt Kareem era with like 18. Okay, it would be cool if you added that era in next year, like as like an earlier era. But considering that I can't simulate more than 60 years, I don't know how that'll work. Someone let me know also too if, you, if you've ever tried to simulate more than like 60 years or whatever the hell and it's worked. But yeah, that this is it. That being said... Shout out to Dick Pollard, 97 overall. We could have had a, you know what I'm saying? You could have been around for a couple more years. Jared Sims, you too, multiple time MVP. Doug Sanchez, you're kind of falling off and you kind of didn't exceed expectations, but it's all good. Devin Harris was about to be goaded. OJ House, cheat them. Iguodala Jr., who looks oddly, but like not like Iguodala. It's like you did if you did a face smash with Iguodala and somebody else that I can't, I, I don't know. Guy Harrison, we could have just seen. We just drafted Edmund Holton, number one overall. Just this year, we didn't even get to see him. Did all that work. Carl Lowry, we barely even got to see, if any. Yeah, barely even played. And uh, yeah, with that being said, thanks for the next season. Thank you for watching. You can like, subscribe to the channel if you came to my channel at all. I would be kind of bittersweet happy if this worked right now, but it's not going to. I could already feel it. There it is. Something went wrong with this gamer app. This was the screen we will end on. You can like, subscribe to the channel if you came to my channel at all. Let me know what the hell you want to see next. I appreciate everybody who watched this whole thing. I know this is this isn't even like similar. I feel like this is less, you know, this is more just me just nerding out than, you know, oh, some sort of narrative, cool, entertaining video or watching a cool player play for all these years. Yeah, sure. We took every player and played one of them all years but i mean i did just you know kind of just stash them on my team they did nothing we won a bunch of rings but hey thank you for watching shout out to ronnie 2k and i'll catch you in the next one but